Ben, 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 Tom, 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 Tom. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Tom and Ben Park. How are you doing, Ben? I'm okay. I'm okay. You going to watch that new Jurassic Park prequel that's out with Adam Driver? Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of into it. Yeah? It looks dumb. It looks real dumb. But fun. Yeah. And yeah, I'm going to check it out. I've heard it's real mid, but I'm going to oh, try, uh, okay. try and enjoy it anyway. <laughs> I just want some other people to make some cool dinosaur movies. Me too. There's not enough. I feel like everyone's confused and just thinks Jurassic Park's got like copyright on them or something. Yeah. But everyone is always going to compare to Jurassic Park. Yeah, and I guess... if you be like, oh, Jurassic Park, they did it better. Yeah, I, I suppose it's like trying to draw a yellow cartoon people, live, family living at home kind of thing. People are just going to go, well, <laughs> this is just the shit Simpsons. It's just shit Simpsons. Uh, so yeah, like there's always going to be problems, always going to be issues with that. Mm, uh, it's so. hard. I mean, if Jurassic Park wasn't so good, you'd be willing to risk it more, wouldn't you? Yeah, whereas I think now, you know, good CG is getting cheaper. Uh, getting easier to do, and the last couple of Jurassic Park have not been all that good. So that's true. The bar's nice and low now. Yeah. So if you can just do something with like, you don't even need as many effects. Mm. The good story. Could you just film some ostriches running around, They're and then items. AI animate dinosaurs over the top of them? Can you not just dress ostriches up as a, a dino? <laughs> oh, and then use AI upscaling to like smooth out the shit costume you gave them. Yeah. 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 That kind of Perfect. thing. Perfect. I think we've solved it. Because, like, weren't banthers? Yeah, banthers were elephants given, um, like, furry costumes. Yeah. In the desert. Those poor fucking elephants. Yeah, God, sounds like hell. <laughs> Real hot. Um, what were the, um, the dewbacks? My see-through nipples. Oh, I probably shouldn't. Your nipples travel through space and time. You can see through. <laughs> Whoa. Portals to the nether realm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and yeah. And then the Jubak was just a big dog. That one might not be true. It's just a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do you remember, actually, like, um, let's embiggen screen activate. Main screen, turn on. Um, uh, so the Jubak in the original Star Wars, you could barely see it um, because apparently the model they made looked so shit oh. that they were like, we can't, we can't put this on film. And so then when they came back and did the special edition, they did like a ropey CG one to yeah. make up for it. But um, Jubak, um original Star Wars. Um, I always liked the Jubaks, but... It's literally just like a little bump on the horizon. That's all you see of it. Oh. Why can't I get a good clip of this? Uh, apparently, I'm much louder than Tom. It doesn't sound great. Wow. Why is if he anything, louder than me, ben? Tom should be louder than I am. Why? What the heck? Hello, this is Tom. This is how Tom talk. Oh. Well, you have to take my word for it. I'm not Google imaging for the next hour. But yeah, it's just like, uh, oh, you can just kind of see a silhouette of it. Is it that guy? It looked like, looked like crap. The Anatomy of the Jubak documentary. That's the escape pod. Oh. Well, there's a bump on the horizon. Yeah. Uh, I think you're just making up stuff to sound cool. Oh, yeah, I am. That's true. Is he in there? Is that the Jubak? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's actually flying the TIE fighter. <laughs> Whoa, cool. Uh, what kind of stormtrooper would you want to be if you had to be a stormtrooper? Uh, the desert ones look cool. I like a yeah. dirty stormtrooper. The desert troopers look the best, without a doubt. But, man, that's hot, sweaty, and gritty. But I'm hoping you have cooling in your armor. Oh, wow, okay. I'd hope. You would hope, wouldn't you? Uh, okay, that's a good call. Maybe Jubak Rider is a good one. Jubak Rider is kind of fun. You got like a taser prod? Pretty slow. Around. You get but to lick it when you're thirsty? That's true. That's very true. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to be um, one of the forest troopers. Yeah, crashing into trees feels like a real risk. That feels 
That's like you fucking die. They should have had those uh, the speeder bikes in the desert. <laughs> yeah, would have been great, and have the Jubax in the woods. <laughs> yeah. I think that makes way more way more sense. It does make more sense. Uh, the fucking shore troopers, God, oh, maybe Beach be a, Boys, a shore trooper. I I thought that was dumb. <laughs> yeah. Do you need a special kind of trooper to fight on the beach? Is that a thing? I mean, it's a cool costume. Um, but it's, how it's, does this it's help sandy you? sandy, and their shoulder pads are like water, and the white is like the you know the crests of waves. Does it, does this help it on the beach? Seems really goofy. Is it just yeah? Oh man, yeah, death trooper. Oh, I want to be a death trooper because you don't even have to. Everything you say <laughs> comes out like that. Yeah. So you could say the dumbest shit, and you just sound intimidating and spooky. Oh yeah, this is, it could be me and you just chatting shit about. <laughs> <laughs> how dumb the, the shore troopers are. <laughs> yeah, let's be dead. And everyone just thinks that we're spooky boys. Uh, yeah, not super convinced by the uh, shore troopers, but death troopers look fucking rad. Yeah, I can crush a child's toy. Oh, easily. God, I think I could easily do that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I can execute unarmed prisoners, that seems easy. <laughs> super good, we've got, that. We, we've got that on lockdown. I feel like they've got the easier jobs, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. These guys. They don't have to, like, wave assault a, a blockade runner. Yeah, at all. Just... Yeah, that's the last job I want, actually. Boarding party. I got first guy through, like, the welding door in A New Hope. Oh, uh, yeah. You always get blasted. Hmm. That's a bad job. Well, the other... Are there any, like, other Snow obvious trooper. good... Snow troopers have a good look, actually. I do like snow troopers. Pretty good. And like you're already pretty pretty camoed up. Yeah. And you get you know a little nice little face mask. Which is kind of fun, kind of cool. Hmm. Uh not so I don't love the new the new ones as much. Hmm. Although it's basically the same. Is there any others? Have we forgotten about any classic troopers? Um can you be a cool, like, uh, one of the traitors uh, oh, with the stump bat on? Right. They're pretty good. Uh, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'd rather have a gun, though. Yeah. Even if it can block a lightsaber, how many times are you going to manage to do that before you get your arm chopped off? Oh, God. Like, you are... <laughs> Already you're going into combat with a someone who has practiced their whole life with a lightsaber. It's the better <laughs> weapon. <laughs> yeah. Like, the only reason that guy did so well was he was fighting against Finn. Who literally like, never held a weapon in his life. And the whole time <laughs> it's just like, fuck me, this is going to cut my arms off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, absolutely terrifying. Uh, scout troopers. Scout troopers have got, like, the cool visor. Cool visor, bit. but they have to, like, not hit trees. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to do. Are there mud troopers? Oh yeah, um, in the Han Solo a Solo film, um, these boys. That's good look actually. I, I like that a lot. Them. They look real spooky. Yeah, they look great. They look a bit more like they'd just be. Um, that's just other people in the star stairways, not necessarily a a trooper. Well, they are like. like um, you know, the, they are Empire soldiers, whether right, or not okay. they are like technically stormtroopers or not. I got no idea how that all works. Um, but yeah, it's quite a cool scene actually. Do you remember when the Empire is invading some kind of horrible bog planet? And yeah. Han Solo's like, this sucks. And they've got a, a, a Chewbacca in a pit. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do, right? Just have a pit, your pit, just pit your, monster. Just your pit monster. It's a normal thing to do. Uh, These guys have got the coolest helmets. They've got great helmets. That's the Maybe I want to be this guy. Mm. It also like doubles up as like a rice boiling pot. Ooh, um, okay. I mean, a big stir fry in there. That on, sounds delicious. When you're not on duty. Great. Yeah, yeah. Like a big cast iron, <laughs> cast iron hat. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, those guys, they've got a, a good vibe. I'm into it. I mean, the sillier the hat, the more important you are, right? I do, yeah. The silly hat is an important feature of who I'm going to be <laughs> yeah. uh, in, a, in a Star Wars. Yeah, I feel like the sillier your hat, the more important you are as a rule. 
Yeah, sillier and bigger. Mm-hmm. Uh, any other hot? Any other hot troopers? Hot troopers. We've got in the our Royal area. Guard, I guess. Yeah, but they're not. They're definitely not stormtroopers. They might be. No, they're different. They've got like a mask on. Yeah, Who but knows? they're completely different. Who knows what's going on under those um, those sexy robes? Completely different. Are they like uh, 40k royal guards and just oiled and muscly under there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once the doors are shut, do the robes come off and they're just like Mr. Universe in their pants? Yeah, um, underneath that is uh, definitely like um, Sean Connery and Zardos. <laughs> right. Uh, Zardos. There, underneath. Right, under the red robe. Yeah, yeah, when they take got. the robes and the hat off, <laughs> they look like this. Of course they do. That's what's going on. Uh, Leave me. I wish to be alone. <laughs> alone with my, you. With my troopers. <laughs> um, oh, wow. God, those guys have got a real um, Elden Ring sort of oh, vibe. they do, their, don't uh, they? Yeah. To their hats. Why did Zardos dress like that? It's made in the 70s. Oh, okay, sure. And sexy. Was it like post-apocalypse or space fantasy? Yeah, or yeah, like... it's post-apocalypse. Have you never seen Zardos? I've never seen Zardos. Oh, my God. Okay, let me take you on the adventure of Zardos. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got this great speech. Um, how uh, they're part of like a weird cult type thing. Mm -hmm. And Zardos flies oh. over. And it vomits guns. Blah! <laughs> guns come out. Right. And there's these like weird cult people. And uh, they're... They... They're not that weird. If that thing came over and flew over to me and vomited guns at me, <laughs> I'd probably join a cult as well. Like, it's clearly a powerful being. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's cut, but it's like a weird like spaceship, actually. And there's Is people it? inside who just shovel guns out. Oh, it's, it's not like an elder being. No, no, no. It's, a, it's like, a, like a thing. Does it pretend to be an elder being? Yeah, kind of, yeah. No. These people sort of worship Do it. Do the cultists know that there's people inside? No, I don't think so. Is it like a um, Wizard of Oz situation? It's got a bit of a... He's doing a bit of a classic Wizard of Oz. Okay. Um, but it's the post-apocalypse, so these people haven't seen the Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, they have this whole speech about how the, um, the, the, the penis is bad because it shoots life. And the gun is good because it shoots death. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, so they shoot everyone in the dick. Shoot people's dicks off. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, but yes, then it, the uh, armored pants, uh, <laughs> those sexy <laughs> pants. But ends up they, they, I can't remember the, the transition. Sean Connery uh, ends up going to there's like this utopia bubble bubble place. Mm -hmm. Everything else is horrible post apocalypse. He goes and visits these bubble people. Okay, who they they can live forever. They never die. But if you ever commit a crime there, mm -hmm. um, they will like age you. Oh, how and much do you get? Is it the aging de dependent on the crime? Yeah, yeah. So, like, you know, steal something, boom, you get aged a year. Um, you do a bad murder, 20 years or something. Fuck. And so then they've got, like, a little... Uh, is that better or worse than prison? I think if the idea is you live forever, because you have the... Oh, of course, yeah. With If you're immortal, but you're 100 years old, like, that would suck. And so they've got a room of... Uh, oh, my God, so that's forever. Like, like that's a, a forever punishment. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you never oh. want to do a bad crime. Shit. Okay, I was just thinking, like, you know, okay, you've lost half your life. Um, no. Because honestly, like, I think I would rather lose a year off my life than go to jail for a year. But... Assuming you're an immortal being. Yeah, then serious business. Uh, like, you can do a couple of crimes... Uh, you know, everyone starts out at whatever, let's say, 20 years old. Is the only way to age to do a crime? At what uh, point do you stop aging? Do they age naturally? No, they don't, you don't age naturally. Of, so why are they not little baby people? Because uh, they got made or something. I don't know. There's, <laughs> there's a reason. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm asking too many questions. But there's even a scene. <laughs> so they don't... None of them have sex. Um, mm. That just isn't something that's done. No, because the penis is bad. Penis bad. Well, these these aren't the cultists. Oh, okay. the penis is bad. <laughs> right. But in this place, there's literally a scene where they're they this outsider. They've never seen like an outsider. Mm -hmm. They bring Sean Connery in, and they're like, "We we need to find out about you." They strip him naked, and they show him porn because they've never seen an erection before, <laughs> right. and he gets an erection, and they're all just like. 
Ooh, Ooh, that's interesting. What is that? <laughs> that doesn't happen here. And is... Do they have junk in their trunk? I th- assume they must have, you know, that stuff, but they don't use it. Mm. To them, it's like the appendix. Right, it's just a little dangle you have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and <laughs> it's... That's the movie. Wow. And then what? Then, then he... That's how he became known as Zardos. So Zardos is the big, the big, big fella. In the, the flying boy. No, no, it's this this guy. That's Zardos. <laughs> right. Oh, what? That's Sean Connery. I thought that was Johnny Zardos. Johnny Zardos. That honestly could be his name. <laughs> I could not tell you what his character was called in it. <laughs> right. Um, and uh, it's pretty wild. Yeah. Oh shit! There's a titty in there. Oh, God. oh no! I'm not allowed that on stream. Look, it's so, 70s movie. Is I funny. know, but like Sean Connery. He looks a lot older there than I thought he would be in the 70s. I would have thought the 70s was like Connery heyday, but maybe that must have been the 60s. Yeah, what well, was maybe he doing? it's just the hairline that does it. Because honestly, he looks like 20 years older there than I thought he would. Well, because didn't he wear a hairpiece for most of his life? Did he? Big citation, uh, I'm not trying to. I wouldn't um, be surprised. Uh, mm. To take him out. But, yeah, wild movie. I've not seen it in years. I don't, <laughs> I don't know would how much Would you recommend I'd, it? <laughs> I don't know if I would. I don't know. If, if you want weird, weird sci-fi. It reminds me a bit of, like, Logan's Run. It's, so there was, like, a period where um, I was just trying to watch, like, every, like, kind of old-school dystopian and mm-hmm. uh, apocalyptic movie. And I think I watched this and Logan's Run real close to each other. They've got um, similar kind of production they, values. They really <laughs> have the same sort of feel. The, there's an apocalypse, there's a utopian society, but there's problems within that utopia society. Yeah. And yeah, like I feel like they must, they are, go hand in hand with each other. Mm. Uh, check it out. Okay, I will. Maybe. Are we, this comes up a lot. This must be like the 10th time. We've mentioned Sean Connery and Zardos. And it's just, street. to me, it's so such an iconic look. It is an iconic look. It's the ponytail that does it for me. It's just... And the high boots. <laughs> the high boots, the big mustache, <laughs> the little pants, yeah. like the, the bandoliers, like, uh, you think, holding bullets that just don't go in that gun. Um, it just, I just imagine like the costume designer being like, okay, pants, check. And Sean Connery's like, okay. He's like, okay, well, Bandoliers? And Sean Connery's like, oh, okay. And the costume designer's like, okay, what else can I get him to wear? <laughs> okay. Um, like, three-quarter length boots. Sexy There's- thigh-high <laughs> boots. And Sean Connery's like, whatever you say, man, okay. put them on. Sure. He's like, wow, okay, what next? <laughs> Ponytail, uh, mustache. <laughs> he just kept just kept going it, until eventually Sean Connery was like, this is the line. Okay, this is, this is as far as I'm going <laughs> yeah. with this costume. I think else, it's, just, it's just the 70s. It's wild. You know, you can just do that in the 70s. Mm. Absolutely perfect. Oh, God. I keep seeing in the background some of those pictures that there are naked people. Well, maybe so. it went in reverse. Maybe they were working out, like, how much of the costume can I remove? Can we keep removing? <laughs> Before he and complains. They, got to the, they were like, right, <laughs> we've, we've taken your shirt off. Uh, you know, you have a hat. Um, yeah. And the cool jacket, right? Get those. Remove the trousers. He's like, right, I'm done. <laughs> like, okay, so you just have boots, pants, and the the bandoliers. Yeah, it's like cool. buckaroo. Uh, At some point, he snapped re- reverse buckaroo. buckaroo, and he slapped one of the assistant costumers. Oh, <laughs> they were like, yeah. that's the oh, line, God. I guess. Shit. Oh yeah. Please, please, Mr. Connery, no, that's not okay. Yeah, Sean Connery loves giving people a little. What's the line? A gentle, a gentle slap. <sighs> Is that? He's just the worst. Uh, but yeah, very. It's a it's a film. It sure is. That's your homework for this week. Go and watch Zardoz <laughs> and then report back. And then hopefully this stream will be better. By yeah, it might it might make sense. Uh, have you watched anything? Anything? What have I watched? God, my brain. I have not done any any models, any painting, any gluing, any of that stuff. Whoa. Um been a bit busy. We've done a whole bunch of recordings, a lot of recordings the last two weeks. Mm. Very busy boys. Um, hopefully we'll start seeing some of that soon. Yeah. It's all, all in production. Secret secret things. Um, what 
else is happening? I can't, literally my mind's gone blank. I feel like I ha honestly haven't watched a film. Have you watched the new Mandalorian season? No. I watched the first episode. Oh man, and I didn't think it was good. I didn't finish season two, so I don't think I will start season three. If episode one is the setup for it, I wouldn't. I hear there's a real fucking dumb scene. I guess minor spoilers for The Mandalorian, if you haven't seen whichever episode this is from. Someone was telling me, like, you know how The Mandalorian is a dumbass? Um, he, good. he has to go swim in a magic, magic water to... Um, yeah, he has to sins. swim in the mines of Mandalore. So apparently he just fucking walks in there and drowns because he's wearing 300 pounds of metal. What? And... Um, it's a hundred foot deep water, so someone has to dive in and rescue him because he just walks in in his full armor like a what? fucking idiot. Is that a thing? <laughs> oh my god! Um, I mean, that's what I've been told. I haven't watched it, but that made me laugh. Uh, people are saying he got dragged down by a monster. Okay, but some what? people are saying it's true. <laughs> yeah, but not exactly. <laughs> well, I'm getting mixed messages. Okay. Okay, he gets pulled in by a monster. But was he going to go in before the monster grabbed him? Was that his plan? Or was he going to go strip down into his space Zardos swimming costume? Ooh. My God, chat. The duality of chat strikes again. I feel like some people have seen this and some people haven't. Nope, he tripped. He gets dragged. He wasn't dragged. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Chat, why can you all have different answers? He was wading in the water. There was a monster, but he wasn't dragged. <laughs> he was dragged. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Okay. So this is how rumors start, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Just... Everyone's saying something completely different. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Zardos. Okay. My God. If Mando didn't have invincible legs of proof armor, he'd be so dead by now. Oh, he'd have been shot so many times. Do you remember that time he got punked by five Jawas? Yeah. Like, yeah, he, yeah. he is not a competent hero. Mm -hmm. It feels like maybe Mandalorian armor is cursed. It's so good, it like, but it has, it's like a magic artifact in D&D. It's like plus 10 to all your stats, but it's also got like a massive debuff curse on it. Because Boba Fett, fucking idiot, falls in a pit, does nothing cool. Yeah, yeah. Like the original trilogy, Boba Fett's like the blithering idiot Mr. Magoo of bad guys. Mm -hmm. Then in most of the Mandalorian episodes I've seen, he's constantly just falling over, getting his shit stolen, uh, getting the crap kicked out of him. And it's just his invincible armor that carries him through the well, day. Well, but the is, that, is that it, though? Is it a self-fulfilling prophecy? If you have armor that makes you invincible... Mm. Do you, you stop, like, sharpening your skills? You will get a bit careless. Yeah. Like, it's like having God mode on in a computer game. You're just going to walk into those bullets. Yeah, yeah. You? So you don't actually have to play very well. Yeah, if you've got infinite respawns and you only respawn back two seconds, you just wander in, don't you? And yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, you're right. Like, how, how good are you at hunting? Because you don't have to go hunting all the time because, you know, you can get food in other ways. Right. Mandalorian, he doesn't You're have right. to be good at, Those you know. Those first couple of episodes, living. he was a bit of a badass. He was, like, quick on the draw, and he was, like, dodge a blaster bolt, and he'd, like, ice a goon. The moment he started getting his gadgets and his missiles and his jetpack and his armor. Yeah, fuck it, don't worry about it. Just getting worry about dragged me. around and thrown about and hit with lasers. He's just a fucking goofball. His skills dropped off immediately. Yeah, yeah, because you don't need them. Don't need them. Yeah, don't need to be. Don't need to be good. Steel sharp and steel. Wow, that's the saying. Uh, but yeah, yeah, he's got minus ten dex armor. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I didn't realize that was the second episode. I don't think I'm gonna watch. I think it. there's a third. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know. Unless people tell me it's got like a lot better, I might just leave it. It needs to get a lot better for me, personally. But if you guys like it... Oh, yeah. Feel, enjoy what you enjoy. Don't let us stop you liking a thing. Yeah. Enjoy. Uh, just not, not really my thing. Not really my, not really my taste. <laughs> um, have you watched the Chaos Dwarves yet? No, but we'll, we'll, we'll chat about Chaos Dwarves. Yeah, we'll get bit. there. We'll get there. Let's have a look. What else have we got? Don't yuck someone else's yum. 
That's what he literally just said. Everyone is saying that at the moment. <laughs> That's like a big, a big thing. Everyone's saying it. It's a fun saying. It's. I love it. It's great. It sounds so like old timey though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that's a big part of this stream. You know, we can have a whinge about something, but also if you like it, that's great. And then you should enjoy that thing that you like. Don't let old, you don't have to feel the same way as Tom and Ben do about everything. Yeah, geez. It's fine. We're just complaining. Wait. Yeah. Picard season three. I've heard Picard season three is a lot better than one and two, but one and two were so bad that I don't know if I can bring myself to, to go for it. Yeah, you know, I started watching the a bit of the Red Letter Media thing where they were talking about Picard season three. Mm. And was suddenly like, huh, like, oh, this actually sounds cool and stopped watching. So I was like, maybe I might want to watch oh, this. I don't want to get spoiled. But that's a way, that's a way off. But yeah, they changed the, apparently they've just gotten rid of 90% of the characters, brought in different characters. There's right. a different lead. Writer or something. Like oh, that. okay. So it's a complete apparently, overhaul. Apparently, it? it's. Uh, they got rid of Kurtzman. I didn't watch the last one. Was he the? Oh no, Kurtzman's the, the writer. Oh, He's the maybe. producer, writer, executive fella. Oh, uh, everything he he makes is garbage. Okay, I think they've. Uh, yeah, done. They've got different people. I'm not sure who has been replaced, but okay. there's a big. If they got rid of Kurtzman, I might go back. A big shake-up. That guy sucks. Um, Kurtzman's still around, but he's not the lead now. Kurtzman's gone. Chat all I need is someone to say, again. Kurtzman is still in charge, <laughs> and then chat will all perfected it <laughs> and given us every single option. Uh. <laughs> Can you watch it without watching the first two? I don't know. I don't know. Kurtzman's dragged in by the monster. <laughs> he wasn't dragged in. Kurtzman was the monster <laughs> in The Mandalorian. <laughs> Kurtzman uh, is Picard? Oh my god. Uh, wow, they were the same, same person the whole time. What a plot twist. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So apparently every season of Picard, you don't have to have watched the previous one. That sounds like terrible writing. Yeah, it sure does, doesn't it? That why even keep them as the same show? Because like at the end of season one, it turns out they ha he dies and they rebuild him a robot body and put his memories in. What? So and he's a robot? And then they never mention it again. <laughs> oh, they also program that robot to die of old age at the same time Picard would have died of old age. What? Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> The robot also has bad back, knees, and dementia. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you make this horrible torture bot? I don't, I don't know. It's just the worst ending imaginable for season one. Oh my god, I bet. I bet there's going to be a fucking scene where there's like, whatever, a Q-type character. Q is going to come back. Oh, he already has in season two. Really? Yeah. God, okay. Well, Q come back. And he doesn't back. mention that Picard's a robot now. Well... He's going to come back again, and there's going to be a problem, whatever. An EMP machine is going off, mm -hmm. and like, oh, Picard's going to die. But then, like, Q's going to, like, click his fingers, and Picard doesn't die, and he'll be like, you're human again now, <laughs> in exactly the same age and form. Peace out, bitches. I'm I Q. <laughs> and Q retcon strikes again. Q just retcons the, the machine, and he just turns it back into a, a people. Great. Job done. Problem solved. We don't have to reference the robot again. Great. Oh, I would fucking love it. If Q just comes and waves a retcon hand over th just various things, uh, every three or four episodes, he's like, that's not true anymore. <laughs> that doesn't, that never <laughs> happened, and you've all forgotten <laughs> about that story arc. Okay. Oh. Wow. Wow. But um, Q won't be able to do that anymore. Has Q lost his powers? Oh, I didn't even finish season Q two. Q could get his powers one. back. God, he's lost his powers and regained in the, them in like the past. Of so yeah, like that's that's literally his thing. Yeah, he's in and out of the continuum every other week. Q's dead. I don't know if Q is dead. Yeah, but is he? Picard was dead. Now he's God, a robot. Ed, now he's a robot. Maybe, Maybe Q is a robot. <laughs> Maybe Q always was a robot. Oh my God. <laughs> and the original Q is going to appear. Mm. Okay. 
Q's not dead. He got dragged on. <laughs> okay, great. We've got uh, let's we've talk got about it. fucking Warhammer. Well, anyway, after Q dies, <laughs> R turns up. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the R continuum. Oh god! <laughs> They're the same as the Qs, but one better. They're, and all the characters are the same, and they have the same memories. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> uh, let's let's talk about some Warhammer. Okay, Warhammer, Warhammer news. Forty years of Warhammer. The, do you remember the Warlord Titan, Tom? Love him. What's oh. your favourite Warhammer Warlord Titan? I do like the Beetle Beetle Boy. Beetle Boy's good. He's kind of classic. I like all of them. Hmm. I have a soft spot for each and every every Warlord single titan. Ti just warlords or all titans? Oh, uh, I think there are some titans that I prefer to others. Warlord is iconic. Yeah, the Beetleback was amazing at the time, but I hate the arms. I hate the way the, the arms have that kind of strut coming out. Yeah, the to plug onto. That's what always bothered me about those. So when they the next one they did was the Bane Lord Titan, which kind of fixed that because it had um. It had metal arms, um, so they sort of attached better, and it felt mm. a bit more yeah plugged in, plugged in and organic rather than like sort of modular. This is an evil warlord tie-in, right? Yeah, um, gun mouth. Well, on that list. Were there any other Warlord Titans that you could have scrolled down through? No, they don't show them all off. They don't show us this guy who's fucking amazing. See, th that model is so iconic to me. Mm. Uh, is really, really good. For me, this is the the peak peak warlord. Uh, the Lucius pattern. Ooh. I believe it's called. Um, although, but then when they brought out the Adeptus Titanicus ones, like, they look fucking rad. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's that's what they show next. Is, apparently, this, this is interesting. I never knew about this prototype metal oh. warlord. That oh, I don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah. That's a, I, they should be doing more of this in the... Um, the behind the scenes stuff of like this was like a prototype and we never sold it, but it's, here you go. Wow, God, I bet. Bet they go for a lot. Yeah, holy shit. Even though they kind of look like shit. <laughs> yeah, but still, like weird collecto. Uh, yeah. I loved all the arms. Do you remember um, Gunface Head? Yeah, man, like the, uh, the Gatling gun mouth was always like a real fucking good look. Um, Uh, oh god, it's so hard to find. Here we go. I liked. Uh, there was one that was a um, had That's like a boarding ramp. Oh, there it's Corvus Assault Head. <laughs> it could ram its face into a building, and then there was a door in its just face, and like troops could come out. Just give them a little kiss, <laughs> yeah. and then vomit troops. <laughs> Blah. Blah. <laughs> that was fun. Slanish Head with a big mecha tongue. Gross. Bird Head. Kind of fun. They're all they're all great. They're all real nice. Uh, oh man! Oh, that Zinch head looks really good. Yeah, it didn't come out quite like as good as that. No. <laughs> yeah, they had some all sorts of wacky weapons as well. Do you remember all of these like whips the big, and flails? And yeah, that. that's when um, they what are they called? The whips. <laughs> Uh, there they just call it an energy whip, but it's got a better name. Is it the a name I can't remember. I'm sure there's a better name for them. I loved the Reaver Titan. That was the one for me back in the day. They didn't change its design for years. Um, even when they made the the Lucius, the Green Warlord Titan, this guy was still the same model, and it held up for like 20 years. This classic metal model was just like. Perfect. It was pretty good. I don't know if I loved it as much. Because often they look a bit like this. Just like, hey. <laughs> yeah, you have to be careful when you were gluing them to make them not just be like, hey, I'm the farm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just you know, kind of goofy. You've got to give them a bit more like direction. Uh, I like the, um, I really, really like these Warhounds. I really like this. these guys. Mm. I always thought they were cool. I'd love to have one of those armor cast warhounds. They just have zero detail on they them. They have zero detail, but and they look so dumb, but I've got a real soft spot. I say this is one of my least favorite. Yeah, this one didn't wasn't available for very long. That was like a um 
weird like anomaly that you could only buy for like a year or two before they shut down specialist games. Oh. I love the the new ones though. Um, do we have any? I mean, the new the new Reva is just a modern version of that old. Yeah, one. looks fucking great. I love it. Um, that's a, again a good reimagining of the Warhound, isn't it? Well, couldn't you get that and the the square backed one? For a while, the Lucius one. Oh, did they ever make? Yeah, they did make a Lucius Warhound. You can't get it anymore. Because you could get that in Epic, and I swear there was a forty k one as well. Yeah, they did. Um, Forge Lord made both. I think they're out of production now. I still think that guy looks pretty rad. Yeah, I pr I kind of prefer the the other. It's got more of like a BattleTech vibe to it, hasn't it? Yeah, like it looks a bit more serious. Like I like the a degree of silly, silly on my boys. Yeah, it's not quite as silly as uh, as some of the other ones. You're growling. <laughs> but he's cool. He's a cool boy. They're all good. I don't think there's a Titan I don't like, to be honest. Even the big stupid walking church. I, man, uh, absolutely love. The, like, Imperator is super fucking cool. I don't understand why everyone's scratch builds always get the proportions wrong, though. Yeah. Because, like, cool. You've put a lot of work in there. That's pretty rad. But... The proportions are wonky, Looks aren't they? Kind of weird. Same with like this guy. It's kind of just too big. The castle. Like, just make that. I really, really like that that model. Uh, he's he's dumb. He's dumb AF. Oh, that's a cool drawing. Like a modernized version. Like I just want Games Workshop to do the uh, Adeptus Titanicus version of it, and I think I might even pick that up. Wow! How big do you want it to be? Pretty big, like at least fifty percent taller than the. Because the warlord's wall. about this big, right? They're about ten inches. No, 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 no. They're pretty big. No, not ten inches, mate. Not ten inches. Price is right. I'll say six. No, more than six. Six inches tall, Ben. That's as um, high as I'm going. Even that might be high. Adeptus Titanicus warlord miniature height. Um, what? Wall of Titan in 40k. That's about what five, I asked for. But here, uh, Wall of Titan is about five inches. Is they not as big as you think, but They're not five inches. That can't oh, be true. Wait, go back. There was a picture of someone holding up a yeah, tape measure. that's what I'm going to. Oh, ah, okay. Fuck off. Jeez, have you got enough ads on your site? I would, I, mm, wow, okay, wow, holy shit. I guess I was thinking of a knight. You're right, just under six if you include the rockets. Technically, we both lost by Price is Right rules. Well, I was saying, like, you know, even six, I think, <laughs> is being very generous. Um, what else have I missed? Like, what well, other five ben. inch things have I thought were ten inches long? Yeah, well, you know, there's a lot of things that you've been oh, no. uh, saying was a lot bigger. I've got a lot of retracting to do. <laughs> yeah. Let me edit some profiles here. Holy <laughs> shit. Okay, I don't love this that Titan. I don't love this. Boy. No, I don't love him either, actually. He weird. He hunchback. Is just uh, yeah. Maybe just because it's new and... Uh, and you have no nostalgia for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. Although, that being said, the Polforian... He looks amazing. He's the, maybe... The big knight. My favourite... I guess it isn't a titan. Technically, it is a knight. Yeah, uh, but, you know, they've got, they've got a very similar, um, like, style. Vibe. I'd always say that maybe this is my, one of my favourites now. I... If we were playing a game, mm -hmm. Night Wars, th that's who I'd want to be. To be your guy. Big, slow, heavy boy with mega guns. Bow, bow, bow. Uh, They're pretty cool. I actually um, bought and painted up a couple of these for Titanicus before we stopped playing it, just because they look amazing. See, I think I bought a pack of these. And I think I've got, I've got a box of unopened boxes of things that I buy. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm like, I'll build it one day. But I picked them up and just... We were so fucking dumb with Titanicus that just didn't get around to didn't get around Maybe to doing it. We should it. do a games night with our Titanicus stuff. 
Send them off yeah. in style. Oh, uh, that could be cool. A big fun narrative battle. Because I've got them at like, You're a lot like of them are like 90% done and just would love an excuse to finish finish them off. Yeah, same here. Because we've never really shown them off properly. And I think we both did quite nice work with them. Mm. Yours looked great. Yours looked great. Mine looked good. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I really like them. Let's play Epic. Let's do fucking Epic Titans versus yeah. each other. Let's right. play a game of Epic. I'm happy to do that. I'll play any any rules. Mm -hmm. 3D printing come a long way for, for Titans. Oh, so much better. Yeah. Anywho, we're, that's only the first article. Holy shit. Wow. God, Tom and Ben. Tom and Ben like Titans. It talking about some old shit. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, they'll just keep going. Uh, the power of the gore chosen. What is this all about, Tom? You opened it up. I don't know. It was like new things. Oh, okay. Wow. They've got rules about stabbing and whipping. These models are kind of cool. I don't really recognize them. Hmm. Like whip hand, chain hammer. Yeah, flaming chain hammer. That's kind of rad. A weapon, whip hand it? is kind of rad. I'm don't, not sure about trident, hand trident. But whip hand is cool. Oh, do you think someone put handcuffs on him? And he was like, fuck you! Oh, and freedom! Rips, rips his hands off <laughs> yeah. and keeps them as a memento. You'll never oh. imprison me! Yeah, I'm the one who handcuffs now, bitches. Yeah. God, that model's actually great. Like, the, the jaws to make his, like, corn helmet. Yeah, he's pretty like, cool. He's kind of a chunky boy. Right, me that skulls. Yeah, he's got a little doggo friend. He looks very short. He does look very short. Like, like really short. That's because he's got high shoulders. I'm not sure. Maybe, but he, looks like he doesn't have a head. Teeny tiny boy. Okay, cool. Corn. There's new new corn. Good good stuff. Who are these guys? Oh, same again. It's the exact same fucking thing. Uh, new boarding patrols. You can have uh, some sisters. Seems like a cool cool set. Nice little set. Have some. <laughs> you can have eight golden boys. Wow. I guess yeah. It's just a. Box of Terminators, a box of troops, and then the shield captain. Yeah, but that's the big one, isn't it? Isn't that Trajan Valaris or something? No, like, is it? I think it is him. Oh, it? really? He'd be like half your points if you took him. Yeah, it is Trajan Valaris. Wow. Wow. I, I wouldn't recommend spending half your points on one boy in a boarding patrol. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. No. God. Brian was a Shield Captain. Well, you could even take all of these models in one go in the boarding action. Couldn't you? That's 250 points of uh, those five guys. Mm -hmm. Those three are 180. He's like 100 and oh, yeah, he's 50, just, yeah. maybe? Well, if you had him as a Shield Captain, as Trajan, he's yeah, If you had him as Trajan, you, that's an illegal army, for sure. Uh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, they get a chaos spawn. They need to do some new spawn models. They do. That's yeah. I just think he's fun. Like we've got a million rubric marines, and then just like, hey guys, I'm here. Oh, hey, it's me. I'm a rubric marine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And someone's like, oh guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Look, you know, my partner was at work today. <laughs> yeah. uh, like, I, so I, I, got, I don't have any childcare. I, I could get child <laughs> care like last minute, so I had to bring him with us. <laughs> yeah. And everyone's just like, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, is that because there's no character in that army, right? It's just two squads of rubrics and a spawn. Is that uh, the because they're the squad leaders for rubrics? Oh, is he the army general? Did he like get one yeah. too many fish hands? And so they still he, they still bring him along as a mascot because he used to be their commander. Yeah, yeah, he was in charge and he was beloved, but <laughs> now he's um now he's just a big big blob blob monster. Lots of people in chat are arguing about there's no HQ. It's an illegal army. I don't think you have to have a HQ in boarding patrols, but I might be wrong about that. I feel like you don't have to. Hmm. But maybe you can. But then again. Oh, there's two spawn in the box, apparently, according to the text. And they come oh. in boxes of two. I guess this picture looks neater with one. Hmm. You don't need a HQ, you're pretty sure. You didn't have to include HQ. I'm pretty sure you didn't. Mm. Auspex Tactics said you don't need one. Auspex Tactics is who I'd probably trust in yeah, this. Yeah, they are honestly very reliable. Yeah. They know what they're talking about. 
it's where I get most of my information from. Yeah, I've not already watched any, any of their stuff for a little while. I watched their rumors for Ooh. 10th edition. There's a rumor that it might be a full codex wipe, which I think would be kind of outrageous considering how recent the last codex wipe was. Yeah, jeez. And would feel super bad for Imperial Guard and Word, uh, World Eater. God, if you just bought those fucking things, yeah. what the hell? We'll see. It's just a rumor. Uh... How does a rubric turn into a spawn? Well, they don't, but the characters do. The wizards are not dust. The wizards are meat men. It's only the normal spots. I feel like a regular Rubik could still turn into a spawn. There's nothing to turn into a fish hand. He's just a automaton. Chaos, mate. Yeah, Zinch works in mysterious ways. It's fucking magic. Yeah. I'm, All right. so, I'm sorry, my space wizards, <laughs> they would, because he's dust, he couldn't turn into a, I it probably a meat monster. probably less often. Probably less often, but, but I bet Pretty much anything's once. possible. Uh... Yeah. Hmm. Like, all that dust, all you need to do is just mix in some, like, magic slime, and then suddenly you've got a, you've got a thing going on. Mm -hmm. do, a, do a spell. Do a spell. Do, do a magic spell. <laughs> yeah. You know that magic spell that turned people uh, into that dust? Mm. Do something a bit like that. Yeah, because the reason they are dust is because of a spell. Yeah, so... <laughs> You know, and the reason people are turning into spawns is because of magic spells. So, <laughs> yeah. kind of think. Uh, Ooh, just add water. Yeah, make um, make rubric gravy. Ooh, someone's tried that. Someone's done that. Yeah, some slanishy pervert. Oh god! Wow, well they do like mud baths, but it's all made out of rubric dust. <laughs> yeah. Gross. Uh, okay, we've got some spears with magic runes. Oh, yeah, that looks like Dark Elf. Could be Dark Elf. Although I've said that a we've, thousand times. <laughs> we've been predicting Dark Elves for years, and... <laughs> uh, yeah. Hmm. Wait. Oh. I'm calling Dark Elves again. I think they're going to announce Dark Elves at Adepticon. So I'm just making my cat wink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dark Elves, great. Yeah. Either that or a boar cry. It's, yeah, God, it could just be a war cry. You're going to make announcements for everything at Adepticon. Cool. Adepticons, transform and roll out. <laughs> okay. Cool. Are oh, they always do it on Thursdays? Wah. They force us to do what's new in Warhammer last week. Yeah, <laughs> they God, they had it, had it all planned. Had it all planned. <sighs> Uh, there's stuff to do with corn. It's a very corn-heavy week. Yeah, it is a bit of a corn-heavy week. They, did they get a new book or something? Sure. I maybe. really don't follow Age of Sigma. <laughs> yeah, me neither, really. Uh, the Old World. Yay, I like that. Bretonians. Sword arms. Man with an axe. Ooh, Tomb King. Bugulons. Bug love, friends. love that. I like the crook and flail. I like like the curved swords. The shield looks rad. That looks cool. They all look cool. Oh god, I'm gonna end up buying a Kemri army, aren't I, when they redo them? I'll start I'll start saving up now. <laughs> I fucking I've always loved Kemri, and if they're gonna give them a real nice re remake. Kemri always, always look great. Uh Buculons. Man, those Kemri, um, the Scarab Swarms that they had were really, really cool. They were great. Or, like, man, I just want to do an army that just has all the swarms, because swarms are the coolest. Uh, uh, new gun? New guns? Uh, what are they called? Conversion beamers. Sure. They go... Pew! Okay, great. Whereas the other guns, where, how do they go? Wow. <laughs> But wait, some of them are more like, you know, like big... Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> okay, yeah, great. Those are the three guns that you get in uh, Adeptus Titanic. Yes. Or you've got the... Like, Gatling gun. Mm, okay. Uh, don't you get a big flamer at times? Oh, yeah. Whoosh. Whoa, <laughs> wow. Okay, great. Uh, when... They make an Adeptus Titanicus game. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, you can license download the, the app. <laughs> you can license the sound effects uh, yeah, yeah, from yeah. Ben. That's right. There'll be an app where you press what weapons you're firing, and it plays the appropriate noises. <laughs> Each of those, someone can make that. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, <laughs> amazing, amazing work. Uh, what else? Oh, so Corn have had a new book. Mm -hmm. There's that guy. There's these. People. Oh, okay, Juggermen. Cool. And all the boys. God, I just Corn are just the blandest for me. I've I've been warming up to Corn with some yeah. of the new models and like some of their new rules and stuff. Uh, I've been warming up to the idea of Corn. I think they they worked out that they were super fucking boring before mm. and made them a little bit more interesting. They have made them a little bit more interesting. I'll give them that. Uh, well, these guys still get 20 dice. Wow, I guess this, they've been in the pipeline for longer. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just a work, you can work out where they were in production cycles <laughs> yeah. based on when How they, many dice they get. <laughs> scamming people uh, out of uh, 20, their dice money. 25% of their dice. Well, also, what percentage how much worse in value is it because they go up to 22 pounds oh yeah up in price and down in dice yeah up in price down <laughs> in dice <laughs> that's the marketing slogan that's, that's the they come in they're like great everyone I'm going to save games much on this quarter with my new scheme um, uh, echoes from the wall Ooh, it's a teaser that's some kind of Tyranid. Tyranid. <gasps> oh! Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Wow, well, cannot. So based on rumors, I think there's a very high chance this means Tyranids versus Space Marines 10th edition starter box set. Like preview. Yeah, and it'll have some kind of new Primaris version Terminators. Which sounds super, super fucking cool. And honestly, the fact that they've kept the iconic Terminator helmet means quite a lot to me. If they tried to make Primaris Terminators without that helmet, uh, I'd have been like, these are shit. These fucking suck. I fucking love that helmet. It looks great. Iconic. Absolutely iconic. Very cool. I mean, they might just be re-sculpts of Firstborn Terminators. Honestly, I don't care if they're first born of Primaris. I would like them to be upscaled a little bit either way. Yeah, make them big, big chunky boys. Because now, uh, currently, they're smaller than the Primaris Marines, which looks weird. Yeah, they're a bit goofy. And they've got real wide legs, <laughs> which also looks weird. Just they're all proportioned a bit, a bit dated. It might be Space Hulk, but I don't think it is. A lot of people are saying Space Hulk, but that's a Tyranid, not a Gene Stealer. And it's not a... Um, I saw another preview somewhere that it's an ultramarine. Oh. I'd be surprised if they did an ultramarine space hulk. Yeah, traditionally they didn't do a lot of space hulking. Mm. But yeah, I'm excited. Who knows what it could be? Uh, Tyranid School, Terminator School. Both good. Yeah, Tyranids are long overdue a model range update and need a couple of new units. So look forward to that. Um. Hmm. Uh, and, then and also, yeah, right. That's a good point, Captain Kerno. They had the 40k logo, which, if it was a Space Hulk game, oh, they wouldn't would have be done something different. I was hoping that it was going to be they were going to do the the kill team, the Gene Steelers versus something. Because that was yeah. rumored at some point. That I, th I think they will at some point, but I don't think this is it. Doesn't it have to link into Vash Tour? <laughs> no, what happens is they do, a, they do a whole edition of 40K, then they do a real pointless um, narrative campaign that ultimately means nothing. Mm -hmm. Then they throw it all in the bin and do a new edition. That's the cycle. So, um, you know, just wait a couple more months and all this very important Arcs of Omen lore will be in the bin, and you can buy the books for five pounds each online. <laughs> um, and a brand new edition that renders it all obsolete will be ready and waiting with a new storyline and new characters. Um, get on the hype train. Yeah. Well, you can pre-order Vashtor now. <laughs> cool. Yay. I suppose the fact that there's Deathwing Terminators in this box, does that make it less likely they'll do new Terminators in like, in like three months' time? Or are they just they're just trying to sell off? They've got these Terminator models hanging around. Just get rid of yeah. them now. So we're bringing out new ones real soon. Could be that. Could be that. Yeah, you can get those boys. 
Sweet. I'm warming up to Asriel. When he first got previewed, I was like, but now I'm, he's just like, he's fine. He's fine. I've seen fine. Space Marines and ropes. Is that banner sculpted or blank? Looks sculpted. Yeah. I feel like it would be a sculpt. Uh, and then here you go, buy your 15 dice. Mm. Oh, do you want a lore update on the Vashkor book? Tell me! Um, so Vashtor decides that one of the keys he needs, the magic keys, that we still don't know what they do, is on the rock, the fortress monastery of the Dark Angels. Okay. He's like, How's that, how, how am I even going to find the rock? So um, he goes to, it turns out there's an inquisitor who has a tracking device on the rock who's been keeping an eye on the Dark Angels for years, and the Dark Angels don't know. Okay. So... Um, Vashtor gets some like Alpha Legion infiltrators to dress up and cosplay as Death Watch kill team. Ooh. They walk into Mr. Inquisitor's house and shoot up the place and steal the tracking device. And then those guys and Vashtor find where the rock is, wait till it's attacking someone, and while they're busy, jump on, grab the thing. Okay. Um, while that's happening, Mr. Um, Ezreal... He's all, literally getting upgraded as we speak, and he like gets off the hospital bed. He's like, I'm a Primaris man. I'm Primaris. Look at me. I'm a big boy. I'm a big boy now. I rolled a 10. Great. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. I die. wasn't one of all of those space marines that die in that process. <laughs> yeah. None of which are named. Yep. <laughs> no, never a named character. <laughs> yeah. um, they have a duel. Azrael's about to lose. And then um, uh, fucking Bellacor turns up and is like, fuck you, Vashtor. I'm going to be the fifth god, not you. Oh. And then Bellacor and Vashtor have a fight. Right. And then um, they all leave, and nothing of consequence happens. What? How does not one of those three die? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and we're just back where we started. How did Bellacor find the rock? He's mysterious, Tom. Okay. He's the Lord of Shadows. Right. He had a tracking device on Vashtor. <laughs> yeah. It's just tracking devices all the way down. Everyone yeah. is tracking each other. <laughs> and then um, Vashtor goes back to uh, Abaddon, and it's like, I done goofed. We'll have to do beep redacted without the thing on the rock. And then Abaddon's like, well, or... We do it again, but better. Mm. We need to lure the Dark Angels in with some fallen nonsense, and then we'll get them next time, Gadget. So we, with how many books in is this? Is it three or four? I don't know. Whatever, three. This is book three. So we're three books in. We still don't know what the fucking plot is, what they're trying to do. What evil scheme <laughs> is afoot? Okay. Um... Do you think we'll ever know? Wouldn't that be fucking hilarious? Do you think they'll ever tell us exactly what the plan was? I think they're never going to get enough keys. Lion's going to turn up and stop them from doing whatever they're doing. Maybe the lion is the super weapon. And if they get all the keys, they wake up the lion, and they're predicting that the lion's going to fight Gilliman and cause an imperial civil war. And that's how Abaddon conquers the galaxy by making the Imperium smash itself to bits. I like that as a scheme, though. I think that's a, that sounds like actually kind of a cool storyline. Them being like, okay, having one Primarch is, is really bad. Yeah, so he's a unifying force. Uh, like, that's super, super dangerous for us. Mm -hmm. Gilliman, he's a big problem. Mm -hmm. All of our Primarchs are just... Fucking nerds. <laughs> yeah, they're just living in their own pleasure planets being and dickheads. Clearly, Angron is not going to be the person who destroys the universe right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so, get a, get a second Primark. I'd, that feels like a chaosy plan. I'd be, mm -hmm. I would be there for it. I'm very there for it. Man, I, if, if they actually do cause Imperial Civil War, amazing. If their plan is to wake up the lion and then lion and... Gulliman uh, defeat Chaos with the power of friendship. I'm not on board. <laughs> That's a real boring outcome. Because then Chaos just played themselves. 
they woke up a boy and he turned out he was good. And now there's two of them. And now there's two of them. And, everyone, and they work together. Um, that would be lame. And the magic was within them all along. The friends we made along the way. If we can also weave in, uh, Angron is about to do something, something badass, mm -hmm. and Gaz comes and kicks his ass. <laughs> Just as a way to wrap up that that uh, Angron thread, uh, yeah. I'd be all over this. Gazgon it, needs revenge for Yarrick on <laughs> yeah. Angron. The Imperium begin hitting this kind of wacky civil war type thing. Mm -hmm. Chaos looks like it's about to win. Uh, Angron is about to do something really fucking important and just out of nowhere, <laughs> just, you know, over all everyone's sort of radio, mm -hmm. you, just hear, you just hear, <laughs> Wah! as, yeah, uh, a space hulk. Mm -hmm. Oh, because the chaos are like, there's a there's a spe strange space hulk coming into orbit. And they're like, don't worry, that's fucking Abaddon. He loves space hulks. It's another one of those arcs of Omen. Yeah, I'm it's sure. an arc of Omen. Absolutely mm -hmm. fine. And they're like, sir, Sir, it's not stopping. <laughs> Sir, it's not stopping. And then, yeah. Uh, we get this showdown where Gazgul is like, you took it from me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. Angron's like, I don't even know who you are. I mate. have no idea what the <laughs> fuck is going on. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, Gazgul uses all of his green magic <laughs> and just beats the fucking shit out of, out of Angron. But he kicks his ass so fucking hard that Korn is like, oh, I'm taking away your, your, cool your eight. Eight months, eight weeks, eight days, eight minutes, eight yeah. seconds fucking thing. Um, yeah, now you've got an eight edition cooldown. Yeah, exactly. Fuck you. And <laughs> blam, that. That's the dream. That's, oh. the, that's the one I want. Perfect. But instead, it's going to be J.J. Uh, Abrams' mystery box. And then uh, it's 10th edition and Tyranids are attacking. Yeah, so don't worry about that. It's don't worry about that thing. <laughs> it's a new thing. <laughs> yeah. God. But if this ends with no consequences, mm. it would fucking Ooh. suck. Ooh. It'd be a real psychic awakening, wouldn't it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or the mm. per, was it Pariah Nexus? The pariah, it'll be a real fucking Pariah Nexus. <laughs> Just one, name one of those other things where nothing, <laughs> yeah. nothing happened. It'll be a real Octarius Crusade. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> Although. Is the uh, is tenth edition going to tie into the Octarius thing? I have no idea. I feel like that would make sense. They could bring the Octarius War. Wouldn't it be nice if anything tied into anything at this point? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you remember the Yanari? I remember them, and they had a plot at some point something, that stopped. Something was going to happen with them. <laughs> Never did. <laughs> yeah, not. Oh. Not the one. Oh, the one. Hmm. Uh, so, anyway, end of war hammies. <laughs> uh, it's outside the box. Uh, do you have predictions for what is new from that What's company? New last in Vietnam, uh, medics. Periscope. Oh, okay. I'm going to be more specific then. Okay, but um, not just an up periscope. Like, I want one of those oh, wide one of those ones. wacky periscopes. Uh, what about one of those ones that goes whoop? Okay, can I have can I have any kind of periscope, but it like man with with thing? Mm -hmm. But it could be a man. He, he, they wouldn't be sat in a tank with a periscope. I want okay. this person with like a peeping over a wall or the range like range finder. finder. I, I want some kind of ocular device. <laughs> okay. Very important, but not, not binoculars. Right, okay. Very much not binoculars yeah. or a telescope. What about a monocular? Mm, that's just like a telescope. Right? <laughs> yeah, there's a telescope. I, no, I want <laughs> wide. I want up. Mm -hmm. Something like that, you know. Okay. So it's got to be fun. What am I, so I was going to say medic, but I want um, I want man getting blood transfusion mm. and stretcher bearers. Ooh, specifically. God, if you could combine those, someone holding holding a, an IV bag <laughs> yeah. as they're yeah. carrying it. That sounds fucking perfect. Yeah. Okay. okay. Great. What have we actually got? Let's find out. Uh, we've got uh, wizard scroll lady. Cool. It looks like a. Like a D and D type thing. Oh, they look great. Mm. Oh, nice. Yeah, I I I'm a sucker for like undead ancient yeah types. Looking real. They look cool. Uh, there's some infinity people. 
Ford's got um, a hammer. Ford's got a yeah. sword. Got they? They sure look like infinities. Uh, we've got a Hulk smash. Hulk smash. I always love the terrain from Mar Marvel Crisis Protocol. Yeah. I love the cartoon style that they paint it up in. Like even just the park street cars look cool. Yeah. 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 Like really, really nice. Like super bold. Hmm. It's Modok pooping around. Uh, some boys with axes. Okay. Sure. Metal people. Mm. Or are they wearing masks? I think they're wearing masks. It's always hard to tell with that game. Mm. We got a, a what's they called? It's a hawk. hawk. What's he standing on? Is that like a, a chaos, chaos boy? Sure. Pew pew. They're nice. They look obviously better than the current swooping hawks that are a thousand years old. Yeah. Pretty fun. Okay. Nice. Uh, sure. Uh, Russians. Plastic Russians. They're pretty cool. I like the horses. They're in good poses. They look very nice. Yeah. Man, the Perrys. Perrys do good. Good skulls. They really do. Ooh. I'm into this. If we were ever going to do um, Carnival, I want to do these guys. Some kind of like Templar knights with like squires. And oh. Wow. Before you had a beard, that is... That's what you looked like. That's me. That's you without a beard. My hands were that small, Tom. <laughs> He's got real tight. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Wow! If that, if you ever like tell that kid like "fuck off," I don't need my sword right now. He's there, just like <laughs> just crying. Like you can barely cover his eyes with those tiny little hands. What the hell? <laughs> oh. Uh, Whereas the guy next to him in the middle, that's me all grown up. That's I'm grown in up. My, I'm in my emo eyeliner face. <laughs> yeah, you've got very heavy <laughs> on the eyeliner. Uh, but these guys are all kind of kind of rad, kind of fun. They look cool. Uh, got ski ball, ski oh, dwarfs. They're doing some um, space dwarfs. Cool. They're pretty rad. It's a big bike. They're so hot right now. Six mil. Twenty mil, spaceman. Oh, big chonky tonk. That looks like an ogre tank. Do you remember ogre? Steve Jackson's ogre. I do remember this. I never played this, but I remember, remember the look. Yeah. That, Big that's weird like... Tank. Are those like newer? God, they look great. Yeah, they, they redid it recently on the Kickstarter. They did like a, a remake. God, those are painted so fucking nicely. Mm. Considering how little detail there is on that. Yeah, there. like God, the like real force like shading on panels to make mm. that look super 3D. God, those are like beautifully done. Yeah, very nice. Uh, okay. Well, okay it looks less like it than I remembered, actually. <laughs> but, well, they're, they're close enough. I can definitely yeah. see the link. Oh! Ooh, ooh. Ooh, have you got any stretchers or IVs? Or is it just, just Deadman's? Oh, there's not even a medic. It's just casualties. I got excited for a moment there. I thought I'd actually won what's new in Vietnam. I feel like there's a bit of kind of fucking propaganda going on here. Why? You'll notice how the Viet Cong casualties, all of them dead, abandoned by comrades. The US Marine Corps casualties, every single one is being helped. Never leave a man behind. None of us just die. We'll always save our friends, but the Viet Cong, uh, they wouldn't help anyone. Very good the point. moment, The moment you, uh, you lie down, fucking dead. Yeah, you return to the earth. Wow, God, that is. <laughs> oh. Although there's only, this is one sculpt from multiple angles. Oh. The Vietnam have got three sculpts from multiple ang angles. Oh. But this the, still calls them casualties. There's something very wooden about the pose. Do you know what I mean? They look like they're from a, a manual on how to deal with someone who's passed out. Oh, uh, okay, you know like a I mean? WikiHow article. Exactly, they look like they're in a WikiHow article. <laughs> okay. First, roll the subject onto their side. Right. Clear the airway. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sure. you know I, can I, mean? see. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> or maybe like if they're in, they're in a movie mm. and they're all trying to lie comfortably because they've got to lie there for like two hours. <laughs> yeah. 
Like that doesn't feel like that's where they fell. No. I feel like, you know, they've assumed a recovery position or something. Wow. Uh, well, are you ready for a game of Kickstarter roulette? Always. Uh, uh, hmm. Okay, I might, I'm going to open that one just because we looked at, we looked at that last one. I just want to see yeah. how its progress is. Progress is going. Uh, oh, Cthulhu Queen, not safe for work. Mm, Compendium waifu models. I'm oh, still Tom. like so curious about who puts this article together. <laughs> they are a, a horny, horny what person. Gubfish. Let's try that. Oh, Gubfish. Oh, shit, that sounds pretty good. Um, can we scroll down a bit more? Is there a bit more? Oh, God, there is. Hobgoblins of the Black Waste. Oh, that sounds great. Okay, I'm going to do zombie flesh eaters. <gasps> Knowles and fantasy friends. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, but I've already picked two. So Wait, that. no. Oh, you got Gobfish and Hobgoblins. Okay, I'll take Knowles and fantasy friends. But then there's also Halfling City Guard. Uh, but we've seen... Haven't we seen those before? Maybe. Uh, okay, you keep an eye out for... Okay, chat. What does chat want? Um, oh, but there's... They want... Zergnan, City of Zergnan. I have City of Zergnan. Okay, I'm torn between either Knolls and Fancy Friends. I like Fancy Friends, okay, because also just magic houses. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, let's <laughs> just have that as a treat. <laughs> <laughs> drawing me in because I just don't know what magic houses is going to be. Well, apparently, uh, there's one called Empire of the Old World. Is that? I missed that if there is. Oh, yeah, there is. Empires of the Old World. Let's try that. Where am I looking? Uh, down, down, down. Stop. Beep, 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 down. Beep, 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 down. There. Oh, yeah. I was seeing that, but I was trying to work out, is that horny? Because nah. just having some random uh, random letters in there. Maybe. Okay. Well, we'll start okay. out with... Gone a bit overboard today. Gubfish. Gubfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What are they? They're easy to paint models. Okay. Gubfish mob monster. Are you... <laughs> really? <laughs> is this a thing? <laughs> Call Gubs. Who wants this in their game? <laughs> New Gub every 150 bucks. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but fuck me, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> what a boy! He comes in all colors. <laughs> it's like a pet rock. God, they've, they're, they're only halfway to their goal at the moment. Uh. And if you look back to four backers. Oh, it comes in different scales. <laughs> what, what can you say? I think Gubfish speaks for himself. Yes. Yes. Gobfish. Uh okay. Hobgoblins. Ooh, these are cool. Ooh, very retro. Pretty pretty old school. Groblins. Very groblin y. There's a musician with his little drum. Oh. Nicely painted. Yeah, I like the paint job a lot. Goblins with the spears. Hobgoblins in the unit. Man, they do look real retro. Mm. I would do the bases differently though, like the, the browns and greens on the skin and the shield blends in with the browns and greens yeah. on the face a lot. Oh. Scout Tower, sure. that's kind of fun. <laughs> just like a just like a fun troll. Sure, these are quite nice. Pronounce his name, Ben. Go. Uh That's how you say it. That's uh that's that's what it's called. Mm. Okay. That's cool. Zombie Flesh Eaters, Volume 1. Oh, it's, it's eating part of a cow. Is it a cow? Okay. Oh, it's got glasses. Oh. Okay. Kind of weird. Very specific. <gasps> zombie Bear. Zombie Bear. Oh, zombie Bear's cool. Absolutely terrifying. I like that. God, you don't want to mess with a zombie bear. You don't see enough like zombie animals. No. In films. I guess, you know, it's a... An animatronic nightmare. I sound like zombie dogs. Mm. I feel like you get those a bunch. Zombie croco. Zombie croco. Pretty, pretty rad. Mm. 
Oh, like a zombie deer, I like the idea of. Yeah. Oh, I like all these animals better than the uh, the guy. Zombie eagle? Oh, God, that would just swoop in and peck you and you're fucked. Shit. Zombie gorilla. Probably oh, one of the most terrifying oh, things that you God. could have. Yeah, that's real bad. Don't want to meet that. Zombie hyena? Man, these are all great. Yeah. God, I like zombie rhino. Wow. <laughs> zombie lion? Sure. Oh, he looks cool. Missing most of his face. Ow. Zombie owl? Don't tend to think of that. Hmm. Pumas? Wolf? Oh my god. Unicorn! Zombie unicorn! <laughs> Hot dog baby! Put that as your like vampire mount. Why not? Who's this, this guy? Badger! Badger! <laughs> god, without the stripes, it's hard to recognize, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> wow. What is oh. that other things? Monkey house. Zombie monkey house. Wow. Do you not want zombie chimps? No, that sounds... That's how the world is. Awful. Wow, they've really buried the lead here on their, with their branding. They should have had uh, just a picture of a bunch of different zombie Zombie animals. zoo. Yeah. Zombie zoo is what they should have called it. Yeah. And pictures of some of those animals. This is not the best way to sell it. Wow. So that's hard to read. More than 30 miniatures. Like, get bigger. Yeah, just... Just show like the bear and the lion or something. Holy shit. Like, if you're this good at digital sculpting, how are you so bad at thumbnail design? Yeah, this, you've got a great Kickstarter. Yeah, you relaunched this with a rebrand. Yeah. And These I are think great. It would do really, really well. Uh, City of Zerg, man. This is chat. Oh. It looks very like, wow. It's got a big uh, World of Warcraft sort of feel to it. They're nice. Nice houses. Yeah, they're pretty cool. You'd have like a nice D&D &D town. Yeah. It's like not something... Oh, that's kind of cool. Like a big wagon. I feel like I've seen this kind of stuff before. Mm, it's not like unique. Like it's really... It's, it looks great. It's Beautifully good. sculpted. But... I've seen a bunch. A bunch of it in our lives. Mm. Uh, Knolls and fancy friends. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of a lot of gold in here. What are they? Pig pigmen? Knolls? Yeah. I like that orc. Orc, he looks great. Oh, a frog guy. Little frog guy. I don't see more of frog guy. Wow, this is just like an all an alternate universe. Just, yeah. Boy, I'm a fancy. Who's that big fella? Look at that mega spider. He looks great. It's like a Skaven. Skaven man, sure. H halfling. Ooh. Undead halfling. Wow. You don't see that very often. Just gnolls. Your gnolls. More halflings. I do like the undead halflings. That is not super really Wow, uh, the little ghost swarm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I don't love the desert elves. Mummies. Hmm. So the Knolls have clearly done up as a Skaven army. Where they got yeah, the fail, they've got a lot of that. And stuff. Yeah, like Rat Ogre. Mm. The pictures are so small, though. They're very small. I like that style of walk. Yeah, real old school. Moors. The Frogs. Frog Battalion. <gasps> that looks great. I like the Frog Boys. These all these are all very very nice. Mm. Uh, I gotta say, for a win, I'm uh, my money would be on Zombie Zoo when it is re when it's rebranded. Re when it's rebranded, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, mm. I don't know if it's allowed to win if it's been cancelled. Are you sure Gubfish doesn't want to win? Gubfish wins. <laughs> I think we can all agree Gubfish is the winner this week. Because it has not been cancelled. No, it's still got, still got hope in its life. There's still... If you pay $10, you can become a gubfish merchant. <laughs> really? Sell your own gubfish. Wow. I would like to ha look into that fucking spectrometer and see the, the different path my life would lead. <laughs> if, just like, fuck this. Just pivot into fuck, fuck doing the stream and the YouTube channel. Shut it all down. Gubfish. <laughs> I'm going into Gubfish, baby. 
and to oh. see see what that see what that turns into. Yeah, gub fishmonger. Oh God. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Dark Empires of the Oh, they look like um, female great swords. Okay. I like the hats. Hats are great. She looks really good. Mm. Like, because it is not overtly. Yeah, it's not super sexual in any way. They actually look like that great swords who happen to be women rather than like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, cool. Some Spartans as well. Okay. They're all looking pretty good. We're getting danger close. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a really nice elephant. Hmm. I like a good ancient. Oh, elephant. I like this thing. Weird spooky cultists carrying something. Wow. With like Oh, that actually looks really good. That's a fun model. These are pretty Oh, they're like musketeers. Pretty fucking rad. I'm kind of into it. Okay, getting a little tittier. <laughs> And uh, Prince wow. is here too. It's Prince, Prince is the bard. <laughs> Warning: some figures not safe for work. <laughs> oh God, you horny boys! Oh, they look great. Cheeky jester, it's fun. Uh oh, uh oh, we're go. getting into city territory. Uh, you can go and investigate. There's, there's some really, really nice models in there. Like yeah. really good sculpts. How's the stuff. thing doing? Doing great. Mm. And uh, are you ready for magic houses? Oh, they're just fantasy houses. They're nice ones. It, really beautiful sculpt. I like, you know, the realism compared to this, mm. which is very... It's a bit more cartoony, isn't it? Yeah. Like, these actually look pretty pretty good. Although magic houses, I feel like I was a bit upsold. Yeah, you've, uh, you've over... Overpromised here. I th that's, but that's on me. <laughs> yeah. I got to. You jumped to conclusions. Oh, what about that shark face crag rock with boat sticking out of it? Pretty good. Giant skull. Mm. Uh, okay, we're getting into some good. good. I like those. Like these are all, all really nice. Oh, pirate town. Oh, holy shit. That's pretty rad. They're great. Okay. Um, people are also asking us about the Chaos Dwarf trailer. Chaos Dwarves. Um, um, which I think we're... Is it in here? Uh, well, we need to go on a quick break. We do. So we'll talk about Chaos Dwarves when we get back. And we'll also be playing some more King of the Castle. Yes. Uh, this game. So... King of the Castle. We're King Tom and Ben. Well, do you want to make a new dynasty so people can start joining? Joining the oh, game. Yeah, good idea. Oh, Mimic Castle. We'll talk about the Mimic Castle as well. Do you want to come up with a name? Oh, yeah. Uh, so for anyone who wasn't here last week, this is a game where chat gets to play along with us. Um, Tom and I will be the king, but you will be anyone who types exclamation mark join when the time comes. Um, will join our council who gets to vote on how the kingdom is run. And you'll have your own agendas. And uh, chat can win or Tom can win and Ben can win. It's really fun. We had a great time last week. So please enjoy. King Yulon <laughs> <laughs> of the Kongulites. <laughs> Perfect. Begin? Sure. Uh, play on Twitch. Play on Twitch. Uh, right. Last time the North won. So let's not have the North. Let's try okay. um, some other people. Let's get the people in the South mm -hmm. for sure. Let's keep the Counts because they were jokes. They were jokes. Great. Those three? Yeah, that looks good. There you go. Now you can join. Uh, we won't start till after the break. But yeah, we'll be starting till after then. In. So uh, type join. And there you go. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we're going to take a quick break. Um, stay tuned. Uh, we'll be back. We'll be reading through your messages. We'll talk a little bit about the Chaos Dwarves mm -hmm. and go from there. Amazing. Like this. We'll see you in five. See you soon. Did you watch Rush for a TNT? Bam, 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 bam. Tom, 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 Tom. Bam, bam, bam. Tom, Tom, Tom. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Oh, welcome back. Tom and Ben, King the World. King the World. King it up. King it all win. over the place. You're going to be the Counts of the East? The Grandees of the South? 
the Barons of the Marsh. Ooh. Or Monarch King Yulon. <laughs> is uh, <laughs> who, who we are. Uh, is who we are. So as people... Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, Pierre. Goodbye, Pierre. Uh, we'll let a couple more people join. Should we read out some messages while we do? We can do that. Uh, oh, I can click through all the tutorial stuff as well, actually. Yeah, if you want to click through that. Uh, we've got a very generous donation from Zoe, who donates three bucks. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you. We say, Tom Burton. Uh, last week, I told you about Q in Dragon Form uh, Discord. Oh, yeah. Uh, from MLP. But this week, I bring the greatest news of all. Kragnos is canon in My Little Pony. What? Look up Lord Tyrek. He is a centaur with horns who was trapped in the core of the earth. Tyrek. Lord Ty... How do I spell that? T-I-R-E-K. Tyrek. Okay. Wow. He's a bit of a Kragnos, isn't he? He's very Kragnos. Yeah. Do you think he killed his brother because he, he, he wanted, wanted to... to fuck the Ugh. same... The only ball. piece of Kragnos lore I know. He smashed eggs. Oh, he did smash eggs, and he got stuck in a mountain. Stuck in a mountain. He's always been there. <laughs> He's always been there. GW's inspiration department strikes again. Wow. <laughs> okay, love love it. Oh, Great. Wow, he can do a fireball. Maybe. <gasps> Wait, so at some point was he like a little weenus, and then he got into a became a big buff boy. Yeah, I guess. I oh, know, because this is a different... Yeah, look, there's Lord Tyrek. And that's a Lord Tyrek. Did he, like, lose his powers? Oh. And become a weenie old man? Oh, he looks like he's got some schemes. Explain the before and after. He looks like a schemer there. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay. Sure. Uh, well, thank you so much for that rich lore. The more you know. The law you know. The law you know. Uh, Sir of the Death takes three bucks. Thank you, Sir. And they say, Mighty Tom, Mighty Ben, help me because I can't get this song out of my head. Here we go, here we go, Dakar all the way. Oh, what fun it is to wow with Beaky gets to slay. Is that the the Christmas wow song? Yeah, that's like? the one. God, I'm going to have that stick in my head now, too. Uh, we get adverts. Yeah, that's the Goth it was a good, song. the Goth Rocker song. It was a great song. That Pretty was a good. Good, good bit of branding they did. Uh, what do we want our goal to be, Tom? The old King Elon quest. Uh, what do you like the idea of? Um, Golden Age? Pretty good. Golden Age. Sure. Okay. We'll set a new golden age, which means uh, we need to get trade high. What a trade. That's our deal, which is good for everyone, because if we get if every faction that gets their trade up, uh, each baron and person will get more money individually. That's good, okay. good for everyone. Do you have the game muted? Yeah, I must do. must have had it muted while we were talking Warhammer. That makes sense. Nice. Is that too quiet? Maybe you can crank it up a bit. It's just like central music in the background, right? Yeah, I can't even hear the music. I can hear like a clonk when you do an option. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Uh, so uh, Talos Kane donates 12 bucks. Thank you, Talos Kane. They say, Tom Tholomew and Benthazar. Ah, that's us. Uh, I can't watch the stream as Wednesday is Wargaming Night at my local gaming store. Oh, nice. Uh, Enjoy. I offer some Infinity Minis for Ooh. you to see. Thank you tell us, Kane. Just Enjoy your gaming night. Oh. You're orange boys. They're looking real cool. I like the bases. Yeah, the bases look great. Very cool. And you got weenie robot this boy. Little little weenie boy. They look Hanging great. Out. Very cool. Thank you for sharing. Very. Very cool. Right. And good luck with your games. Monarch King Yulon. They want to coronate you with a tradition. Mmm. Do you want to use your veto? Or do you want to select your preferred option? The options are uh, parade with jugglers and fountains of wine. Sounds great. Force the commoners to swear a blood oath. That sounds fucking great. Throw the new monarch into the river. Mm -mm -mm. Or the troops shall bear the monarch through the streets atop a shield. 
Uh, I'm gonna, I want to veto that river thing. <laughs> yeah, because they did that to us last time. Yeah, we did that last time. That's boring. All right, everyone get ready to vote. Just exclamation mark vote with A, B, or D. Because C has been vetoed. Uh, no river. No wet boys today. Uh, so do we know what the people's, the faction's goals are yet? No, we need to get to that point. Um, they'll get to pick their own goals. It's pretty even spread, but people like the idea well, of us getting more military and losing a bit of authority. Okay. Does uh, just being carried along a shield make us look bad? Apparently so, in the eyes of the people. I don't know. Well, the the, uh, the Council of Noble Chat has spoken. Well done. A good vote. We shall be bared atop a shield in our coronation. Nice. Oh, because they gain the military. Oh. Right. Soldiers okay. from across the kingdom take part in the parade. They're even outfitted with new impressive equipment for the occasion. Wow. Um, it's not going to be easy. Your arm starts to hurt as we wave our shield or sword around. The soldiers stagger and groan under our weight. Oh. Um, one of the shield bearers trips, and we land in a puddle. Oh, it always ends up with us getting wet. Boo. Can't avoid it. It's our destiny. Okay. To be a wet king. Right. Scheme. So the grandees. Mm, they're the religious folk from the south. Okay. Um... He, this guy, Fabian, wants to be king. Ah, a false pretender us. occupies my throne. So yellows can vote for how yellows can become king. With subterfuge, with a witch hunt, or with fervor. Farming. Mm. Witch hunt sounds kind of legit. Uh, subterfuge is probably always good, right? Low yeah, I mean, that's, you've got to sneak, right? Uh, but they are, I mean, the thing is, they already have high faith, right? So like, which hunt's probably the easiest goal. Oh, oh yeah, God, like, yeah, because they're already on faith seven. That's so definitely they, the most achievable. And it's probably quite easy to make us look like a heathen, you know, and get the church to like... If it's us, yeah, definitely heathen. Yeah, wise choice, I think, there, Grandis. You've chosen well. Well met. There is all sorts of heresy in the capital, and the Grandis intend to uh, expose it. First... They must ensure that the South is beyond reproach. Okay, so everyone else, if you are part of the council, part of the barons, you are trying to lower the f anything that will lower the faith of the grandees. Or increase your own faith. Or increases yours. Um, really, really will help these you. These guys are going to win the game. That's how you will help, help yourself win. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind for your goal. They have got three seasons to have the highest faith, so you've got a little bit of time to react. So get um, yours up or theirs down. That's yes. what you want to do. Meanwhile, the Counts want to bring back the days of glory. Ooh, my fellow Counts in ancient times. <laughs> okay. Right, yeah. Uh, what are they going to do? Are they going to intimidate us? Are they going to demonically ascend? Or are they going to demonically possess? Well, they all sound good. I know. The, the, the Counts are my favorite faction. Yeah, they've got the most, the most fun, <laughs> fun things going on. Not that I will show them favoritism, though. I just like no. their law best. Yeah, yeah, I kind of agree with that. We treat all of our nobles equally. Uh, they are really split on what they want. Yeah, well, they've got plenty of exciting options, haven't they? Give them a little few more seconds, because yeah. possession it and faith are pretty close, but drop their faith down. Sounds like there's heresy going on in the, you know, the eastern count kingdoms. That's true. If they're going to lower their own faith, that plays right into the grandees' hands. Yeah, that works. They're trying to do that same thing. Mm, I think you might have chosen poorly there, Counts. Let's find out how that goes. Right, they will try to ascend. They want to induct the monarch into the secret cult and offer them immortality in exchange for the throne. I would definitely accept that deal. Mm -hmm. But first, they must reduce the power of the Eastern Church. To advance their scheme, they must lower their faith to four. In less than three seasons. Okay, so the the grandees and the barons, the reds and the yellows, you're trying. You want to do anything that will raise the counts' faith. Mm -hmm. That's how you're going to stop them doing their goal. Because if counts win, you guys all lose. Yeah. And then lastly, Rudolph of the barons. He wants to be king with his bagpipes. Gross. Who wants a bagpipe king? Do you want to modernize 
your nation? Lower others' military. Do you want to do a propaganda or a gunpowder? Gunpowder? Come on, blow us up. <laughs> blow us up, cowards. <laughs> that sounds like the coolest one. I want us to explode. <laughs> yeah. I'll happily have my reign ended <laughs> when you blow me up. Blow up the whole palace. Yeah. There's, you can't be a king <laughs> if you've been blown up. Wow, because modernization was way ahead until you did your impassioned <laughs> gunpowder plot speech. It just seems like the, <laughs> it seems like the funniest one. Let them, they can vote how they're going to take over. Uh, <laughs> although A is probably the easiest one for you to do. Anyone who's last wants to vote, because I imagine if it's you have to have the highest military, you already mm. do have the highest military. Um, but I'm just here because I want to get exploded. <laughs> Well, they voted for the gunpowder. Nice. Um, there's a new substance called gunpowder, and with enough of that, we could take over the kingdom. Sounds amazing. But the monarch will not allow one region to hoard such a thing, so we must do it secretly. To advance their scheme, they must lower the authority of the king to four or less. We're already at low. So, guys, if you want to stop the barons from winning, you have to help us raise our authority. You need to get... Our authority up, mm -hmm. you need to get yellow's faith, faith down, down, and you need to get purple's faith up. up. Exactly. That's how... Because if, if we're a weak king, we won't be able to enforce our laws, and then we'll be able to buy more gunpowder. Perfect. Um, so here we go. We have no air. Oh, sad. Uh, right, we've got dangerous cult, honor guard, or itching for a fight. Let's do itching for a fight. Um, it's Baron Mildly Wild. Your Majesty, we're in the marsh, have finished a complete reorganization of our new army. It is truly a powerful beast now. Ooh. Uh, yeah, is there something you want? Since you asked, I was hoping the Crown might be willing to host some military exercises. The soldiers are restless. Uh, we want me to start a war? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We just need a suitable campaign to wet our swords and spears. An unblooded army isn't worth its salt, I say. Uh, let's see what the council thinks. Let them do the vote. Uh, it's not on me. Instead of a costly war, your highness, we could establish mercenary companies to fight abroad and take a healthy cut of the profits. That sounds oh, ace. Yeah, we just like rotate our soldiers out as a foreign legion. That sounds super good. That's a great idea, Treasurer. Well, the Marshal says, um, if your majesty wishes to gain something more than gold, we might, we should use our might as intended and make inroads into Tavi Tavalain. Tavalin. Whose mediocre army will be no match. Oh, okay. Just Little... invade our neighbors. Okay, so we can have mercenaries where... We get gold. And the barons will get the gold. The barons get gold. Mm -hmm. Start a war. Our stability goes down. Oh, but our authority goes up. Okay, so uh, some people might not want that. Uh, a full-scale invasion of the Ishmedian Empire. Okay, I don't know if that's the right answer. Um, but we get... S or just say, no, it's foolish. Okay. We definitely we need authority up. We do need authority up. Should we? I think either the money or A or B both sound good. Hmm. Should we veto one then? Do you want to veto? Or should we save our veto for something more important? Uh... I feel like the barons are going to vote A because they get money for it. Hmm. And yeah, they don't care about their military as much. And B and C are so similar, they'll split the vote. Yeah. So maybe we should monarch's choice B or C. If we go B, sure. to tell people, like, if you vote for C, you will end up getting A. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you don't want A, vote for B. Mm -hmm. We need to focus. Focus and their minds. If you're going to vote for, for C. Okay, here we go. Let's see what people do. 
Ooh, look at that, the Baron. Wow, no, not a single Baron. Oh, they won. One has gone in. <laughs> With oh, one loyal me. Baron. <laughs> He's like, yes, I'll support that war. Barons are hot for money. Barons really want that cash. Uh, I mean, a thousand bucks for us would, be, would have been good too. But I do want that authority. Yeah. Yeah, we need that. We need to unify the kingdom with a foreign war. Also, that kind of poops on the barons as well. Yeah, because they actually want to keep our authority. They want to keep right? our authority at four or lower, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so that's helping to stop them. Huzzah! We shall resolve a border dispute. I mean, it was always our territory. Not resolve a border dispute, start a border <laughs> dispute. It's very different, very different branding on that. Uh, citing a centuries-old um, agreement between the kingdom and the empire, the barons' forces will soon occupy a small strip of land on the border. So the barons are now happy because they've had their exercises. Yeah. Uh, we've lost some stability because war's bad for people. War bad. But we now look like a badass. Okay, nice. A little credible. Hmm. Uh, the marshes' battalions will see action, but not enough, as the locals' resistance is paltry. Meanwhile, you wait a word from the queen. Mm. Oh, yeah, this could escalate, couldn't it? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, well. Well, uh, they'll get a lot more training real soon if it does escalate. <laughs> uh, right. Count any madman is here. Uh, oh, the dead god. Nonsense, it's blasphemy! Oh, is this the arm of the dead god again? Yeah. Oh, shit. You don't want to hear it? You don't want to get that arm? It's blasphemy. It doesn't exist. It's not even real. <laughs> Church attendance is already down, and with it, tithes. We can barely manage without tithes. This heresy cannot stand. The council must do something to stop it. Right, so there's a cult worshipping a god arm that they found. Do we summon the High Inquisitor to break up the cult? We we'll lose more stability, which is already quite low. Do we dispatch a spy to find out more? Probably dispatch a spy. Or do we just leave it? So if we leave it, that will lower the faith of the counts, which oh, is what they want. Oh, they do want that. So the counts probably want to vote for C. Are we going to let them? Should we veto it? It's very aggressive for us to be taking <laughs> sides. We should leave this to the council. That's true. The we don't other play people. favorites. If we did summon the High Inquisitor, that will probably end up purging heretics and raising the faith of the counts in the long run. Oh, so A is probably... Everyone else should vote for A. <laughs> yeah. Counts. Who knows where you want to vote? Mm. Uh, so, but we could just start voting. We don't even need to We don't need a veto. Yeah, because, you know, we're just here to advise. We're here. We're leaving it to our council, but anyone who wants to try and stop the counts from winning, probably vote for A. Because, uh, you know, a high inquisitor will really sort out those cults pretty quick. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's mm. some yellows who want to send out a uh, a thing. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess the yellows, actually, they... It's kind of potato-potato for them. The, mm. Do they have to... Have, no, they just need to have no, faith seven or higher or six or higher. They just have to have the highest faith. Oh, okay. So they do need to worry about just in case the faith goes up. I'm worried about stability now, though. Because um, game over if we hit stability zero. Oh. But then doesn't everyone lose as well? Uh, no, someone can win. Oh. I'm mm. not sure exactly how it works. <coughs> I will make them see the true light of the ninth, esteemed members of the council. Over the weeks, word reaches the council that the High Inquisitor is altogether too enthusiastic. Uh -oh. She escalates panic by hanging anyone daring mention the cult's existence. Uh, I don't know if that's the best way to handle, <laughs> handle the problem, but... I think the High Inquisitor is a bit of a loose cannon. Yeah. All right, we need a, uh, a bodyguard. Okay. Um, so we've Oh, fierce battle nuns. Yeah, the options are the Knights of the Rose from the east... The Southern Battle Nuns, the Veterans of the March. I have to know about the Southern Battle Nuns. They're terrifying warriors, and they've sworn a vow of silence. Oh, Sisters of Silence. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> but their faith and loyalty is to the church above all. Ooh. 
Even above my safety. That doesn't seem so good. What about the soldiers of the marsh? They've fought more battles and they've had hot dinners. Wow. They will be uncouth, but they are loyal and tough as nails. Or the Knights of the Rose, who understand palace etiquette, but it's been years since they fought a battle. Okay. What about the Mercs? Um, they're from the Tatalans, and they're called the Batten, Battle Bitten Brethren. That's going to be hard to say. The BBB. The BBB boys. We specialize in bodyguard work, but they are costly, and it might insult all the regions. It sounds like the red the red guys are like the best. Yeah. Although the, the yellows are cool. The yellows are cool. Battle nuns. I just worry that they're gonna they're gonna cause a bit of problems when they find out that we're not very faithful. Yeah, and they might help raise the faith of yellows oh, in the that's long true. run at some point. Um, or the no the no bodyguard option is also an option. Oh, okay. Well, what what does what does it say when we? So Mercenaries just... aren't that expensive, actually. Uh, and that just makes everyone more defiant. Yeah, but defiance will be whoever you pick goes down and everyone else goes up. Right. Okay. So this is just an everyone up, rather than one person going down. It's two defiance for all, really. Jeez. Uh, I don't know. What do you suggest, Advisor Ben? I would say no honor guard, because then our authority gets right up. Okay, sure. Makes us do look it. like a badass. I That's mean, it might, but it might come back to bite us in the ass later when we need a bodyguard. Oh. But if we're beloved by all. Fine. Battle nuns it is. <laughs> they sound the, the funniest. <laughs> Um, cool, everyone's a bit grumpy, except for the South, who obviously love that. Yeah, battle nuns. They nod to you silently, oh. their solemn steel masks betraying nothing, before filing into formation behind your throne. I like that. I don't now have to make awkward chit-chat. With, um, with them. You know, imagine if you had like a, like a mute barber. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Love it, yeah. <laughs> the guy who I get my hair cut, like he'll just, at the beginning, say, what do you want? Same as last time? And I'll be like, yes. And then it's silence until, <laughs> like, is this okay? And I'm like, yes. It's amazing. I very much enjoy it. That's the way to do it's it. It's so good. I agree. Uh, also, if we do have to deal with a cult attacking us at some point, oh, they're yeah. going to be pretty legit. That's true. Okay, we can anger the cults whenever we wish. Right, now there's an auction. So when we start the auction... Everyone can type exclamation mark fund, the letter of the building they want to fund, and then how much of their own personal wealth they want. Everyone should have about a thousand gold. Okay. Right? And these, they don't raise, like they, um, so if they affect like authority or stability, they do it to us. And if they affect anything else, they do it to the place they're built in. So you could, you, the, the yellows could fund a deer park in the count's territory to reduce their farming. Yeah. So you can build buildings in other people's territory to, like fuck them over. The counts probably want to build the observatory because it lowers their fate. The counts are gonna really want that. Mm -hmm. Also, the grandees are probably gonna want that cathedral. Yeah, but only the two highest biddings get built. So, if you don't want those ones to be built, because mm, the barons are gonna want the theater, I assume. Uh, they can't see the well. The grand bazaar. The grand bazaar is plus one trade. It's plus one to trade for yellows. That's like an economy build. If you, the higher your trade is, the more money you'll have next year. Yeah. So there's plenty of good options, but only two will be built. If you fund something that doesn't get built, you get your money back. Yeah. So you may as well. You may as well go for it. Have a run a gamble. There's lots of things here that want to be built. I think. Uh. Um. I would love that monument. I would love that monument as well. <laughs> Can we have a monument to Tom and Ben, please? Tom and Ben want a monument. <laughs> Look, it could be like a sexy statue of us. Oh, yeah. Right. Three, two, one. Bid, bid, bid. Uh, so, please outbid the cathedral and the observatory. That's helping two different factions win their goal. Mm. Uh, people are very into the theater where they're going to put on mean plays about us. Wow, the theater is fucking <laughs> red hot. <laughs> oh, jeez. No one's going for the deer park. Oh. Boo. Not even one person's bid like one buck. No, a single the... buck for deers. Uh, I feel bad for them. Okay. 
Yeah, D is winning. Observatory is winning. I don't want D and E to both get built. That would suck, If both D and it? E happen, that's two factions who are getting far closer to their goal. Oh, okay, we've got some bids on the Deer Park. It's never going to win. But, <laughs> but God bless you. Uh, well done. It's almost as popular as the, the sexy monument that we were going to build. Oh. Well, I want that to Ooh, win. Ooh, D is getting outbid now heavily, and now E and B are the winners. Mm, it's pretty close, though, isn't it? There's not much in it. Ooh, that was so close. Time is up. Look at that. Nearly 60,000 gold. Wow. Okay, well done. Well, it's the Crazy Wolf Fox Cathedral and the Duke 9000 Theatre. Oh, so the Reds wants to lower our authority because that's their goal. Yeah. Shit. Uh, as it currently goes, all three factions are completing their quests right now. Okay, well, that's fun. Not as good for us, <laughs> no. but it's fun. It's good for them, I guess. Uh, um, well, I guess the Counts have got all the money now. Yeah. Uh, so our mum comes to say we have to get a uh, spouse. Uh, what do you prefer? Just any, anyone. Any, anything goes. Okay, we'll find out who's available. We'll go on to Ye Olde Tinder, and she's going to swipe for us. The Inquisitor's in trouble in the East. Do you remember they went to put down, put down that cult? Oh, yeah. Your Majesty, despite our Inquisition's efforts, the cult problem worsens. Oh, no. They have explosions under several Eastern cities. It is shaking faith in the church. Mm. Count Kevlin says... Never mind the church. He's been shaking the foundations of my mansion. Oh, no. Count Kevlin. Your Majesty, this heresy, this eighth chapter, it must be rooted out. Okay. I require more resources. Wow. Okay, so we can send royal soldiers with her to the east to increase faith. Okay. Tell her to stop complaining and do her job, which will increase faith. Or call the Inquisition off, which will reduce faith. Okay. So the purples probably want... Uh, C. The purples <laughs> definitely want C. And everyone else does not want C. So uh, I think we need to help stop the vote splitting here. I feel like if we don't send soldiers... I think we should definitely send someone. If we're going to do one of the other two, do A if yeah. you want to try and stop purple winning. Yeah. That's the anti-purple vote right there. Uh, a. Just how invested are people going to get? S Spengel, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Instructions unclear. <laughs> uh, I, I think she should just do her job. <laughs> Why would she just do her job? Just fix it. Just fix it. Just do it better. <laughs> Spengel, man, come on. <laughs> An excessive clownery has joined you. Oh... <laughs> Random purple person joined as well. <laughs> Why uh, not? Well, clearly the council has spoken. Everyone's very in, on board with cucking purple right now. Mm. Um, your wisdom is without equal, your majesty. Well, it's kind of more the... Uh, it's the council. It's the council. Yeah, they did this. Look, we lowered their defiance. That's good. Mm. Up their faith. Great. Which is also good. Uh, your marshal makes arrangements to turn a battalion of the royal army with the High Inquisitor's mission. Yeah, do it. Stamp out those cults. Um, Maybe hang less peasants. Yeah, try to avoid that. That doesn't seem like the best strat at the moment. Mm. I agree. Oh, the war. Right oh, oh yeah, yeah, the marsh is invading the, the, the south, the, aren't they? The Tavalins. Yeah. <laughs> Dearest monarch King Yolon. I regret to have learned that a number of soldiers bearing banners of your barons have occupied the edges of my territory. Mm. I'm sure this is very unfortunate misunderstanding. Still, I ask you to desist immediately. The consequences of not doing so will be severe. My gaunt will be watching, as always. My gaunt? Like a hormigaunt. Like a hormigaunt. Yeah, there's loads of gaunts coming. Okay. Oh, shit. Mm. Tyranids. It's P.S. I know about your nut allergy. Oh, shit. Yeah, my pipes are all blocked up. Should we find out what the gaunt are? Uh, what are the gaunt? They are a shadowy rumor, but we believe they are Tavalin's network of spies and assassins. Uh, 
I don't like the sound of that at all. Nor I, Your Majesty. What should we do, our faithful council? Do we withdraw the Baron's forces? Make us look like a dickhead. That does make us look like a dickhead. Go on the offensive and take as much territory as possible. Gain authority. Lose stability. Lose military. A small amount of money will be gained by the, count, by the barons. Okay. Or occupy them and wait for the retaliation. So I guess... The, the barons they probably might. want A. Or B. It, both are good for them. But B raises our authority and that mm. will stop them winning their mission. That's true. I don't want to lose the stability, though. We don't really want to lose the stability. Maybe we just, just win the war? Forehead? Just win the war, forehead. <laughs> I think A is like the winner's choice. Um, do we really? Do we... But then, then we get oh, authority three. Oh, I don't want that. That does sound bad. Do we veto that? Don't lose authority. We we're, we're not withdrawing. No retreat. No retreat. No Never surrender. surrender. What do you guys want to do? Go on the offensive or the defensive? Uh, Vote now. So the Reds definitely want to, are probably going to vote for C. Everyone else, if you vote for B, that will... That blocks the Reds. That blocks the Reds. Mm. Smart. Smart. And then we're just going to have to grab the first ability thing that comes along. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure the Grand Inquisitor... We'll sort everything The out. Grand Inquisitor <laughs> sounds like they're doing their strong and stable, right? <laughs> yeah. Good job, Council. Well done. All right, we're going to go on the offensive and take as much territory as possible. Um, hopefully those um, battle nuns will intercept all nuts coming our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're great at blocking <laughs> nuts, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we gained authority. We've lost. We're now turbulent. Uh-oh. Military's taking a hit. But the Baron's got some money out of it. Sure. But they're very loyal. You hear nothing from the enemy queen. Her troops only provide a token resistance. But you will have to watch your back. Ah, uh, it's fine. Um, they, they call them the no-nut nuns. The no-nut <laughs> nuns. I know, my ball. Um, I wish we had a couple more donations. We've got some lovely messages from... Excellent peoples. Um, Krut Kink Eldurian says, Hi, Tom and Ben. How the partner. Me, me cop, cop eggs. Chump me up if applicable. As you may know, as you may have guessed, I've been rewatching The Expanse. Copeng. Yeah, I was just about to say, that's a thing that the, um, the, what are they called? The, the Rimmers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what they call it. What them. those Rim boys say. Copeng. Still the hoping belters, somehow we'll get more episodes pulled out of a magic hat somewhere, but it's not likely. Feels bad, man. You can always read the books. Belters. <laughs> there's plenty, plenty of books, right? It's more book. Yeah. But I don't think there's going to be more. Series, no, they right? just like ended it. Things should end. I know it's like tough when your favorite show ends, but when things don't end, they just get worse and worse and worse. Mm, yeah. You know, end on a high. I agree. Um, Setsuo, thank you for donating. Says, Tom, Ben, after I finished the dragon, I tried working on my Krut kill team as a palette cleanser. Ooh. Also, I'm painting Space Hulk walls, trying for a Sin City high contrast scheme. He's a practice for my next display. Sounds project. very cool. That all sounds great. You call him Chicken Little. Oh, the Krut looks, Krut looks rad. That's a lovely Krut. Oh, I do like Krut. They're good boys. Like wow. the colorful, the colorful uh, quills. Yeah, the eye is good. It's a very good eye. Oh, there are sort of the the walls. I want to see some walls. Yeah, show me them walls. Oh, that looks cool. That's like real stylized. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm into that. Nice. Those fans look ace. Mmm. That is cool. Nicely done. Thank you for sharing. Very good. Um, Banana Super King donates. Thank you very much. It says, Baron Ben and Tyrant Tom. Sorry, was stuck and distracted in the Joblin pile for a while. They got this new love enhancer. And well, it's something else. 
Anyway, hot enhanced pearls for my lords. May your rule be as strong as our love for Kremlo. Lovely. I don't think anything can be as strong as that, but... We appreciate it nonetheless. In a distant fortress, amid dark and brooding forests, a small squat castle stands. Okay, right. The barons. The barons are here. Leoghan is chatting with Tonu. Um, but the foreigners are too afraid to sell the gunpowder to the barons because we are a strong and yeah. stable king. Well, we're strong. Not, <laughs> not a lot of stability. <laughs> Then our work is not done. We need to weaken monarch King Yelon's grip. Stop plotting against us, you cowards. They still continue to want to lower authority. Yeah. Well done, everybody. You blocked blocked the reds. Excellent work. Uh, we can now choose. Do we tax the kingdom or do we tax one faction specifically uh, for extra money and defiance making? I feel like we should tax those rich yellows. Yeah, the yellow because yellows didn't build a building, did they? They got cash cash lying around. Also, no, they did. The purples didn't build the building. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, but the grandees dig up buried treasure worth five hundred wealth in the desert. So I think we need to um, tax that uh, windfall tax. Yeah, windfall tax. So you still get more money than you would have done, but we get some of it too. Also, yellows are the only people who are going to complete their their quest. That's right? true. Yellows are pulling ahead of everyone else. So we gotta we gotta tax the yellows. Yeah, because we don't want them doing getting further ahead than everyone else than they already are. That makes sense. Nice. We got them. Um. Okay. Oh, we can. We've got a letter from the sorcerer in the east. We can look at a spouse. Or this unfolding chaos. Let's handle the other stuff, and then we'll deal with our our house. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's the that's the system people do, right? Um, a strange letter has arrived, Your Majesty. I think it must be from Etravion da Opera. Oh, it's the wizard. The wizard again. This is weird because when I've played this a bunch of times, I haven't had any repeating quests. Really? Well, this one we had last week. Mm. You take, you hold out your hand to take the letter, and it bursts into flames. Oh shit! It was one of those like Mission Impossible self-destruct things. <laughs> your spy master throws the burning missive to the ground, and the next mor moment, it morphs into a screeching spirit made of living fire. Oh, that sounds so good. Count No Nonsense Socks says, "Witchcraft! Witchcraft!" That's exactly how they speak. <laughs> uh, speak apparition. <laughs> A voice. Oh, it looks great. Iron dragged over hot coals proclaims. Do you want to do the voice? I wish I hear you wish to kill my master. Uh, I know you tried, you pig. Meet with my master at his temple beneath the gods' uh, good ground, or he'll drown the east in blood. The burning spirit takes flight and begins to circle the council chamber. We will have no parley with this madman. Tell this abomination to be gone. That's what you sound like, no nonsense socks. I'm That's sorry, I sound like. don't pick the, pick the voices. I have a notion, your majesty. A parley would present the perfect opportunity to ambush the eighth chapter's inner circle. Ooh. What do we want to do? Ooh, we could agree to an honest meeting to increase stability. We could use the meeting as an ambush to increase authority. Yeah. Or we could just send in the troops. I say ambush. Everyone ambush. Look, we get the authority up. Mm -hmm. Ambush. All right, King's Choice ambush. That's Just because it sounds great. <laughs> Just because you want to be a shady boy. I want to be a shady boy. I want to ambush them. Me with my silent warrior nuns. Oh. They would love to ambush. Uh, like I bet they're really court. good at ambushing because they're so quiet. They're so quiet. <laughs> Come on, vote for the ambush. Look at all you people. Voting for stability. Oh, what red, a bunch of nerds. The reds are going to vote for stability because the reds don't want authority up. Oh, okay. That's, Come on. Ambush. Come on, ambush the everybody. Purple Yellow Alliance. It'll be the funniest one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, just, I just think we'd, we'd have a great ambush. We're perfectly set up for this. Okay. Nice. We're doing it. The burning spirit shrieks, dives at the floor, and it vanishes in a shower of sparks. We 
We are now commanding. Nice. The spy master approaches the scorch mark and looks amazed. This is a map. Ooh. This is the place and time you are to meet the sorcerer. And there we will plunge as many knives as we can find into his back. Love it. Love that energy. Uh, count no nonsense socks. <laughs> Quite. I will gather my agents in the east and have them scout the area. Okay. Let's uh, let's uh, go back to Tinder. Um, I don't even get to meet them. No, we have to look at um, look at portraits. Okay. So our choices are Veronica, okay. eldest daughter of Idunikan. Ooh. Uh, she looks very severe, but it might yeah. be a trick of the light, perhaps. Okay. She's brought a controlling interest in a silver mine in the east and has made a killing. She did have to suppress a peasant revolt in her land. Ah, uh, you know, it's, it's peasants. They love revolting. <laughs> She's intriguing. From the south, we have the eldest son of Radiating Shark. Uh, he has an ego the size of the sun. Wow. Um, there's nothing wrong with confidence, right? Okay. He's an obsessive gambler, which is frowned upon in the south, and it's caused some scandal. He sometimes skips church. Oh, that might lower their... Their faith. Yeah. Ooh, not bad at all. Interesting. And then we've got Joanna, scion of Frazzle 96. Okay. Um, a typical baron, loud, brash, and self-absorbed, self mostly well-meaning. Oh, they sound kind of nice. Passion for hunting. No beast is safe from her crossbow, nor are they, actually. Huh? No beast is safe from her crossbow, and nor are they. Oh, right, they sometimes... They shot themselves... In the shin, or okay. trying to shoot a ferret. <laughs> Sounds like a laugh. They sound kind of jokes. Um, Who do you like? Uh, Probably not going to go with the Eastern one, right? Probably not Eastern. I think we can rule that out. Mm -hmm. I think it's either going to be the Gambler or Old Limpy. <laughs> uh, I feel like the... Yeah, maybe the Southerners, because they... That sounds like it might cause a bit of intrigue. Yeah, hopefully he can, like, lower faith. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the East. Grumpy about that. Well, mm, what's he going to do? Mm. The heart wants what the heart wants. Exactly. <laughs> they want that piss boy. <laughs> they want piss boy. <laughs> uh, there's an unusually large number of petitioners today, Your Majesty. Okay. We won't have time for everyone. Who are you going to listen to first? Uh, why are you here? Lower trade? What do you want lower military? Of the Grandees? Maybe. Or farming. Oh, that it? Oh, no, the Grandees are at war. Oh, so we probably don't want to do that. But then, if we don't deal with it, will, is that what's going to happen? Do you know what I mean? I feel like whichever one you click on, it's lowering. Hmm. Uh, any any of them. I leave it. Leave it to you, Ben. My right. noble advice. I feel like logic says if we don't deal with their problem, they're going to lose military. And since okay. they're doing our border war. Oh sure. Okay, do that. Yeah. But I might be wrong about that. Oh shit. Oh no, I got them mixed up. The grandies are the yellow guys. <laughs> Okay, well, their army's now bad. Uh, right, so Jazzy Starbang has lost a whole battalion of soldiers. Right. Um, their military is now inadequate. They've deserted. No idea why they left or where they went. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, I don't mind who loses whatever on this. No, me neither, really. Um, Farming is... Higher across the board than trade, so let's... Lose a bit of farming? Yeah. And then count Sir Louis? Wait, no. Whoever, whichever one you click on, by listening to their problem... It bad it go, things It's happen. bad. I by, hate that. By ignoring the problem, it's fine. <laughs> well, the East now has poor trade. Sir Louis is here saying, Someone's been attacking my trade caravans in the East, Your Highness. They're not even targeting anything in particular. Just looking to cause maximum havoc. Could it be those deserters from the south? Oh, it's all dovetailing together. Uh-oh. 
The missing soldiers are now raiding the east. Go on then, Kruk King Keldurian. Oh, wait, so we did listen to everyone then? <laughs> His farming's gone down. Okay. Your Highness, someone has been burning my fields and raiding my villagers. They're too organized. It must be some petty bandit clan by the ninth. Oh, heck. They're like ghosts in the night. Always gone before dawn and covering their tracks. Are these the, the gaunt, maybe? Oh. So, deserters are causing all of these problems. Right. There's more to it, Your Majesty. We just lost a thousand bucks. What? Payments have been siphoned off by tax collections. A large amount of our expected income is missing. What? Someone has also been convincing priests of the Ninth God to preach against you. What the fuck? We've hit zero stability. So what? Just get minus five things in a row. That's a terrible event. <laughs> fuck me. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. I believe it has something to do with Tavalin, your majesty. Oh, all those motherfuckers. Queen Emmeline is a coming woman, and her network of spies is legendary. This is likely retaliation that she promised. Shit. I advise caution. Anyone here could be on her payroll. I think we have to call to a vote. We call need vote. We've got if we don't raise stability in this vote, game is over. Okay. Um Ooh. Ooh. I think we have to pull out, right? But rooting out traitors. We, if rooting out traitors doesn't immediately do something, the game is over. <sighs> That's true. Um, well, shit. I guess we let the people choose. We can't veto a two-vote. <laughs> yeah, that's not a vote. <laughs> Hello, uh, people. What do you want to do? I think I think B. You got to do B, because otherwise the game's over, right? But traitors, Ben. Look at those traitors. I do want to root the traitors out. That's the better option. It sounds more fun, but but I think literally the game will end if we do that. God, it's just been a relentless. Stability hit. God. But also this way, those damn Tavalins win. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's, you know, we... The only reason we invaded them was because Reds went, we've got a new army, should we use it? We want to use our army. <laughs> Where can we stab? <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Uh. All right. We give up. Oh, the Reds fucking hated that. And our authority took a double hit. Well, they love that. Oh, God, the Reds are very... Came out of that very well. Shit. We have got one stability. We are on our knees. This is fucking bad. Shit. In a distant castle in the south. Praise be! Uh, That's a lot. <laughs> Wow, they got more faith out of this. Yeah. Wow, okay. They've reached the peasants, and they call for the sins of the monarch to be laid bare. What are our sins? It's only a matter of time. Meanwhile, Brimley the Dwarf says, We have the High Inquisitor on our side. What? We must sow dissent among the other regions. We won't succeed alone. For the next stage of their scheme, the Grandees must raise other regions' defiance to a total of eight. Wow. So it's already at seven <laughs> it's because of the barons. It's very close. So if reds rebel, it will tick a box for the yellows. Okay. So, guys, I wouldn't rebel if I were you reds because that plays into yellows' hands. They'll get two steps ahead of everyone. Yeah, barons, you've got to calm, calm down. Um, right. They meet in a derelict tavern. The Church of the East is thoroughly... Oh, because they just faith. needed the lowest faith. Yeah. No, no, they needed faith four or less. Oh, okay. So us purging the heretics with the Inquisitor has stopped them from doing their plans. Matman says, uh, the church still has the East in its grasp. While Doomfang Pro says, yes, but by the blood of the dead, it's not over yet. They must continue to lower their faith. Got to get our faith lower. In the Marsh... Uh, they crowd around a barrel. Look here, our first shipment from Kerth. Uh-oh. 
Incredible. May I see inside? Careful with that torch, you fool! You'll blow us to smithereens! Ah, uh, it's just like uh, Lord of the Rings. So this is the fabled black powder. Yes, it's incredibly powerful. We'll need much, much more to put you on the throne. For the next stage of the scheme, they must raise their trade to five or more. It's currently uh, on five. So you've got to lower the Baron's trade, everybody. Mm -hmm. Or they will be able to buy more gunpowder. Uh-oh. Um, oh, we can gain authority with the iron choice. If people vote for the thing we pick, we'll gain an authority. Oh, yeah, yeah, do that, because then we can start, like... Grinding up. Like, and manipulating people. Yeah. Yeah, barons are on the verge of rebellion, but they shouldn't rebel, because then the yellow win. Yeah. That's the rule. Um, and it says behind me, if 47 barons put exclamation mark rebel, then the rebellion will trigger. Uh, already they're doing it. You're already... Oh, you, Fools. <laughs> you fools, you're going to hand the victory. Your military's not strong enough. The barons can, are equally matched with you. Yeah, the barons will beat you. Well, the other two combined will be able to beat you easily. <laughs> that rebellion. <laughs> Let's have a quick royal wedding to raise stability. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone loves the royal wedding. Great. Okay. Uh, Torcado is the talk of the kingdom. Everyone travels across the land to attend. It's a giant party. Hooray! It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Oh. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do! And I pronounce you married in the eyes of the kingdom. Hooray! Tiny bit of stability. Tiny bit of authority. Oh, Everyone we calms down a bit as well. Defiance? Well, that wedding was great for... Uh, keeping keeping the barons under control. Mm. Never felt more tired. Um, he talks about how gr much grander the temples in the south are. What? What do you want to say? Let's focus on the positives. We've got great gambling here. Ooh. And you love to gamble. I'll always make the best of things. It can be tough being as gracious as I am. Oh, okay. And as humble. And as humble. <laughs> um, uh, what are they passionate about? Let's see what the, let's find out about that. I like to have a flutter at the card table. I have a foolproof method for winning big. I haven't perfected it yet. Wait. But when I do, I'm sure to make back the money I've lost. Mm. Oh god, I married another twit. <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> I've never been more offended in all my life. I wasn't saying that, I was reading it. <laughs> uh, oh fuck. I said you said that out loud. Oh fuck. You, were, you thought you were thinking he, it. It went to us. Separate bedchamber. <laughs> that he could have had a, a scheme. <laughs> That's just really that is like a good line. Of uh, shit. It's an angry mob. Oh heck! They blame me for everything wrong with the kingdom. Oh, that Damn like with us. monarch. Uh, should we poke our head out or wait for the soldiers? Someone's gonna fucking throw a tomato at my head. Uh, but. Fuck it. Like, look, I had to go to bed alone, pissing everyone off. I'm just send the soldiers out. Hmm. Soldiers have difficulties, however. Oh, come on, soldiers. Protect the monarch! Protect the. Uh oh. His words are cut off as he's dragged off his horse and beaten into a fine paste. Jeez. The growling mob surrounds your stagecoach and begins rocking it back and forth. Hey, not my stagecoach. Your Majesty. We need to make a break for it, or they tip the carriage over. We'll stay here and hold them off. Oh, not my warrior. Wait, how do they tell me that? They must have like a translator and like some kind of sign language. Okay. Or one of them dishonors themselves and has the solemn duty of talking to you. Oh, they, they talk to me and then, because <laughs> they've broken their vow. <laughs> yes. That's the only way they're allowed to communicate. God, I like that as like a, a vibe though. Sure. It's pretty okay. good. They draw, their, uh, they draw their scimitars and form a ring around you, sheltering you. Stones rain down like hail, but you make it back unharmed. Wow. Baron Boarbound says, This is an outrage, my liege. First riots and looting in the capital, and now attacks upon your royal person. Yeah, you're right. We need to have some purges. Our realm is on the verge of collapse. People are afraid, and the law is broken down. The peasants are demanding rights. What? Aye, but we obviously can't allow that. So what should we do? 
Ooh. Declare martial law. Uh, round up the rioters and hang them. Or give them everything they want. Oh. I think give them everything they want is kind of jokes. We gain stability. We lose authority. Yeah. But we could bump on. that with the iron choice. Yeah. Because that cancels out that drawback. We lose money. But also, um, so the Reds are going to want to do this. They want their defiance up. Um, no, what do they want? No, they want our authority down. No, they've done that. They want their trade up. They want their trade up. So okay. Actually, does that mean we want to do A to fuck the Reds? Because that puts their gonna, trade down. But it's going to... Oh, that does put their trade down. Then they can't down. afford their gunpowder. And they don't buy gunpowder. Okay. Well, yeah, do the iron choice. Guys, if, you, if you're not red, I think you wanted to, you wanted to do A, martial law. Uh, whereas the reds are going to want to do anything else. Quick, start the vote before they, can, before they can work it out. Vote A. A, A, it's okay. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> C, C, it smells like pee. Oh, gross. <laughs> Okay, man, yeah, so the Reds can organize, and they've split, like, half and half between the other two. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> we vote A! <laughs> A vote for A means hooray! Okay. Look, there's people just trying to get those Reds to vote C, but... It's too late. It's too late. You split. Um, martial law has been declared. My troops will get a handle on this, Your Majesty. We nice. gain authority and three stability. Hot dog baby. Rule Ooh. with an iron fist. I feel like this is going to come to bite us in the ass. Never! <laughs> Martial law is great. Oh, Never fails. Okay. Uh, the soldiers take action across the kingdom, clearing streets and declaring curfews. The main trade routes are barricaded and all movement is suppressed. Everyone loses two trade. <laughs> Yikes. East has no trade at all. Wow. Um, that is... Uh, doesn't but, sound like a me problem right there. No. And also the barons needed their trade. So even though yeah. I know this feels bad, counts, but honestly, you've stopped the Reds from, from winning the game. Yeah. So that's important. You've done very good. Oh, yeah, shit. Our goal is trade, Tom. Everyone has just reminded us. We wanted to golden age. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. <laughs> no. Pivot. Pivot into ruling with an iron fist. We can pivot in a year's time. Really? Yeah, we can literally become like the military okay. commander. Well, all right. We're going to we'll worry about that pivot later because <laughs> we have clearly not been playing. Uh... Oh, fuck. Defiance has got across the kingdom. This Now yellows are winning because they wanted everyone to be defiant. Oh, shit. We are just fucking helping yellow again. Yeah. This is like last time when we just helped the Norths win. Yeah, the kingdom is on the brink of the abyss. Okay, we gotta we gotta soothe everyone now. We gotta right. soothe them down. Everyone, we gotta soothe you down. Or yellows will win. Look, and we will we'll work with you, reds and purples, to try and stop. Try and stop the piss. Uh right, we go to meet the cult. Oh nice, the ambush. Yeah. It's the dead of night. It's just you, your spy master, and your honor guard, disguised as some common soldiers, rattling in the way in the back of a worn cart for a hundred miles. At the wooded grove, you're greeted by a gaggle of wide-eyed folk with a number eight branded on their foreheads. Like How did the Inquisitor not manage to root these people out? <laughs> what the hell? They push a giant boulder away to reveal a cave entrance. Be on your guard, your majesty. You're led down a long tunnel, at the end of which rests an enormous metal arm. Like the limb of a fallen giant. A Travion stands atop it. I am a Travion the Operai! They call me the Father in the East. Welcome, Your Majesty. I am pleased you chose to meet with me. Boom! Get him, warrior nuns! Get him! You bear witness to his... You bear witness to his arm! The arm of the Eighth! Surely you must now believe in the prophecy. Now get him! Ambush! Ambush, go! <laughs> um. Oh, 
Just a 50-50 chance or the 40% military chance? Ooh. I think the foolish to surround yourself with untrained... It's a better odds, right? Yeah, I guess. Boom! Get him, nuns! Your spy master gives three sharp whistles and you, a swarm of your spies descend from the shady tunnels around the cavern. We are betrayed! <laughs> Fight my followers! Kill them! Kill them all! Uh, get him! The sorcerer scrambles to stand. Your spy master seizes him from behind and cleanly cuts his throat. Holy fucking shit. Good job. A Travion the Operai sags into the dirt. Okay. Hack the body up. <laughs> I hope I didn't get any blood on your robes, your majesty. Oh, spy master, you are the fucking best. <laughs> what do we want to do? Uh, oh, oh, the options are nicely the done. Like they've, We've got to reward them. We've got to tell them they did great. It was nothing. By the time you return to the capital, reports of the sorcerer's deaths are everywhere. The Church of the Ninth endures. Faith is now devout in the East. Their defiance is down. Nice. Stability is increased. Wow. Authority is increased. We are imperious and <laughs> civil. Wow. We are amazing. Their counts are fucked. Oh, even They're yellow. So sorry, counts. <laughs> <laughs> and even the yellows have suffered from this because defiance is now down below the threshold. Oh, they want the Oh my god. This wow. is a clean sweep. This this is <laughs> turned around. God, our spy master. They are we we they are carrying us so hard. So well. <laughs> yeah. God, they are so fucking good at their job. Oh. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, that, that red, <laughs> red, uh, the red rebellion is pretty close. It's pretty close. But honestly, the reds just are giving yellows the victory if they rebel at this point. Yeah. So I don't think they should. Holy shit! Look at that. Red are on stage two. Yellow are on stage two. Counts still got a little further to go. Okay. So counts, you've got to really hold back everyone else while you get your game on. You can't let them pull ahead any further. Uh, giant spiders, debt collection, or an iron limb. Have we already dealt with that iron limb problem? What's going on with... Sure, giant spiders. What the fuck are they up to? <laughs> <laughs> it's Biscuit Baron. <laughs> oh, no, Biscuit Baron. Oh, your holiness. A forest on my land has been completely overrun by giant spiders. What the heck? Some are as big as horses. <laughs> That's crazy, Biscuit Baron. The trees are shrouded in webs, and travellers are going missing. We must put a stop to this. <laughs> wow, giant spiders, you say. <laughs> Do we send an army to wipe them out? Do we burn, burn it with fire? Do we put a bounty on giant spider legs? Because that never goes wrong. That, oh God, that always goes wrong, doesn't it? Or do we learn to coexist with the giant spiders? Mm. It all sound bad. Now, two of these raise defiance, which is obviously good for the for the grandees. Um, oh, wait. Is it good? No, it's not good for them. Yeah, um, if it raises other people's defiance, it's good. Yeah, but this is in the Yellow Kingdom, so it's going to raise their defiance, right? Oh, that not would make their sense. defiance. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right, actually. Um... We probably don't want to take another hit on trade. The em that's going to lead to, like, poverty tests, isn't it, and shit. Oh, you're right. Do you want to veto the trade one and just see what happens with the others? I kind of don't mind where it goes. Yeah, we can afford a bounty if people want that. Yeah, let the, let the people decide, as long as they don't burn everything down. Yeah, don't burn it down. That seems stupid. Right, vote, everyone. What do you want? Honestly, I don't mind. Uh... Learn to coexist. We get spider riders. Ooh, that might be fun. Spider cavalry. That could just swing this vote, goddammit. Spider cavalry! <laughs> Learn to coexist! <laughs> spider riders, go! Vote C, everybody! I did, I did once develop deer cavalry in one get playthrough. Ooh. They were shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They were Quick. very, they were very fun, but it low, it like halved the military effectiveness of the barons when oh, they developed deer cavalry. Shit! Uh, anyone who hasn't voted, vote for D. We want spider riders. Come on, there's some people who haven't voted. I can tell. Get those votes in. <laughs> spider riders. I just need five more, four <laughs> more. 
Three. Come on, brave, brave and noble chatters. Come on, vote for D for spider riders. While we wait for them to vote, we can read out uh, Banana Super King's donation. $10. Oh, yeah, okay, now we've got the spider riders. Thank again. you very much. And they say, Baron Ben, oh, we read this one, but thank you so much. Um, spider riders. Work. Democracy at work. <laughs> That's not cheating, that was democracy. <laughs> yeah, you voted I, for it. You guys voted for it. We just, in a, we just had our bus driving around. <laughs> yeah, we did better PR. With just spider riders. <laughs> They're going to be the best. Strong spider and, friends. <laughs> strong and stable, like a spider's web. <laughs> oh. Um. Coexist? They're monsters. <laughs> Mandibles, dripping with venom. Snatching merchants off the roads and stringing them up to suck them dry. The South are now grumbling. Well. Um. <laughs> They're more afraid of you than you are of them. That's exactly it. That can't be right. They're 10 feet long ways and 10 feet width ways and 8 feet feet ways. Wow. That's a good line. That's good. <laughs> That's a good line. I like the skip, Baron. Yeah, it's funny. You send your chancellor to Quail University. Perhaps the scholars have some ideas on how the spiders can coexist. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Spider mm. riders. We're getting spider riders. Excellent. Uh, let's have some deck collection. Uh-oh. Council session has ended for the day. And you're quite surprised when Count Windwolf corners you in a back passage just before dusk. Greetings, your grace. Apologies for surprising you like this, but I have an urgent matter, and I thought you would like to hear in private before I go to council. Uh-oh. Your husband, the king consort. How can I put this? Uh, he owes me a lot of money. Shit. Gambling debts, mainly. He borrowed quite a lot from me to recover some lost funds, and now it's time to collect. He has been avoiding me. Uh-oh. Uh, we could pay it off for two grand, and Windwolf will get 1,500 bucks. Wow. Uh, not my problem. Or officers, arrest this fool and throw him in the dungeons. Which will help Yellow out. That, that will one? help Yellow. We don't want to do that. Should we throw our husband under the bus? Or pay most of our... If we run out of money, we lose the game. It's... Really? Yeah. Okay, I can't help you with this. <laughs> Look. What did we call him? We married a twit. We uh, did. I can't, I can't help you with this. That's unfortunate, Your Highness. Still, I thank you for your time. Oh, he's polite, at least. Yeah, I like Windwolf. He scurries away into the darkness of your corridors. I mean, I'm sure he's going to fuck us over now. No, 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 no. It's probably all fine. He does it in public this time, at the next council meeting. Okay. At this stage, you're powerless to step in, and a council vote will determine our husband's fate. Um, force the treasury to pay. Or forgive the debts and force the count to absorb the losses. <laughs> oh, that sounds like the funny one. <laughs> or force the other, force grandees to cover. Oh, because our husband comes from the grandees. That sounds like the fun one to me. Make the yellows pay. I think, or, but either either of those. Well, I think B will increase purple defiance and help yellows out. Oh. But surely... But that will no. yellow defiance, which won't help them at all. Okay. Yeah. Everyone everyone vote for C. Because <laughs> C not only stops yellows from winning the game, but also solves all our problems. It solves all our problems. And it, and gives, it... gives the purples more money. Yeah. So we do our iron choice. Iron choice on C. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, everyone get C. <laughs> Just uh, as you can see, make the yellows, the yellows pay. The yellows are instantly like, we don't want to have to pay. <laughs> so unfair. <laughs> it's so good. The yellows are just taking taking off into the lead, so we have to like work to stop yeah. them. The yellows had the, found the treasure last year as well. Yes, yeah, so they've got they've got all that money. They've got they got enough money for this. Like. If you are red or if you're purple, you didn't get free treasure, did you? No. Perfect. Nice. Well done, everyone. Well done. Okay, so yeah, the um, our husband's family um, can pay for it. Seems fair. Seems fair. Fitting compromise, some would say. Yes. But the grandees are unhappy about covering for the king consort. Yeah. Uh, we're now iron-fisted. 
Amazing. Uh, some grandees have lost some wealth. Okay. Uh, Windwolf has gained 1,500 wow, pounds. Wow, Windwolf. <laughs> Just, you've got a lot of money now. Um, and the South now feels aggrieved and has yeah. gone up to Defiance 5. Yeah, but they've got a pretty garbage at military, so... <laughs> so what are they going to do about it? <laughs> what are they going to do? Um, uh, Tokado awkwardly avoids your gaze as Windwolf starts to count his coin. Boom. Okay. Problem solved. Problem <laughs> solved. Uh, uh, what are you going to spend that money on, Windwolf? Are you yeah, in chat? What are you doing? Tell us how you're going to enjoy yourself. Because you just, you are the, the richest person in the game. You are literally the rich, richest person in the game, surely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, they're at the top of oh, the Oh, there they are, list. yeah. By a long way. Almost double as wealthy as anyone else. Uh, they say... Um, in another game, they ruled as mon. In another game I played today, the monarch only ruled for one turn. Wow! Holy moly! Funding an observatory as you like space. Perfect. Perfect. That's a good plan. Okay, the iron limb. Um, if it pleases your Majesty, we've salvaged that limb of the eighth uh, that they drew power from. It now rests within my workshop. <gasps> we have the giant arm. Oh my God. The so-called Arm of God is actually a machine from a long-extinct civilization. We have so little evidence of ancient technology, I think it prudent to study the contraption. Wow. Okay. How interesting. And in your observation, learned woman, had the danger of this heresy not crossed your mind? It must be destroyed, your majesty. The matter is simple. High Inquisitor has no chill. High Inquisitor has no chill. Also kind of shit. <laughs> Uh, Do we let the scholar study, which would lower purple faith? Do we break the arm apart and sell it off for big bucks? Do we utterly destroy it for little bucks? I feel like selling it is a problem because someone else will use it. That seems like a bad idea. Because in previous playthroughs, this has been a powerful weapon. Uh, Purple's going to want to study it because that will lower faith. I want to but study I, it. I also kind of want to study it. I want I want us to have the arm. We can't do anything else, so we may as well just put it up for a vote. Yeah. But I think we should all vote A, even though that does help purples. I think purples need a little bit of help. Purples do need a, some help. Come on, everyone. Let's help the purples out. They're a little behind. Help them out. They're the ones who are behind. And also, maybe we get mecha arm. Also mecha arm. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can control it. Look, just bring raise the purple up so all of you have a little... In, in to win. Mm -hmm. Also, actually, if you think game gamey about it, mm -hmm. like, you want more, if purplers suddenly have a chance to win as well, mm -hmm. then you've got more more people who are going to, like, vote against the other people to stop them from winning. That's true. If everyone stands a chance. If the purples feel like they can't win, they'll yeah. just ally with someone else. And just will always take you down. Hmm. There we go. Look, the yellows were not into this. Thing. I mean, that's that's good RP for the yellows. Yeah, the yellows were smart. Um, Ding has closed. We're going to study it. Yeah. This is utterly unacceptable beyond the pale. Well, God, you can kind of fuck off, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how delightful. I'm glad the council is so keen to advance the sciences. For some months later, a scholar calls you to her workshop and presents a new invention. She calls it the Rail Bombard. Hot dog baby. The contraption is the longest cannon you've ever seen. There are steel wheels along its length, and its rear is a pair of strange humming anvils. The barrel points up through a skylight in the workshop. Oh my. Oh wait, they all give military. Oh my. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it really is. Load the Bombard! Oh yeah. A hatch above the anvils is swung open by an assistant, while two others load an odd oblong cannonball into the barrel. When they turn cranks on each anvil, the humming grows louder and louder. It's a fucking rail cannon. The wheels turn until they are whirring. Lightning passes up and down. In another moment, the assistants suddenly crank, pull the cranks from the anvils, and a found, sound like thunder is heard. Ooh. Quite fascinating, wouldn't you agree? You might just yeah. Agree. As you watch, <laughs> long shot, fly past the clouds, chased by electricity, you worry where it may land. 
the East have acquired a powerful new weapon wow. of war. Their military <laughs> has gone from six to ten. <laughs> Holy shit. Try your rebellion now, barons. <laughs> yeah, the baron. You've definitely shut down that baron rebellion. <laughs> Seeing as they have railway guns. <laughs> Brutal. I don't even know if the spider riders are going to be able to take on the railway gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, enjoy that counts. Right, we've got the new buildings. Uh, Windwolf may choose what they wish to build. Uh, um, do you want to move back a bit so they yeah, can see so the Yeah, so they can fortress. see the fortress is extra military for yellow. I think the other side is better that Whoop. way. Oh. There you go. Well, do you want to explain them? Do you want me to see if I can move your camera? I'll see if I can work out the... Oh, no, no, because it's only for this one scene that it matters, right? You on the board. I, I don't think it's worth it, because it's only for this one moment, and then it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so, obviously, I think the Counts want D to lower their faith. Counts want the observatory. They definitely don't want a cathedral. Yeah. So, M Yellow could fund a cathedral in the Counts' own territory. Yeah. If, like, potentially that would be a good play for them. The Barons really, really want the Grand Bazaar. Uh, they do. They desperately want the Grand Bazaar. The Barons really want that. Should we just just start it? Yeah, just get it going. Um, if you guys want to build a sexy monument... Oh, yes, please. I feel like we're going to see either the Grand Bazaar, the Observatory, maybe the Cathedral. The Fortress would be good as well, because if the Counts did rebel, we would want the Barons and the Grandees to be strong enough oh, to hold up against yeah. them. So a nice Grandee Fortress would be pretty good. I'm glad someone, someone bid for the monument. Thank you. Thank you. It'll be very lewd. <laughs> uh. Fipsy's screaming, don't waste money! Stop! Please stop! The bits have already gone through! <laughs> it's not... Because anything you vote for that doesn't get built doesn't get spent. It doesn't get spent. Um, but so it's not too late. But DR yeah. overspending by about eight grand. Yeah, you don't need to spend any more, really, unless anything else comes up. Well, both of them have overspent by 50 grand. Oh, that's uh, true. Five grand. They've massively overspent. Hmm. Uh, that's the fanciest observatory you've ever seen. That's a. <laughs> what have the Reds voted for? For the Counts to have an observatory. Look at that. So. There's a red friend. Did someone not know what team they were on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, you guys kind of got, got your things together. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, Cindy Paul has built the bazaar. Good move. Um, and then that was the, the big Wolfman's built that observatory, didn't he? That's what he said. Oh. He one. Um, Industry's collapsing. Oh. oh, okay. So East has zero trade. Okay. Which is why we're getting this event. Mass unemployment has risen in the East. Businesses are going bankrupt. Mills are shutting down. People are calling it the Great Depression because it's making everyone miserable. Beetle Sanders... Yes, my investments have all gone up in smoke. Uh-oh. It's the same for all the counts. We must find a way to lift the East out of poverty. Um, some counts have lost wealth, and we have lost stability. Mm. What are we going to do? Bail them out, where we use most of our treasury. Um, provide jobs digging ditches and building roads. That sounds really good. Uh, mass unemployment. Turn them into soldiers. Uh. Or tell the peasants to stop burying so much turnip toast. Buying so much turn up toast. Oh, like when you tell people to stop buying so much avocado oh, okay, toast. Yeah. Because, you know, that's why you can't afford a house. So um, that lowers their trade. They're already at zero, so it doesn't matter. Mm. Lowers their stability. I think the dig, dig, dig some ditches. Digging right? ditches sounds. percent chance. Absolutely perfect. Because we don't want defiance, right? Mass unemployment is going to help yellow. That helps yellow. Also, if purples can get their defiance. Uh, if that goes up too high... Then they'll rebel with their rail cannon. Yeah, but that's a long way off to get that. We don't want lower stability, so I think... We're already pretty stable. I think it's got to be B. B's the best B. option for everyone. B seems great. Because you don't want to help yellows with C. You don't want to just fuck everyone with D. That doesn't help anyone. Yeah, I think the barons want B because they don't want to help anyone else. Yeah. 
Should we veto one? Veto, which is the worst thing for us? Um, I feel like A is maybe the worst thing for us because that puts us close yeah. to bankruptcy. All right. I'd B. Everyone should vote B, in my opinion. Everyone vote B. People are already saying, trying to vote A. You can't vote A. You vetoed that. Get B in there, and you're stopping yellows. And this should still help purples, I think. I reckon this will give them a trade boost. Yeah. Although, if we fail... Because <laughs> <laughs> 90% sounds great, but it's not 100%. Oh, very true. We might get an XCOM. Uh-oh. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Okay. Um, across the east, you see unemployment. Uh, you set un the unemployed to work. Building roads, bridges, churches, everything to keep them occupied. You develop some skills and put cash in their pockets. Nice. It's a startling success. Wow. There we go. They're getting three trade. That's good. And a stability. That's really good for the purples. That's fantastic. They did gain a defiance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because counts complain. You can't just give work to peasants. They should earn it. What? Shut your mouth. I feel like the problem's with, like, I think you just take a few people off the top of that pile, and then uh, we could really bring up that, that eastern nation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, we need to have an heir. Uh-oh. We, we barely speak with our husband, though. It's a bad marriage. Okay. The last thing on your mind is producing an heir. The royal wedding went well. I'm happy, thank you. Um, right. Yeah. We need to have an heir. So we can pick. We can try and have a child together. We can have a bastard. We can get a cousin or a lowborn orphan. Bastard or orphan. Actually, well, we're not, we're not going to have a child together. Not with the, the husband, are we? That would involve some wacky biology. And we're also... Also, we don't like them. They're a bit of a dick. Yeah. Youngest cousin seems for Any of those three. The orphan is kind of fun. I like the idea of an orphan boy. Right. Or the bastard. The nobles won't be happy with a lowborn being elevated. Oh, well, they are already pretty defiant. I don't know if we want to raise defiance. Oh, uh, you're right. Fine. Bastard. Like, uh, the nobles can kind of get behind that idea. The church won't be happy. Uh, uh, as long as the the silent sisters don't fucking murder me. <laughs> Bastard it is. We'll get them naturalized. Oh, the spiders are back. Ooh. Greetings, your majesty. I am the arachnologist you sent for. Having spider problems, hmm? Uh, giant spider. Uh, I think you'll find that giant <laughs> spiders. <laughs> Hmm, Terracius Magnum, quirkily, quirkily known as the giant spider. Or Gigantula. Fascinating specimen. Gigantula. You can raise them as livestock, you can milk them for potent venom, or you can harvest their silk, which makes fine sails and formidable armor. Last but not least, you can train them from birth to be ridden as mighty steeds. Spider Riders! Who could resist a cavalry regiment that comes into battle atop these mighty arachnids? Spider Riders. Possibilities are endless. But first you need to get hold of some eggs. No easy task, I'm afraid. Okay, we do anything that gets us... What is our highest chance? Uh, send in soldiers on a 30%. Lure them with farming, 60%. Or pay money for adventurers. Hi take adventurers. Please, adventurers. Please, adventure. Please. Please. Look, look, we'll do it in good faith as well. We won't try and raise our authority or yeah. anything. Monarch's choice. Please. Please, just give me my spider riders, and I'll do one. <laughs> and I'll do anything for you, chap. Anything. This is a reverse of the deal we had last week. <laughs> just, just please get me spider riders. And then there can be one time where chat is allowed to just, just pick, pick a thing, and I'll go along with it. Wow. They've responded to your, your call. My call to arms. It's still not too late to vote for A. King Yulon calls for A. King Yulon. <laughs> you can ban me if I misbehave, if I don't do the thing. <laughs> but the deal is, chat, you all have to agree on what it is that you want me to do. <laughs> right, we spend um, some money. 
Yeah! The Adventurers Guild, the next day, a band of scarred ruffians with impractical weapons appear. It's like a D&D &D group. I love it. What do the Adventurers sound like? Giant spiders, is it? No problem. I'll swing back to the headquarters and pick up some antidotes and bug smashing hammer. Actually, we just need you to steal their eggs. Yeah, yeah. Steal their eggs? Weird. But I guess the customer is always right. Adventurers return a few weeks later. They're wagon groaning with a glistening heap of spider Ooh. eggs. You sent them to a nearby farm to be hatched and raised as livestock. Oh. Hopefully southern farmers are up to the task. Come on, southern farmers. Spider riders. Please. Meanwhile, in the deep south... Uh, Pantsalot is here. Here's oh. to future King Fabian and the Golden Age on the horizon. Uh-oh. May the ninth god strike down the false monarch for their wickedness. Oh god, they did get the combined eight between... Oh, they did. Shit. Okay, the Grandees are on the final, final home run. Uh-oh. Soon the Inquisition will be complete and the Archbishop will crown our claimant. But what should be done with the monarch? Ooh. Oh, what yellows? What are you going to do with me? Burn me at the stake. Show m fuck off! Don't show mercy in exchange for abdication. So you want a low, lower stability or lower authority? Mm. Lower stability sounds easier for them, and I'd rather be burnt at the stake. Wow! Than shown mercy. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm going down for heresy, Ben, come on. <laughs> There's no other way to go. I don't want to so. be like you were bad. Now fuck off! <laughs> no, burn me at the stake. <laughs> it seems it seems more fun. Okay. And also, it's it's definitely better for them. Already, our stability is lower. Yeah. And we've got a machine that makes us authority. That's true. So I was doing that in. I was doing it in good faith. That's fair. Right then. Um, the kingdom must be at an all-time low, otherwise we will get a backlash. So grandees, if stability goes to four or less, the grandees will win the game. They That's, win. They're the in the game. end game now. So if you are. Red or purple, if you're a baron or if you're a count, you cannot let stability drop to four or less. And there are events that lower stability by two or three. Yeah, so... so a single hit on stability could be a game ender here. You need to keep that, keep that up. Uh, what's happened? The Grandis invest widely in perfume exports, making 500 wealth. Other nobles gain 200. Okay, I just say we tax tax them. Tax the the south. Tax the south. It will put their defiance up. Yeah, but they're not. Good. They're never going to rebel because they're so close to winning. That's true, and their military's shit. And their military shit. So piss them <laughs> off. Tax the. <laughs> Look, do I have your approval, counts of the east and barons of the march? Notice how we're not taxing the railgun people very much. <laughs> no, no, not at all. They have a fucking railgun. <laughs> See, look, everyone is saying tax yellow. Yeah, they're on board. Uh, everyone else is on board. Look, tax the, the piss the, boys. The piss boys, you're going to lose 400, but you just gained 500. Yeah, so, so you're, you're, already, still, you're still making a profit. You're it's fine. making a load of money. Stop complaining. We've got to pay for adventurers to steal spider eggs. <laughs> We're trying to set up a spider farm. Because, <laughs> god damn it, you can burn me at the stake, you can blow me up, but I will have... My fucking spider riders. All right. Um, we've got a terrible curse, a call for apprentices, or a winter chill. Ooh. Let's do call for apprentices, because I'm hoping it's going to be to do with spiders. <laughs> Smack fairies here. Dreadful tidings, your holiness. A meddling wizard has set up shop in Zanskar. What? I believe it's Afmoral, the Stormbringer. Why is that? Why is this a problem? She's put out a call for new apprentices, which is a rare event. This once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for many. Droves of unwashed, glory-seeking peasants from all over the south are lining up for their chance. Then Sura the Death says, Oh. Not just peasants! <laughs> I, Sura the Death, have also decided to apply. The competition will be fierce, but these common folk are no match. I will be the most powerful noble this council has ever seen. <laughs> you, you couldn't put your clothes on if it wasn't for your servant's help. Okay. We can't let this go ahead. Not only is it heresy, it presents a clear and dangerous conflict of interest. Uh, how? How is that a conflict of interest? Wizards answer only to themselves. 
Their power is unmatched, such that entire kingdoms cannot stand against them. <laughs> We've got a fucking railgun. <laughs> Even an apprentice on the council would be disastrous. Baron Suro the Death would use magic to interfere with votes, or you, for that matter. I kind of want to see... Suro the Death the fucking meddling wizard. <laughs> Sounds kind of jokes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... The council gets to vote. Do you want to let Suro become an apprentice? Do you want to make him forfeit his noble title in order to become an apprentice? Not that. Or do you want to forbid him from becoming a wizard? I... Do we leave it as a free vote? I think we... I would iron choice. Make Suro a wizard. Even if he can mind wash me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on! Come on, guys. Make Zoro a wizard. Does, what does Zoro want? What does Zoro <laughs> want? Oh, yeah, because he might be there like, please, I hate magic. <laughs> um, <laughs> I Chat's am, moving too quick. I don't Chat's know what Zoro wants. really going for it. Oh. I'm a big, a big fan of the Zoro wizard. <laughs> Voting has closed. Um, by all that is holy, how will he keep up his noble duties if he's spending all his time in the south with the wizard? Our authority's gone up. Everyone is grumpy, except for Ciro's faction, which okay. likes it. And what if, ninth preserve us, he actually passes his apprenticeship? There's never been a wizard on the council before. Uh, I'll cross that bridge when we, when we get to it. Actually, both those options were good. I guess sounds like it might liven things up. <laughs> that sounds great. You have nothing to fear from me, my liege. <laughs> I'll always have the kingdom's interest at heart, even as a wizard. See, sir, is a good, good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. There's no way this goes wrong. Baron Suro sets off immediately on his journey to the south. Nice. The presence attracts all sorts of visitors. Although the power of her latent magic starts to wilt tr crops for miles around. Lost a bit of farming, gained a bit of trade. Seems all kind of, seems like it came out well in the wash. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I like that one. Now there's a winter's chill in the marsh. Uh, Let's Olympics is here. Brr. The marsh of winter has been especially cruel this year. Your Majesty, I can feel it in my bones. Uh, I, f I found the secret is layers. <laughs> it's not just about me. In the marsh, the river's frozen. The people won't work for fear of frostbite. My butler's touched an iron fence post and lost an entire finger. Mm. Um, send food to the marsh. Uh -uh. Uh, send troops to clear the snow. Oh, send troops. 100% win rate. Uh, order the counts to send food. Surplus food. Leave the barons to deal with it on their own. I feel like the counts can help out. Look at their giga farms. The counts can do it. Or we just send send the military 100% chance. Mm, both good. Let's um, veto uh, us spending money on it. Yeah, that seems bad. And we'll let the people vote. What do you reckon? Yeah, let them I feel vote. like the counts can spare the food. But also we have enough troops. So um, whatever you fancy, people. The barons... They probably don't want the D option. Yeah, to lower their food and alcohol D will problems. be bad for barons. Uh, but turn, I don't really care about their defiance at the moment because purple. Pew! <laughs> Fear will keep them in line. Yeah, that just solves solves our problem that they're not going to be doing a good rebellion. Okay, everyone's on board with sending in the troops. By the yeah, way. that seems great. Um. Eastern mercenaries arrive in the march and get to work. The East did it. The East railgunned the snow away. <laughs> Just fired the railgun <laughs> at the snow. Oh, but their defiance is creeping up. Uh-oh. We That's do not, not want that. That's not a good thing. Um, the marsh has calmed down and gained in trade. Oh, they wanted trade. Oh, shit. I didn't know they were going to get trade out of it. It did not tell us they'd get trade. Shit. What, how much trade did they They're, need? No, that's what they need. They five or above. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck. Well, they're still a tick behind, right? Yeah, this will be their second step. Yeah, so... 
Mm. Don't worry, Red is not about to win yet. A grandee rushes into the chamber, breathless and in disarray. Oh. It's Bertabin. Okay. By the blood of the dead, you look like you haven't slept for weeks. Agent Tanark says, That's because I've been placed under a curse. Look, my hair's falling out in chunks. Oh no. Perhaps you're ill or old. It was one of my peasants. I saw it in her eyes. She's an evil witch. You've got a lot of magic problems at the moment, huh? Yeah. Have the so-called witch tested? Oh, yeah. Send the scholars to find an explanation? Or have the accursed Antonarch sent to the east to relax? A. A sounds great. Uh, well, we've run out of um, choices, so that's up to the people. Yeah. So you guys can vote wherever you want. Go for it. Knock yourselves out. Uh, considering how faith-heavy the South is, you wouldn't think they had so many witches and wizards and stuff. Oh, right lot. Or, but is it because they're so faith-heavy? They're finding a lot of witches. Oh, and then, finding yeah. a lot of wizards. Because the other guy, he wasn't a wizard. He just had a bit of tech. That's true. This person, probably not a witch. Yeah. They just think that they're witches. Right. Superstitious they are in the South. Very they? superstitious. All right, people have voted for um, a witch test. I feel like this is going to go badly. I think they're just going to like throw him in a lake or something. Yeah. Uh, the church does not look kindly upon witches, particularly if they're cursing a noble for no reason. Uh-oh. I bet there was a reason. After several days of questioning and burning of incense, the priestess make their announcement. The accused is innocent. Nice. Not a witch. Things settle down, and the noble admits that s some new pomade is likely to blame for his hair troubles. Oh, but well, look, oh, farming's down, up, defiance down. That's great. That's a win-win. Good job, nobles. You fixed it. Because also that's good for you, yellows, mm. because you don't care about your defiance level because you're never going to win that rebellion. Mm -hmm. uh, but getting your, uh, your other things up, pretty good. Yeah. Also better farming for spiders. Hooray! Right, uh, Tom, I need to pee quickly, so you can carry on, or you can read some donations. I don't I'll know. do a little, a little read uh, while you're uh, goofing around. It's just solo Tom time. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tom time, where we talk about our spider army. My headphones are cabled around. Yellows only care about spiders. Good. Very good. Chaos dwarves. They're coming. That's it. That's all I've really got to say. The, the trailer looks cool. I'll wait for Ben for that. We'll talk about them at the end, probably. Uh, Waltzes with Bears. Uh, Dennis Three Bucks, he waltzes with Bears. They say, hello, Daddy Tom and Papa Ben. I've decided to learn uh, how to fiddle. Do either of you know any instruments? Uh, I can see Tom playing synth. Synth of sax. And Ben playing the jug. Ah! Uh, what's with Bez? I can talk on Bez's behalf. He can't play any instruments. I can't play any instruments. We are both tone deaf. We have no rhythm or timing. That is the answer. That is what's going on. I look dashing. No, you're amazing. No, you're amazing. Uh, can the Reds have some spiders too? 100% you can. 100%. You can have some spiders. Um, you've got great comedic timing. That's very kind. Big fan of the cat t-shirt. Yeah, it's pretty good. Although, as I've gotten fatter, it now has this kind of like 3D effect where uh, the eyes bulge out and it's like snoot. Uh, looks a bit bigger, so it's a bit... It's a bit weirder. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a little weirder to wear now. Uh, but I still like it as a t-shirt because it's just a, a cat face. Um... It's my GTA shirt. Exactly that. Uh, that's why I got it. I saw it and got it and uh, because it looked like the the GTA thing. But Tom, it looks like you lost weight. <laughs> no, you're amazing. Uh, Doctor Inspector Space Time. Denise Nine Blokes. Thank you, Doctor Inspector Space Time. Is it Tom and Ben? I've successfully submitted my dissertation Ooh, and defended my PhD thesis. Ooh. I'm now Doctor Inspector Spacetime. Amazing. Uh, thanks for keeping me company in 
I'll have the lab bench. Wow. I claim this message in the name of Zardos. Oh, congratulations. That's an amazing achievement. I loved the idea of you, like, your thesis is on, like, a pedestal, and you stand before it with, like, sword and shield, and you get wave assaulted by, like, oh, yeah. um, lab technicians and doctors and professors. Yeah, yeah. You defend your th thesis as they all come in to try and, like, burn it. Mm. Is that how that goes? Yeah. Like well, that's how it used to go now. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more like gladiators. You've got one of those Ooh. big, uh, you know, big big earbuds. Right, foam baton things. Yeah, yeah. And you're above like a big pool of water and there's yeah. like spinnies and stuff and you've oh, got to shit. like knock people down. No wonder it takes years of training to, to finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, like they, you only spend a tiny bit of time writing it. The rest is just like working out and <laughs> right. pumping iron. Nice. Uh, I have returned. Nice. Okay, I didn't press any buttons, so you can press, oh, press okay, a button. Oh, okay, I'll boot on. Um, the Reds got their mission. Oh, shit. They've got their gunpowder. Behold! Great God. By my life, isn't it rarer than gold dust? Over here it is. This isn't just the biggest stockpile in the kingdom, but the only one. Wow. Now what do we do with it? What are the Reds going to do with it? Are you going to blow our palace up? Or are you going to make muskets and cannons? Ooh. To make your military unbeatables? So, them raising stability. So, although you directly conflict with yellows, but mm. it means that... We're not safe. Of, it means that we're not safe. That's if you go for that, we probably can't win. Also, <laughs> you have to blow us up. <laughs> That's what you wanted in the beginning. That's what right? I wanted in the beginning. <laughs> I think B will be easier. Raise own military, but yellow, I, it means that like it's going to come to a head, and it's going to be bad one way or the other. For is there us. a? Is, can we thread the needle mid stability all the way? Oh God, yeah. Oh, it's going to be so hard to do. Before we can sneak this stuff in anywhere, we'll have to lull the monarch into a false sense of security. Not to mention the fact that the roads need to be safe for transport. For the final stage of their scheme, the barons must raise stability to eight. Okay. That's so much higher than I thought. Right. And what do yellows need to get it to? <laughs> uh, we'll have to check. Um, okay. If nobles vote. Oh, golden choice sounds hilarious. Oh, golden choice is good. Or we've got the call for unity, which is a 50% of nobles vote for one option. We gain a stability. That one could get out of hand, but it could be useful to just top up our stability. Uh, oh. What do you guys want? They want gold, Tom. I think Call for Unity gives us a lot more control. Will you agree this counts as my thing for doing chat, chat choice? Oh, is this your payback? Is this the payback? Is this the payback you want? The Call for Unity helps Red, but it does give us a lot of control. We it helps choose, us to edge. We can choose not to use it. Well, in turn, we can also use it to manipulate. Red will never vote for that option if we pick it. Uh, no, Red will want it. Yellow, oh, will yellow, vote for yellow it. won't vote for it, right. Uh, and so we can control. That gives us a lot more power. Mm. I, think, I think we should pick Unity. But I think chat wants gold. Hmm. Well, if you want to use up your favor for them. If you want, this is your favor. We can give you a give you a poll in chat. How Oh yeah, we'll let the people vote in chat. Why not? Of like okay, we're never gonna take swing votes. It's gonna be B or C. Yeah. Um but uh, I'm going to say it's, it's going to need like 75% in f or like 70% in favor for it to count as like chat's overall oh, okay. thing. Unity or gold. And if they can't decide, then we'll do something. Um, while you do that, I might pee as well. Okay. Um, where did we get to? Uh, beautiful Smurf Marine. Thank you for donating. You say best show host Ben and best co-host Tom. Tom, you missed it. You're the co-host. Watching the Bad Batch animated show, and I realized I'm more excited for it than Baby Yoda show. Unexpected twist. Also, the top comment on the new Tom Scott video is from Ben's average fan. Kremlo came to fuck. 
nice. Thank you, beautiful Smurf Marine. Man, I haven't watched The Bad Batch yet. I've heard it's pretty good. Thank you for donating. I've not watched Tom Scott video for a long time. But, man, for Ben fans involved, I can get in on that. Right then, so you guys didn't, didn't get a majority. It was 52 to 48. So I'm going to pick the one I want, since you guys didn't use up your special choice. Um, boom. Uh, that's bullshit. It's not bullshit. We said it had to be 70% or more, and it wasn't. So, you know, those are the rules. Well, you done goofed. Well, no. Uh, oh wait, what did you go for? Uh, unity. Okay, I was kind of meaning the the seventy five percent was for it to count as my paying chat back. Oh shit, I misunderstood. That's what I was kind of meaning for, because um, otherwise, like, I, to get oh. chat to agree on a thing, but. I find with whatever. Ben, Ben is my noble doer. Yeah, the vizier got in while the king was indisposed. So what I'm saying is I still owe chat because... Yes, that doesn't count. Um, um, wow, chat is angry. Um, who's this? Staladir. Your Majesty, there's a problem with the cathedral that was recently built in the south. Uh-oh. A dangerous outlaw by the name of Iron Jaw Mitchell <laughs> was fleeing the city watch. After a decade-long crime spree, we were finally on the verge of catching him. But just before he was caught, he dives into the cathedral and performs sanctuary. Proclaims sanctuary. According to law, we can't arrest him on holy ground. The audacity of Iron Jaw Mitchell it div to invoke holiness. Uh, sanctuary? Is that a thing? Verily it is. Oh. The law of sanctuary is almost as old as the kingdom itself. This is a terrible fucking law. Yeah, I'm amazed no one's abused it before. Like, what if you are accused of fucking witchcraft and then you hide it in the church? Like, <laughs> yeah. terrible, terrible rule. As long as he remains on holy ground, this Mitchell is a child of the ninth, under the protection of his mercy. Mm. I will not allow you to violate that, no matter the nature of the man's crimes. Terrible rule. By the ninth! Right now, I and your Mitchell is living the high life. Priests are feeding him roast dinners and fluffing his pillows. What? Roast dinners? Why did you make this law, idiots? Do you repeal the law of sanctuary, which will make everyone a bit chiller? Faith will go down. Stability will go down. Authority go. That's a complicated one. Uh, don't question it. Or... Um, so is this just Yellow's defiance? Yeah, I would have thought so. Should we just let people take the law into their own hands? Yeah, I kind of don't really mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm honestly just like, this is a Yellow problem. This sounds like a Yellow problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, knock yourself out, guys, I guess. Well, no, we can't let stability drop, because then with Yellow's a pretty what close What do Yellow's need? It's four or five, I forget. But we've got the thing. What we could do is do the Iron Monarchs. No, uh, it's Call for Unity. Then. Call for Unity. You could put Call for Unity on that, so we lose no, stability um, and gain stability. So Call for Unity, you don't put it on one particular choice. It's just if one option gets more than 50% of votes, oh, you gain okay. stability. Right. You could still, well, I don't mind. Let's, let's Call for Unity. Sure, do it. And then if we get fucked a lot, then it evens out. Yeah, sure. I guess. What do you reckon, guys? Um, the law of sanctuary does seem like bullshit. It's utter bullshit. Totally abusable and utterly ridiculous. Um, it's, it's, it's outdated, not appropriate for these modern times. So everyone should be voting B now. I don't know why you're voting C. Yeah, because they're trying to make it so that we don't get the, um, the 50%. Um, voting has closed. Um, no more law of sanctuary. Yeah, that was stupid. Praise the ninth! 
At last, criminals across the land will face proper justice. They've lost defiance, and we've gained stability because of the iron choice. Okay. Um, or the, the unity. But then faith is down across the land. Uh, that's good for the counts. Yeah, centuries of tradition are out the window. Um, we gain an authority. Iron Jaw Mitchell is dragged, kicking and screaming, out of the cathedral and hanged the next day for crimes too numerous and horrible to mention. A tyrannical rule! Okay, love it. <laughs> With the law repealed, however, dangerous criminals who have been hiding out in churches across the kingdom suddenly flee and take up their wicked ways once more. It's an unexpected crime explosion. I'm not going to... Okay, I feel like we fucked up passing that law. Yeah. I feel like we should be like, okay, we're, we're going to have to send this out across the kingdom. Okay, I want fucking guards stationed outside every single church that we yeah. know is holding criminals, and we round all of them up in one go. Someone really fucked up here. So whoever fucks that up, that is all on you. Yeah, uh, obviously they were going to get out. Idiots. Well, if it wasn't for the unity, we would have literally let the yellows win there. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, we've got to... We're right on the edge. For we need a stability. bit of stability. So reds, make sure you up that stability. Mm. And purples, you probably want to help on that too. Uh, Baron Wonderchance is here. Oh, hello. Your Highness, I have a proposition for you. As we all know, you are the greatest monarch who ever lived. Mm. But you've been locking a lot of people up. Yeah. Which, which is your right, of course. Only many of them are the pettiest of criminals. There are thousands locked up for illegally dumping human waste, for example. Yep. You mean shit spreaders? Shit, sp uh, shit spreaders? Gross. <laughs> Most of them would make good labourers and farmhands. Oh, okay. Saw lead oh. in the mark. Okay, you know what? That actually sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we, then, we don't have to feed them. If you're, and if your crime is shit spreading, <laughs> yeah. that's now just a good, good farmhand. Yeah, your punishment is to spread shit. The, the punishment <laughs> fits the crime. <laughs> Great. <Yeah. laughs> Perhaps we could work out a deal? Accept gold in exchange for petty prisoners. Um, pretty okay. good. We we'll have we have to veto the third one. Yes, we veto uh, keeping people in prison. Yeah. And people, you get to vote for selling them or getting them for free. Take your pick. This might help with spider farming. We lose authority on both. We get farming on both. Yeah, it just comes down to whether we get money or defiance. Looks like we're not getting our money. Well, well it lowers defiance. Oh, that's true. Hmm. Yeah, because when that's... But also, that's stopping hard. Red from getting money. Yeah, Red, you want money. Yeah, no. Red. Oh, hmm. No, I think we, we would, would get money. treasury and they lose wealth. Oh. So they would have to pay oh, us. they would lose money. Yeah, that okay. makes sense. Right, they're maybe they're right. Um, okay, we're going to give them prisoners for free. Yeah. Generous honor, your highness. They've lost some defiance. We've lost a little bit of authority. Yeah. That's all right. Soon a large number of so-called criminals are sent to the march to work in the field. Shit spreaders. The barons are grateful for your gift and the marcher crops thrive. Hooray! Farm is up. Okay. Um, Where's the quest? Where is it? Stargazing. Buzz. Ooh. Uh, who's this? Haragnus. This simply can't go on, your majesty. These arch boffins think they know everything. And they know nothing about the Ninth God's wrath. No, they solved the spider problem, right? Please, Your Majesty, we found a perfect site for an observatory high in the southern hills. But it's on Grandee Hagnus's lands, and he refuses to let us build there. Such things are heresy. The stars are just as big and as close as the night God intended. Who put you up to this idea, hmm? I bet it's one of those barons, like Wapple. Oh, no. Fucking Baron Wapples. Um, are we going to let them build it? Boom, our authority. Build. Find a different site, forbid the construction, um, and investigate the scholar's funding. Uh, um, iron choice, build. Just fucking build it. Build it. Follow Wapples. <laughs> build the observatory. Don't worry, our iron rules shall strike down <laughs> these crazy faithful people. 
That's right. We want to look, we want to peep at God. If God didn't want us to peep, he wouldn't have let us... Yeah. You know, maybe the gods gave us that telescope so we could mm -hmm. do that. Do a little god peep. It's not hurting anyone, is it? Absolutely fine. Huzzah! It's being built. Uh, the south have gained some uh, defiance, but what they gained they? trade as well. They got trade, because people want to come and see the telescope. Yeah, well, everyone wants to have a peep at God. Excellent. And also, if they want to rebel, go for it. Go for it. We've got spider cavalry and rail guns. <laughs> spider cavalry and rail guns, a pretty good combo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, they make the counts meet in the pale moonlight. Mm -hmm. uh, Matman says, another priest left my estate today. He said there was no sense preaching to the truly lost. Ooh. I have heard the same rumors across the East. We are no longer trapped under the church's thumb. Now, we must not falter. If the monarch grows proud, we can offer them the ultimate reward, immortality. Uh-oh. For the next stage of their scheme, they must raise authority. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've only done the first stage, so this is for them to complete stage two, right? Right, that's true. And if they, so the counts will get this as a home home the, run. The counts have got this as a home run, and then all factions are on their end game, which sounds amazing. I would like everyone to have a stake in winning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> spiders, spiders. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. Oh, was the fella tasked with looking after your spider eggs? And I'm pleased to say they've grown up into nice, plump, young specimens. Big as house cats and near as tame. Oh, wait. Only as big as cats. Oh, don't worry, Your Majesty. They'll grow. You wouldn't believe how much they eat. They'll be as big as horses before you know it. Oh, I suppose this means we should decide what to actually do with all these damn spiders. Train them as steeds, milk them for venom, or harvest their silk. Choice is clear. The look, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it to chat. But <laughs> we'll leave it to chat. But we better have some fucking spider riders by the end of this. <laughs> we better have spider cavalry. All I'm going to say is I'm going to turn away. I'm gonna, I just and when, and when I turn back, <laughs> I want to see all of you sat neatly <laughs> on your spiders, ready to ride out. Ride for Rowan. <laughs> Come on. This better. This better go. I'm sure it will. I mean, what? I can't imagine anyone not wanting spider cavalry. Who would not want spider spider riders? How are you imagining your spider knights to look? Very well done, everybody. <laughs> I'm very job. pleased with you. Um, oh, goofy. I want them goofy as heck. Yeah? Yeah, I want them to be like... Imagine what a spider rider would look like in one of those like medieval illuminations. Oh wow, real so, wacky. Real wacky spider. <laughs> yeah. Super silly, silly knight. Within a few moments, the knights of the south are riding not horseback, but spider back. They're terrifying in battle, enormous, venomous, and hungry. Ooh. The south now have military six. Uh oh, that's not as good for rebellions. No, so we gotta gotta be a bit more careful. <sighs> um, soon the spider riders of the south pass into legend. Even Grandi Back Biscuit Baron is forced to agree that spider husbandry was a fantastic idea, despite his initial misgivings. Oh, I saved. Jolly good. What was his, his voice? He sounds a bit like, um, what's the guy called? B Butter, Butterbean. Not him. Um, the, Peter Serafina, which is... Oh, right, yeah. That's what I was kind of imagining. <laughs> oh, 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 it's the spiders. Oh, spiders. <laughs> oh. Important, you got the butter bean diet. <laughs> Just that. Brian Sat Butterfield. Brian that's Butterfield. Who I was picturing. Saturday is cheat day. <laughs> it's Saturday is spider day. <laughs> Eat as many spiders as you can in oh. 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's me, the biscuit bar. <laughs> okay, great. Well, we got our fucking spider. Look, blow me up, burn me at the stake, convert me to the cult. I'm down with any of these. The point uh, is, we have Mecha Arm and Spider Cavalry, so all is well. Yeah. Uh, we have a child. Should I die? The crown will be passed on to... Uh, my legitimized natural-born son. We do need stability. Or child. 
Is it un, un, Just child, unspecified, don't mind. Hooray! We gain a stability. Um, uh, everyone has lost faith because of the bastard child. That's all right. No one cares. No one, no one cares about faith. It's fine. Apart from maybe our silent, silent ladies. Oh yes, yeah, battle yeah. nuns. Fipsy's here. Oh, Fipsy. Oh, your grace. May I be the first to congratulate you on legitimizing your child. What is that name? <laughs> King Yolon 2, I guess? <laughs> Not a lot of options. Most pleasing, Your Grace. i sure little King Yolon II will grow up to be a chip off the old block. Okay. Amazing. Time for some inappropriate magic, I think. Ooh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Who's this skelly man? Annoy1138. <gasps> your Grace! Help me! I've been cursed, withering away, Zoro the Death to play! <laughs> oh, no, Zoro, come on. You said you would use your magic for the good of the kingdom, Zoro. Zoro. Why are you like this? Why did you do this, Zoro? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I did not expect Anthromel's spell to do that. Oh, shit. Accident, Zoro. Anyway... Anthony stole my prized toothbrush last week. I only wanted to give him toothache. Oh, God. Unimaginable pain. Please, by the ninth, make it stop. Jeez. Blood and stars, this cannot go unpunished, Your Majesty. It's me, Habiki Rose. <laughs> a moment later, Anthony's skull falls off and he collapses into the floor in a pile. Uh oh. Count Anthony has died. Count Anoy the Second has joined the council. Okay. Force Suro to abandon his apprenticeship. Hang Suro and be done with it. Or do nothing. Uh where is Suro from? Uh he's a red boy. A red boy. So we don't care if they gain defiance, really. If we do nothing, that's gonna upset everyone. Mm. They'll make the Reds ha Reds happy. But annoy everyone else. It'll uh -oh. definitely annoy the purples, because it was their guy who got skelly manned. Oh. So the purples get mad. That sounds bad. I say we veto do nothing, <laughs> and then let everyone else work it out. All right. All right, you guys can decide. Do you want to force Suro to give it up, or do you want to hang him? He's a good boy. He didn't mean to do it. He didn't mean to, but... He's also a dangerous wizard. A loose cannon. <laughs> yeah. Like, he went for the toothache. Uh... What if we try and hang him and he does like a spell to stop us? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I want to be one of the people who's like taking him to uh, the yeah. fucking noose. Bagsy not executioner. Oh, shit. Uh, Bagsy not the person who has to tell him he's being executed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess the people voted for a hanging. Uh, the Reds wanted Sura to live. Everyone else did not want Suro to live. Oh. It's kind of close. Can't believe you guys have voted to kill Suro. You didn't mean it. I think this is going to go badly. No, I won't let you. Unlimited power shall be mine. This wasn't my choice, Suro. As the Palanched Watch moved to arrest him, they're vaporized by a wave of magical energy. Once the dust settles, Sir of the Death is nowhere to be seen. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, this is awkward. Counts aren't pleased that Sir of the Death got away, but no one can say that you didn't try. East is upset. Sir of the Death has died. Sir of the Second has joined the council. I don't know if he's dead. I think he's just not on the council anymore. Right. I think he's going to come back. Yeah. I think he will be back. <laughs> Why am I my mm. fucking battle nuns? I feel like they could have helped. They would have just got vaporized, I think. Okay. Oh, it's buying time. Um, there you go. You can have a prison to lower stability. Oh, um, oh man. Well, so yellow want to buy the prison because they yeah. want to lower it. Reds want to buy the library because they want to raise it. That's true. Uh, and purples want the theatre because they want to lower our authority. Oh, wow. The choice is clear then. B, the D, choice and F. is very clear. B, D, and F. Hmm. Uh, 
Yellow's having a whinge about not having enough money. Where, where, where? We're all yellow. We don't have any money. <laughs> Yellow's the color of gold. It is the color of gold. You must be the richest. Um. Hmm. So. Well, for, for being the poorest, you do so sure seem to be spending the most money, Yellows. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's that all about? So, Reds, vote for your library. Yellows, vote for your prison. Wait, what was the other one? No, I don't think we, we got it wrong. Do oh. You don't want the theatre. They, they're happy the way they are. Oh, they do, want to ha they do want to keep it. Oh, yeah, so they just don't care. Mm. Although, by a little bit of misinformation, a bunch of people did still fund it. You still got 12 grand committed for nothing. <laughs> but that could be other people who are trying to fund it. So other oh, people might want to... Oh, that's true. If you want to stop counts, you could vote for the theatre. Hmm. Well, I think Yellow was whinging about nothing because they had the most money of all. The most by far. They spent 62 grand. When really they probably could have got away with spending 20 grand on that. Probably less. 10. Like, th <laughs> not a lot of things we're getting bid that much for. We taxed you like 400 bucks. You've just gouge yourself for 40,000 bucks. Yeah. You can't blame us anymore. What the heck? This is why you're poor. <laughs> it's all that prison on toast you've been eating. Oh, you need to stop having as much prison on toast. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, well, they completely cancel each other out, I guess. So, you know, good job on spending a hundred grand, guys. This is yeah. better, right? Because we get more money out of them. That's true. <laughs> uh, Uh-oh. Um, the crystal pox. Oh, wait, our ambition. Oh, yeah. Let's look at that. That's our thing. Yeah. At the start of your reign, you said you wanted to be the architect of a new golden <laughs> That's not worked out well. Although, actually... So far, you've not convinced anyone. The kingdom's trade is lackluster, and everyone is mutinous. Yeah. More like a Bronze Age. Oh. Your ambition isn't working out. If you want to stop the nobles from overthrowing you, you need to pivot. Change your image. Do a pivot. Um... We should crush these disloyal nobles, smash their armies, force them to submit. Love it. Uh, spread the zeal of the ninth god. Common folk are a sleeping giant that the nobles are afraid to awake. If you become beloved by the peasants, the nobles wouldn't dare overthrow you. Here's another idea. Declare war on a foreign empire. We do have better armies. Ooh, that's true. Authority and military. That sounds pretty fucking good. Iron Fist. Iron Fist. Uh, stability and farming sounds awful. Farming and military. Uh, authority and faith. Uh, it's Iron Fist. Yeah. Iron Fist. A wise decision, your majesty. I'll begin putting together our plans. We have spider riders and a fucking rail gun. <laughs> yeah. We have the perfect army. <laughs> you have to raise your authority and the kingdom's military as much as you can. And of course, there cannot be open rebellion among the nobles. Ooh. That's all right. We just got to keep their defiance down a bit now, and we'll be fine. Okay, so we are trying to lower your defiance. Uh, who says, Duncan? Your Highness, I'll bring dreadful tidings. An outbreak of crystal pox is ravaging the south. This sounds like Suro's work. What is it? Uh, the most terrible disease. It begins with a rash of boils and that crystallise until the poor victim is sparkling like a diamond. Oh, like a twilight. Ah, you eventually become a crystalline statue. A painful, but admittedly glamorous way to go. Ooh, how many dead? Whole villages have succumbed. The disease is terribly virulent. Mm. Your Majesty, if I may make a suggestion. Victims of crystal pox are only infectious at the boil stage. Once they've converted into crystals, they no longer spread the disease. Okay. Indeed, the pox crystals can be harvested and used in jewellery. If we allowed the pox to spread, we could make money in the South. You fucking... the, the pea people. <laughs> Always looking for some money. <laughs> money grabbing pea boys. Oh, come on, pea boys. <laughs> By order that is holy woman. That is heartless, even for you. That is bad. The only way to fight the pox is to close the roads, shut down all trade until the wave subsides. Is that what you want? For the South to lose money? 
everyone, I think we can agree we want the South to lose money. Well, all of these reduce stability, which is a problem. Oh. But... Oh. Hmm. Um, but we don't lose military on C, at least. Um... God. If we do a call for unity, maybe we can convince the counts and the barons to vote for C. Counts the barons. Because then we'll gain a stability we... and lose one and it will cancel out. Okay. Counts and the barons, vote for C. Must vote for C. They must vote for C. Otherwise, yellow is going to begin to win. Yeah. Everyone vote for C. Unity. Together, we can stop the yellows winning the game. Together, our powers combined. And also, plus it's the morally right thing to do. It's the morally right thing to do, and every other part of it does kind of does kind of fuck with C as well, which is funny. Uh, does fuck with the yellow. But I mean, A would be hilarious. Look how much money we'd get. We'd get so much money. <laughs> but <laughs> just for like you know devastating the South with a virulent plague. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, good job. Unity successful. Blockades are placed on the roads leading in and out of the south. No one goes in and out. And for a month, the, ravage, the pox ravages the countryside. Uh, we gained and lost the stability, so it evened out. Some grandees have lost some wealth and their trade has reduced. When the blockades are lifted, many fields lie fallow with no farmers left to tend them. Southern villages are dotted with gleaming statues left. Ooh. They lose some farming. But thanks to the council's quick thinking, the disease doesn't spread beyond the south. Good job, council. Uh, then they harvest gemstones from the quarantine dead and sell them for a tiny profit. There you go. South, you can have some money. You'll get some money. Perfect. It's all worked out. Yeah, take that. Just sell your relatives' gemstone bodies. Yeah. That's the right thing to do. Oh. Baron Brightwall's here. Mm, mm. Uh, excuse me? Mm, mm, mm. Nothing is wrong. Absolutely nothing is wrong in the march. Uh, really? It looks like you, to me you've swallowed a wasp. That's definitely not an old witch who lives at the border of my lands, and I definitely haven't been having money troubles. Okay, great. Good. Most importantly, she didn't offer me a fortune in exchange for just a drop of my blood. An offer which I absolutely didn't accept. Okay. Good. I don't know why you're telling me this. Baron Brightwall has got a lot of money. Uh... You keep looking at me like I've trod on your foot. Ever since I didn't accept the witch's bargain, I haven't found myself obeying her every command. Right. And I still definitely rule over my estate, not her. That's great. Why are you telling me all this? Furthermore, she didn't forbid me from telling you all of this. And I'm not using negative statements to bypass her magic. Uh, okay. You, hang on, I'm starting to think you might be the opposite of what you say. <laughs> No, my liege, that is not the case. Uh, it isn't? Damn, I guess I was wrong. He looks like he's about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's have the court, court physician come in. After a week confined to cold iron box with nothing to eat but salt, the magic stops affecting him so strongly. Okay. He's even able to talk about his ordeal directly. Ooh. I always tolerated that bloody witch. She'd sell medicine to the peasants and uh, help them find lost sheep. I never expected she was capable of something like this. Oh, no. She's a week of eating salt. I feel like that would kill him. We need to call a vote. Send a regiment. Take back my stolen lands. Oh. Um, yikes. We could lose a lot of money there. Um, we got good military though. Do we? Uh, 
Do we want an iron choice? Burn someone at the stake? We love burning people at the stake. Classic. Let's do it, guys. I think A, but obviously vote for whatever you want. You can vote wherever, but A seems good. Because we just... We're like, where was that witch's house? Mm -hmm. Bring out the rail gun! <laughs> like, use your, use your blood magic to stop that. <laughs> yeah. When we shoot her from, like, you know, 60 miles away <laughs> yeah. with the, the rail gun. <laughs> what problem haven't we solved with that rail gun? It just solves every problem. Mm -hmm. And now that we've got spiders to back it up. It's the perfect, perfect rock, paper, scissor combo. Uh, when they arrive at the estate, the land itself fights back. Uh, the soil opens up beneath them and trees swipe at their horses. We don't have horses, um, we have spiders. Well, the reds don't have spiders. Oh, okay. But they fight their way through with minimal losses. The witch tries to escape, but she's caught by sentries posted at the perimeter. That evening, burned in the town square as the peasants watch in silence. He is pathetically grateful for the return of his ancestral home. Faith has gone up a little bit. The fields are never as bountiful as again as they were under the witch's reign. Oh. Lose some farming. Also, reds can set up a good perimeter. That's what the yellows should have done. Yes. And we have all of those criminals hiding out in the churches. Exactly. Be more like reds. Be more like reds. The grandees invest in perfume exports, making 500 wealth. Tax those piss boys. <laughs> They're all the richest again. They're still all the richest people. <laughs> Tax yellow. But then they might have rebellious spiders. Oh shit, you're right. Well, we'll fucking rail gun them. <laughs> <laughs> Bing. <laughs> Perfect. Also, they don't want to rebel because they're still... They're about to win. Close to winning. And uh, when we have to have spiders versus rail guns. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, you've done some redecorating in the throne room, anticipating your furniture um, as the iron-fisted tyrant. Uh, when the marshal walks in, she whistles apprehensively. I like what you've done with the place. Lots of chains and spikes. Is that a working Iron Maiden? Um, why don't you say... No, I'm not, not, not that one. <laughs> I hold the hinges myself. <laughs> Very good. Master Artificer looks after their tools. Well, that's nothing. You pull a lever on your throne and a trap door opens just to the left. Beneath it is a pit full of rising snakes. All deadly, of course. Snake pit as well. <laughs> Fuck. With <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Let them vote against you now. Amazing. Oh, I'm into that. Oh. It's all fun and games, Your Majesty, but the nobles won't stand for it right now. Try to intimidate them like this, and they'll just raise a rebellion. Oh. I know, I know. Jeez. We need to win the loyalty of the troops. Force them to answer directly to you, instead of to the counts, barons, and grandees. Oh, shit. You have the makings of a strong commander, and the kingdom's armies are formidable. We can work with this. I'm off to tour the kingdom to make sure the troops are whipped into shape. Once they're ready, we'll assume control. Ooh. Secure the rail cannon, Marshal. Nice. And of course, make sure you close that trap door before the nobles come in and see it. <laughs> okay, okay. Your goal is to raise your authority in the kingdom's overall military as much as you can. Yeah. We're pretty good, though. We're pretty good. Prying eyes. Matman's here. Majesty, you are the greatest monarch of this century. I am, it's true. Exactly. Indeed. I'm sure that all will kneel before you, but your power could go greater. Death comes to us all. What if it didn't have to? What if you could be the greatest monarch for all millennia? I don't know if that's even possible. That's where you may be wrong, Your Highness. Roll up, roll up! <laughs> I happen to possess some of the knowledge that may interest you greatly. There are opportunities beyond what any of us had imagined. If you are strong enough to take them, I can arrange more meetings. We can discuss this matter further. The door bursts open. Snake door! <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we got you first. Now, no matter. Get out of here, High Inquisitor. The Counts have agents everywhere. They've been building up your strength. But there's something more sinister afoot. Their ultimate aim is to recruit you into a cult of immortal blood drinkers. Oh, 
Oh, what a tale! All we want is to help the monarch. Uh, they have been helping me a great deal. <laughs> he shoots you a quick smile. High Inquisitor looks furious. This is heresy of the highest order! The council must know! Like, I don't want to join them. But you like but them. I, but I would snake pit that Inquisitor. <laughs> They're not as much fun. So does the council want to force the monarch to officially join this cult? No, officially ref oh, refuse, refuse to join. Officially refuse to join the cult. Prevent the counts from seeking audiences with the monarch. Um, Delay scheme for one season. Leave the counts to their business. What do what people want? I, don't, I really don't mind. Because this only gets them onto equal footing with everyone else, right? Yeah, it, it let them go on to C. Or I can give them C. Wait, do you want to give it a... Monarch's Choice. Um, that one. Oh, wait, we didn't no, need to do it. it. Yeah, great. Just Free vote. Whatever. Do whatever you like, guys. How are you feeling about our good purple boys? They only want to make us immortal. Wait, if too many people vote for A, then the Counts could do a rebellion. Uh, if, oh, no. No, not at all. No. Not even close. Make us lose an authority. Oh, they're doing that to stop us from getting... Well, authority, we can get it back up pretty easily. I'm not worried about authority. You guys want lower stability. Well, some of them do. Mm. Well, the mob has spoken. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm uh, we have to officially refuse to join the cult. I'm not going to join the cult. Um... The chief architect bursts into your office, carrying Ooh. an armful of parchment. Statues can be thrown down. Buildings can be burned. Don't you think it's time you left a lasting mark on this kingdom? Uh, giant skull mountain. I propose you carve your majesty's visage into the side of a mountain. It'll take dozens of artists, thousands of hours, but it'll ensure you're always remembered. That does sound pleasing. That does sound like fun. I'm so glad you think so, your majesty. It'll be the talk of the kingdom and beyond. I'll call a vote to discuss this. You, you call a vote to discuss this outrageous plan. Uh, it'll take time and gold. Uh, we actually can't afford it. No, we can't afford to add our husband to it. We were never going to do that anyway. Um, we could get uh, the nobles to pay for it. Uh, uh, we could pay for it. Or we don't wait, do but it. If we do the the other... Yes, and the nobles will fund it. Does that mean we lose any money there? No. Just um, 2,000 bucks is taken out of... Like, everyone loses, like, 100 bucks. Oh, okay. Or 500. It'll be less than that, because there's, like, 400... No, no, there's 800 nobles, right? So you divide that by 800. Oh. It's like... Oh, it's barely anything. Each. It's nothing. They won't even notice it. A piss tax. My lord. Ravsy, my sweet boy. It will get their rebelliousness up. Oh. But that's fine. Uh, it's hardly any money for you guys. It's yeah, it's hardly bucks. any. It's less than 50 bucks each. Everyone loses that much money. Is that, is that right? It's not. You won't lose 2,000 bucks each. No way. Because, look, it only costs 2,000 in total. It only costs us 2,000. Yeah. I'll vote for C. Is the one for me. Okay. Oh, Sir is here, the evil wizard. <laughs> He's back. C, C, it's for me. C, I would like C. to eat a tree. Look, the, well, the giant faces. Well, I guess, actually, as long as we get the, the giant face statue, that sounds great. Is it going to be a face or a skull? What do you reckon? Oh. Guys, come Everyone, on. Everyone, C. C. Get C, C in there. Vote for C. It's got to be C. Vote for C. A vote for C is a vote for victory. Victory with the C. To C, everybody. Anyone who's not been paying attention, quick. Quick, type, vote C. Exclamation mark, vote C. If you vote A... Everyone loses. That's a game over. More C. More C. Come on, Bravs. Cheer them on. Vote a vote for C. 
Um, also, uh, the Reds want our stability up, right? Yeah. Not that that uh, really matters. Okay, I don't, I don't think we're wow. going to. Wow. Well, I guess it's come tax season. I guess we know um, who to go for. The Reds. The, the fucking Reds. Reds. The rebellious Reds. Wow. Wow. You, you stabbed us in the back, Reds. We'll remember Four this. For shame. Why would you do this to us? Why are you like this? Actually, yellows as well. Yellows fucked us too. Whereas the purples, very loyal. Very loyal. We love you, purples. Purples will remember this. Hmm. So we're paying for it now. Uh-oh. We don't have a lot of money. Money real low. Oh, this will be the wonder. Wonder of the world. Uh, you eagerly await news. It's plagued by setbacks. Stone is harder to carve than anticipated. Storms knock down the scaffolds. The rock side eases much of the work that's been done. I have to admit I've bitten off more than I could chew. <sighs> work out in the end, right? Yeah, it'll be fine. Yes, yes, of course it will. As the weeks roll past, it's clear that the Chief Architect's grand ideas take a lot longer to come to fruition. I've got time. I feel like that guy should go in the fucking snake pit. <laughs> <laughs> they play a game of chess and discuss their plans. Yes, yeah, most pleasing. The monarch is drunk with power. Our sculptors are doing well, I hear. Trade has gone up in the east. But still, it means the time is ripe. But I was thinking, we should really show the monarch the true secrets of our group. I thought that was the point, immortality and all that. Yes, but those secrets are meant to be kept secret. What if we pulled the wool over their eyes? What does that mean? Right, do you want to pl plan a false immortality ritual for the monarch that will kill us? You have to lower your own defiance. Or do you want to induct the monarch into a real society of immortal blood drinkers where you'll have to raise your own farming? Their farming is pretty high. God, we don't get a lot of things that have the option to lower their farm. Farming is rare. Purple could be fast tracking their way to victory. Shit, this might this might be how we how we finish. This might be the bad times. Oh, how did I forget it? Uh, you must enrich your lands for the ritual. Uh, nine farming. Okay, someone just said it's always plus two of whatever the thing is. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, um, so what do we want? Uh, uh, if they they gain their own personal wealth, if they vote what we want, bribe them, or treasury if the option's taken. But if the nobles vote otherwise, lose treasury. That one, the royal gamble is too risky. That's yeah, we will die on that. So we'd also have to get rid of one of our current laws if we wanted to get one of these in. I don't think we can afford to get rid of any of them. Yeah, just keep it as. We don't need authority. We do need authority. That's how we win. Yeah, that's our winning condition. <laughs> Gold is better than iron, my lords. <laughs> that's good. Uh, yeah. How's our tyranny doing? We've been surveying the troops. They're a complete mess. What the fuck? 70% oh. chance. Come on. Shit. We've got a railway gun. What do we do? He'll sort it out. Heck. Okay. So we need we basically get another role in two seasons and we got okay. if we up our military and authority. Oof. It'll be a more likely role. God. Um Perhaps lost all those with a 95% chance. Oof. Bankruptcy looms. Where did all our money go? I know where it went. <laughs> it's that giant giant stone face. We could get a loan. We could sell jewels. We could open some tombs. Ooh. Okay. Um, make more coins. Um, that doesn't sound like the best idea. Sell some gems. Uh, oh, loan. hefty loan. Crack open some tombs. Mm. We don't want to lose stability. The loan will come with interest, though, right? Yeah, but hopefully we'll win before we have to pay it back. Oh, perfect. I love that thinking. That's future Tom's problem. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. Future Tom's problem. 
There's no way that ever goes wrong. Perfect. But yeah, we couldn't afford to lose authority. Uh, an excellent decision, Your Majesty. You shall pay us back 25% interest in one year. Oh, fuck. No, that's just 25% interest. Pay us back with 25% interest. We'd pay the whole thing back with more. But we can't turn this money into more money. Ooh. Sounds like a big problem. <laughs> okay, well, we just have to win. Oh, we lost an authority as well. Shit. Okay, we just have to win before the year ends. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and then it's our, then we die, and it's our son's problem. Amazing. It's a quiet day. The council's not in session. We play poker. Oh, no, our husband plays poker. Uh, we read some old books. We find something new. What's this? It's a dog-eared book with no title and a broken spine. Um, extracting it from behind the others without falling apart is risky. You open it, and... Where did this come from? It's an old religious text. The one that spawned the cult of Undivided is now considered their most important scripture. Oh dear, banned book. You stash it in a secret compartment of your wardrobe as wheels turn feverishly in your mind. Your husband returns. You act as if nothing is the matter, but you can't forget what you saw. He belongs to an evil cult. Uh... He's at least a heretic. I feel like we just... We don't need this. We've got enough other problems. I okay, think we'll just ignore it. Does not even mention it? He gives you a smile and packs his stuff away. You're sure he glances to the spot where the book used to be, but he says nothing. It's not our, it's not our problem. Don't... Look, if he's with the counts... Mm -hmm. don't, don't ask, mind. don't tell. Okay. okay. So, bit of a recap. The Reds need stability at eight. The counts need farming at nine. And the yellows need stability <laughs> at four. Everyone is two pips away from victory. Yeah. You are all very close. This is going to be tough. Uh, I don't want to get a tithe trouble. That sounds bad. Uh... None of them sound too wild. Sure, blow on lumber. Why not? Just work your way across. Your Majesty, will you tell these superstitious counts to get over themselves and let us harvest their trees? We need wood for our craftspeople. I've told you a thousand times, Grandy, that forest is thoroughly haunted. You'll damn us all if you go logging in there. Mm. But you sold us a logging contract and said the contract has no exclusions for haunting. Okay, we've had a wealth flip. Okay. Your holiness, the counts can't be allowed to wriggle out of their commitments. Uh, that sounds true. Mm. Uh, let the grandees log, because they have the contract. Let them harvest the lumber, but share the money. Turn the forests into a joint southern eastern hunting reserve. Uh, we don't want defiance and authority loss. No. Let me ban that. Veto it. Veto C. And then... Vote for whatever you like, guys. What seems fair to you? Uh, if you were just king and you thought you just wanted to work out what was fair... Um, none of these aren't... Or we could have done the... Oh, no, we couldn't have... Actually, no, we could have done the king's choice thing where we gain authority and lose authority if we did that. Mm. So if people had voted for it, it would have just worked out. Would have evened out. That's uh, true. I want to save that for one we're probably going to win, though. Oh. Uh, right. They vote for D. No one gets to farm. Fence it off. No one goes near it. But my lumber! I paid for that! Ah, uh, whatever, you little, little yellow piss boy. They're enraged. Give it a rest, won't you? The council has spoken. It's for your own good. When it's clear the council won't reconsider its position... Grandi Rathar slinks back to the south, and the haunted forest falls back into obscurity and legend. <laughs> Grumpy piss boys. Grumpy piss boys. <laughs> um, a terrible accusation. No, not my husbando. 
Good morning, Council. I bring you dire tidings. Oh, it's always dire with you. Tocado of the Grandees, King Consort, and Monarch King Yulon's husband is a heretic and an apostate. Uh... Gasps ripple through the chamber as the High Inquisitor throws a pile of books Arrest them. at your feet. Arrest them! Among you, you recognize the one that you found in your bedroom. Arrest, arrest them. Arrest the Inquisitor. Yes. Tenefi says, she can't keep getting away with this. Accuse a grandee of the South, will she? Oh, look at that. We've, we've succeeded. We've gained stability and authority. And the Inquisitor's out of it. Inquisitor Snake Pit. I've wanted the Snake Pit then for so long. We need to watch out on getting that stability too high, though, because... Mm, well, the Yellows will like that. The Yellows big fan of that. The High Inquisitor has made of more than a few enemies among nobles in her time. The truth of the accusation is lost in a frenzy of politics. Great. <gasps> Excellent. As she's dragged away, she curses you to seven hells. Still, you breathe a sigh of relief. Tocado is safe, as is your reputation. Yeah, like me, Torcado and myself, we may, may not be in love, but I've got no ill will. No. And a little bit of heresy, like a little bit. Yeah, it's good. It's, you know, a little bit of variety. It's the spice of life, A right? little bit spicy. Yeah. Oof. Okay, we got away with that. Uh, the Archbishop, your highness, I've come to submit a complaint about the Counts of the East. They've been neglecting their tithes. Uh-oh. I'm not a debt collector. Yeah. Who do you think the common folk will blame if the church starts failing? Me? No, your highness. They'll blame you alone. Who cares if their faith goes down? Oh, shit. Everything goes down if we tell them to fuck off. Wait, but that's good. We don't want to lose authority. I think, but we lose a bit of stability, which helps. Mm. And also, uh, it lowers their faith. Purple aren't going to care about that. And also, it lowers their defiance, which means they're never going to rebel. That's true. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. I've never been so. You'll regret the words and deeds. I'll sit to her personally. Goodbye. Ah, whatever. Like, the the church in the fucking counts, mm. like, the, in the Eastland, is the lamest thing ever. <laughs> yeah. It's like just him. <laughs> yeah. No one else. Everything else is like cultists and vampires. It's true. He soon proves the truth of his words, though. Oh. Throughout the kingdom, priests preached their flocks that the monarch is a baby kicker and a devil worshipper. Yeah, fuck it. I'll kick the, your baby. The gullible and the peasants lap it up. Wait, but I saved them. As idiots. They are idiots. We'll be known as King Elon the baby kicker. I would... I would I would kick a baby <laughs> as this king, you know, if they were if they were bad. Go on then, you can vote. Look, counts can build themselves an aqueduct. Okay, red probably want, want that library. Red want the library. Uh, the yellows, you probably want that prison. Mm. Let's see who gets what they want. Uh, vote uh, now. Oh, the counts want the purple. They want a farm. Yeah, the aqueduct. Oh, this is actually going to be an interesting mm. one. Have we managed to steal enough money from Yellow? Are we going to get that monument? The sexy 69 lewd monument? Is anyone going <laughs> to stop it the 69 bucks on the monument, which I don't think we are going to get? Um, I don't think the Grandies are trying hard enough to build their prison. Oh. Well, oh, the, oh, barons, the Barons need to build their library because they need to get that stability up. That's Barons, true. You are, you're the richest faction by far, and none of you are bidding. Yeah, what is it? You're gonna let the let them build their stuff and not yours? Wow, Barons, that is not gonna help you win. Wow, I thought the Barons wanted to win. I thought the Barons wanted to win, but it turns out that maybe they were the piss boys all along. <laughs> but now, no, the Yellows, the Yellows definitely are. Hmm. Yellows, Barons, you have seconds left. Wow. Ooh, where did that? Who ended up with that? The Yellows got it. Wow, okay. Hang on, this red guy bought the Count's Aqueduct. <laughs> I play by nobody's rules but my own. <laughs> wow, a car of <laughs> just, just going wild there with a random bid. Oh. Well, there we go. The Count's are one step away from greatness. 
And the um, the yellows are also one step away from victory. Yeah, it's they are for. very close. Uh, but what the reds the kind of just want to throw it now, apparently. A comet sighting. Ooh. Um, the it's DJ Cookson says hey. a red. Blood red comet was spotted in the night sky over the march, my liege. The peasants are claiming it's a terrible omen. Oh, it does sound bad. The common folk are on the verge of panic. Um, I think we've got to just tell them there's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. It's probably the ninth god riding a chariot or whatever. <laughs> Fortunately, the common folk take your word for it. After all, if the monarch says something, you'd better listen. Very true. Peasants go back to work in the fields and ignore the comet entirely. Problem solved. Problem solved. <laughs> yeah, it was like a chariot. Just, it was a flying chariot. Uh, it's been a kidnapped noble. Squiddy. Squiddy. Your Majesty, the loyal and noble Baron Sturzos has been taken hostage. Uh, kid kidnapped, you mean? It's some criminal organization. These horrid miscreants demand gold and safe passage in return for Sturzos' return. Pay the ransom. No. Send the military. Send in the military. Yes. Um, should we veto the ransom? Yeah. Send in the troops. Send in the troops. The troops, everybody! Vote B! B is the best! Maybe, oh, That's maybe. what it stands for! C <laughs> stands for cest! Lame. <laughs> Lame! B, B, B! Nobody wants to be the cest! No way! Use our strong military! We railgun! Railgun the building where yes. he's being held! Never negotiate with terrorists! We, do you want to negotiate with terrorists? Railgun terrorists! Railgun them! Or spiders! Um, the assault is a catastrophe, and the outlaws oh. were more entrenched than anyone realized. Oh, oh shit. God, that was bad. Why did you guys vote for C? <laughs> Don't railgun. Oh, they w although they won the battle, they lost a lot of forces, and the count was lost. He's found face down, and his son has taken to the council. That's not our fault. You, your troops fucked it it's up. It's your shit troops. They didn't have railguns or spider riders. Oh, God. Why wow, the seven, seven is really just turning this around. Can't build their buildings. Can't save their count. We had a fucking ninety percent win on that. That roll. Idiots. Oof. Now we've got to do our tyranny with the, that less military. Is that a report from the troops? Eighty percent. Troops are looking good. They're in top condition. Nice. Uh, they've got to be loyal to us. Oh, it's the same thing again then. Grease some palms. Do some stuff. Okay, we just have to keep this up for another season. Yeah, keep smoking cigars with the troops. Make them like you more than us. Um, they need to respect us. 100% uh, authority! When she returns, she punches you hard, so hard in the arm, you almost puke. Ow, fuck, that sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Cheer up, you drip. We've done it. The troops are with us. They're fed up of the council, passing all these namby-pamby so-called laws. It's time for an iron fist to punch this kingdom back into shape. Over the next few weeks, soldiers cross the kingdom, mutiny against their officers, and swear fealty directly to the monarch. Spider Riders! <laughs> Assemble! Oh, shit. The nobles beg for a council session to discuss the crisis, but you put them off. Blaming the renovation of the council hall. Oh, council, look, it needs some work done to it. Uh, of course, there's one person you can't avoid. Your okay. Husband. Strange day, is it not, your highness? I can't tell you how odd it feels, knowing that you're seizing control of my homeland. Uh, can I fucking snake pit people? Um, they're not your people anymore. Is that the one? I suppose not. Still feels odd, but I trust you'll do what's right. Hey, I kept you alive, you fucking heresy. Yeah, we hid your heresy book. Yeah. At long last, you're sure the armies of the kingdom are in the palm of your hand, and you allow the next council session to go ahead. Uh-oh. The final council uh -oh. session. Uh-oh. <laughs> the marshal stands at your right hand, flanked by a garrison of the city watch. 
Your honor guard flanks your other side, ready for anything. Uh-oh. The nobles file in one by one. Who's the, is that an Iron Maiden? Most of them are looking nervous, but Grandi Rahab Ophion just looks angry. Your recent conduct has been outrageous, no, Your Highness. No, make him sound more pissy. <laughs> your recent conduct has been outrageous, <laughs> Your Highness. Unforgivable. Give him the snake pit. Delaying the council session. Secret meetings with our soldiers. Violating the feudal contract. My top officers have been killed in this little mutiny of yours. Let's call a vote right now. I'm ready to deprive you of that crown. Scratch that. I'm ready to deprive you of your head. Hit him with the snakes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Snake pit. Snake pit. It's just it's straight away. <laughs> the trap door opens up beneath Rahab's feet. With a strangled shriek, he falls into the pit of snakes. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so good. <laughs> there is a moment of silence. Uh, would anyone else like to come and uh, call a vote about anything? Uh, your, your Highness, I'm sure we're all delighted to be here. Right, you lot. I don't think we need any more votes, do we? The monarch can take it from here. That sounds very true. Oh, of course, Marshal. Uh, now get out, all of you. The nobles shuffle out with their tails between their legs. You let out a joyful laugh. <laughs> Maybe some would describe it as an evil cackle. <laughs> Snake pit. <laughs> but, but those people would be dissidents, and you will deal with them yeah. harshly. Snake pit. Railgun. <laughs> spiders. <laughs> One of those. This is like Dark Lord origin story right now. Yeah. Soon you'll be made immortal as well, I presume. We can force them to make me immortal. Without the council holding your back, your daily duties are so easy, so efficient. Your firm grip on the kingdom will secure an excellent future for little King Yulon II nice. when the time comes. Your reign of terror is here, <laughs> but your future has only just begun. <laughs> okay. Hooray! Wow. The grandees continue to throw accusations of witchcraft and heresy at their enemies. Everyone gradually learned to ignore them. <laughs> Perfect. Take that, grandees. <laughs> With their plans in tatters, the counts retreated to their castles to brood. Their olive branch was rejected, the secret of eternity, that they had guarded for eons. They would not be so kind again. Eh. In the haste to complete their scheme, the barons mishandled their gunpowder. <laughs> it blew up in their faces, literally. Wow. All that was found of Baron Legohan was a pair of boots with feet still inside. Wow. God, not good. <laughs> Monarch King Yulon's reign spanned another 15 blood-drenched years. Perfect. The council couldn't defy them, fiercing a gruesome fate. Snake death. It was a dark and fearful time for everyone, but the Monarch, who seemed to enjoy themselves immensely, Especially when spikes and thumbscrews were involved. Even better. Oh. Monarch King Yulon the Iron Fisted. So good. We reigned for three and a half years. And you were right about that loan, Tom. I was so right about that loan. <laughs> that was future us's problem. Well, I don't think they can dare ask for their money back now. Yeah, because we'll just railgun them. <laughs> yeah. I think we then modernize the railguns into smaller portable prototypes and mount them on the spiders. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Spider-mounted railguns. It's the future of warfare. So good. Uh, I, think, I think we fucking absolutely... Absolutely nailed it. The wealthiest noble at the end was Diabj. 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 And the poorest noble was poor old Mr. Pissy Pants. Mr. Pissy Pants. Well, he wasn't part of the Piss Nation. Oh, that's true. Okay. Oh, amazing. This is our kingdom. We were the best. What a juggling act. There was so much juggling that had to go on there. Huzzah! <laughs> Mr. Pence is here. Yay, I'm Paul! <laughs> Golden age, my ass! <laughs> well, you know, that's how we lured everyone in with the idea of it could be a golden age, but actually it was all setting up to install an Iron Fist rule. Tyranny was always the name of the game. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, great success! 
Nailed it. And then if we want it, next time we play, King Yulon 2! Oh, and see how he, how he does. <laughs> the next generation can take over. Oh, that sounds kind of jokes, actually. But that'll be next time, as we're going to need to be wrapping up uh, sometime soon. Yeah, we will have to save it. Um, if we do that, everyone will keep their money as well. Which is everyone fun. keeps their money. Ooh. Amazing. That was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed. Real good. Uh, we still have some donations to go through. Uh, such as um, Sandwich Guy, who donates 12 bucks. Thank you, Sandwich Thank Guy. Thank you. They say, Tom Burn, uh, greetings to see you are king of the castle today, too. And no north to stomp you. Uh, I wonder if I could set up some way to play this with my friends. Could be a fun thing to do some of these days. Also, you've just been real rough lately. Oh, Good stream. I'll stick with it, Diamond Boots. There is a way, when you click new... I don't know how it works, but you can play, like, Jackbox style. Yeah, somehow. where people... Have their phones and... And they're playing the different... I think it's, like, just a smaller version of this that you can mm. just play with a group of people, which honestly sounds real jokes. Uh, Diamond Boots, then it's three bucks. Need Diamond Boots. That's the same one. Is literally just what I read. It's literally what I read. Uh, Jeremy the Unclean, and it's 30 bucks. Wow, Jeremy. very generous. Thank you, Jeremy. They say, actually, Tom, and technically, Ben. <laughs> uh, one of the things I've loved recently is showing Imager links on screen. Uh, I know it feels janky, but YouTube VOD gobos get to see what uh, ever gets to see what everyone's brilliant painting. Mm. Uh, see you on Sunday morning uh, on YouTube. I'm not coming around to your houses. Well, I'm perfect. so glad. That's the perfect situation. Uh, we should probably do something like that again. That's true. Uh, well, we can do it now. Oh. Big Wonky donates three bucks. See, Big Wonky. They say Barbarian Ben and Templar Tom. Uh, me and my girlfriend watch the Warhammer Wednesday stream every week. Uh, check out this drop pod I finished. Ooh. Uh, if you have the chat. Mm -hmm. I have the chat. That ain't. Here we go. Oh, that looks great. I love the weathering. Here we go. Look, I've got it in chat. Boom. I just like to veto to make sure it's not a... Oh, yeah, for sure. Not a, not a naughty picture. Oh, it's great. The weathering looks really, really nice. That's very cool. It looks all burned up on entry. Yeah. Excellent. Super, super duper cool. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. Uh, Chum Dunder. Uh, do you think it's five bucks? Thank you, Chum Dunder. Thank you. They said, going to London Tom and buying Heat Magazine Ben. Currently painting through my friend's Scythe board game. Uh, lots of diesel punk mechs. Uh, please give you, me your hottest takes on the paint job. Okay. Uh, oh, they look awesome. Uh, these are looking very cool. Look at that. Yeah, they look great. Very nice. It is nice to have painted minis. Yeah. And little tiny, tiny toys. And you've got them based as well, which is even better. Yeah, that really helps. They look really, really good. Very nice. I think you should be very, very pleased. Thank you for you sharing. That's, that's my hot take. Uh, I, Rick, uh, donates three bucks. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. They say, Tom Ben. Uh, yesterday, I finished 99% of my painting backlog Ooh. by um, giving it all away. <laughs> oh, the most efficient way. Uh, I kept my OBR. Uh, finding the time to play was hard. So the rules have changed uh, every other time I managed to play. Um, now, someone else is finding joy in my old armies. Honestly, Aww. like, God, I've, I've given away a lot of... A lot of Warhammer stuff that yeah. I know I'm never going to finish painting. And if just... it's going to sit in the bottom of your cupboard, never to be used. It's better someone else gets to enjoy it, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. Uh, nice. And Sir of the Death did its three bucks. Thank you, Sir. Thank you. They say, a man talking in the shadow. Well played, Tom and Ben. Now I got my revenge on that cursed noble. <laughs> I can go back to get power when the dark man turn around and before he Disappa, you get a small glint of his face. Sorrow the Death, Hade got his revenge. <laughs> oh, man. Well, hopefully you'll be back next time. Well, thank you, Sorrow. Yeah, we didn't have to deal with another 
Suro, did he explode himself? Maybe. Maybe his vanishing spell was miscast and he ex did it was an exploding spell. He learns this is like a teleport spell and he learned the first part but not the, the <laughs> reappearing and so just yeah. vaporizes himself. Um, uh, yeah, what a crazy boy. That was uh, it. But bam, that's, that's it. We've done it. We've done a stream. We did done a stream. Thanks for joining uh, us. Really hope you guys enjoyed that. Mm. Um, well played to all of you. None well of you played. let one of the other teams win. And none of you could stop us. The perfect stream. The perfect stream. Chaos Dwarves. You want to know about Chaos Dwarves? Yeah, they're like dwarves, but evil. Yeah. Uh, so they did a Chaos Dwarf trailer. They did. Um, there it is. And... It looks pretty cool. I mean, Tom and I have been waiting for Chaos Dwarves for like a year now. As soon as they in it, like Warhammer 3 came out, I was like, the only race I want to play in Warhammer 3 is Chaos Dwarves. And I feel like they've taken their sweet time bringing them out. They've got blunderbusses and there's groblins and there's orcs and they've got slaves. Mm -hmm. And they're uh, real, real evil boys. Did you hear the rumor about the big Chaos Dwarf hats? So apparently... They're big Chaos Dwarf heads? You know the old models have got fucking enormous, ridiculous hats? Yeah. Um, someone's like... And one of the managers was like, give them big hats. And so he gave them big... The sculptor did big hats. And then the, the manager said... Didn't look at the models and just said, make their hats bigger. So he did. And then... Same feedback again. He didn't look at the new sculpts. It was just like, make them bigger. I said make big hats. So the guy just went, fine, have the biggest fucking hats in the world. And then that was it. That's why they got it. Because of, like, miscommunication. So the legend goes. I don't believe that. You just think that's bullshit? I think at the time, there are some other people with stupid... Stupid headwear. And, like, they... These, the Chaos Dwarves are really based on, like, the sort of Persian, like, yeah. Babylonian kind of that gear, where these are just caricatures of their hats, which a lot of them are pretty big. And so I think it's just goofy 80s Warhammer models yeah, rather than likely. massive miscommunication because James Workshop was like, I don't care, make it bigger! And they're like, fine, yeah. fuck you, I'll, I'll make the biggest hats ever. And I just like that story. I want it to be true. But wouldn't they have, like, scaled them back at some point? Or... I don't know. Or did they make one model and they're like, fuck, oh, I guess we have to do we're, some we're more. committed now. <laughs> um, what do you think that big... I, I think that big robot at the end it's a, is, um, is, like, their campaign objective, right? It's not actually going to be a unit. It's going to be a... Will you win the game if you build the big robot? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it probably is. Well... I think it's going to be like, what's the, the giant dinosaur, like a mammoth? It's it's going to give them a, a mega unit. But it's so big. Do you know what I mean? It's sort of like unfathomably big on the battlefield. I don't... But if you compare that to like a, the Idol of Gork, the mega dinosaur... I suppose the Dreadsaurian's... That's that it, big, Dreadsaurian. So. Mm. Um, I think it's just a, probably going to be their bigger bigger unit. Like, it could be a campaign thing, and that'd be fun. Mm. Or maybe uh, it's the Mega Unit. Either way, yeah, I'm stoked. I like Cursed Wolves a lot, and I'm looking forward to seeing seeing them in action. But yeah, they look they look great. I'm really glad that they kept big, goofy hats. Mm. Um, I'm glad that they brought in all the Forge World stuff, like the, the trains and the artillery and stuff. Yeah, I, like I, I never loved the, like, the fire element. Yeah, the lava monsters I can live without, to be honest. Like, they just... They don't really don't do anything for me, but everything else looks really good. Yeah, bull centaurs are cool, like goblin slaves. Like variety makes gives the army some variety. You know, hobgoblins are good boys. Yeah, yeah. There's just a lot of good, good units. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it is just models that they had already. Well, or like things. Yeah, none of this is like a big surprise to me. No, this is exactly what I was expecting, like, years and years ago when they first said, you know, we're doing that part of the map. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, it's a, it's a different vibe. You know, big heavy industry? You can get a lot of that in Warhammer? Yeah, because this is really, like, industrial, rev like, 
mm. revolution stuff. It kind of like blows my mind a bit that, like, how can chaos dwarves just don't win? Well, they they've got a tiny population. Like in the Chaos Dwarf Empire, the but actual Chaos Dwarves are like 5% of the population. Oh yeah, it's like a small fraction, but with enough of their slaves mm -hmm. and uh, like these war machines, it feels like they should just be the... Well, they just, I think they're happy in their lands. They don't really I think like, that's the only, only excuse. They, they don't want to invade everywhere. Because mm. they don't have the same sort of problem that a lot of the other races have. Like Chaos will always turn on each other. Mm. Skaven... They are too busy bickering. Orcs, you know, the moment their leader dies, it just dissipates. The Empire can't fight all of these things at once. Mm. Uh, but mm. always felt like Chaos Dwarfs, like their navy, the best thing that exists. Oh, God, yeah, because every navy in Warhammer, in Man of War, followed like a historical navy. So regular dwarves had like ironclads. High elves have like catamarans. Empire have got like... Galleons, sales, galleons and stuff like that. And Chaos Dwarfs just had like modern like, warships, warships with cruise missiles, missiles and things like that. <laughs> yeah. so it's like, how the fuck do you not... Uh, <laughs> Is that not an auto win? Uh, not take over. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's just a shame it's still a month away. I was, when I first saw the trailer drop, I was like, woo, it's soon. Mm. But pre-order in a month, so not out for maybe six weeks. It's a while to wait. But yeah, there you go. Chaos Dwarfs. I'm hot. We did it. Nor dwarves have ironclads. Yeah, but those ironclads. That's what we just said. We they just were, said they were a fraction as good as the uh, the Chaos Dwarf versions. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm hot. Chaos Dwarfs. I've wanted them in it oh. since the very beginning. Yeah. And knew it was going to be a long time coming, but they're going to be great. Yeah. So maybe we'll come back to Warhammer in about a month. When yeah. That's out. Yeah, that might be a thing. That'd be fun. If you want to see see some of that. Um, boom. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. When actually is the 13th? Is that, is that a Thursday? Usually it is, right? Usually a Thursday. Fuck. Need well to then, to someone. maybe the 19th. See if I can get an early. Day early, maybe. Ooh. Uh, well, thank you so much to everyone who watched, everyone who donated. Uh, much love to all of you. Thank you so much. We really appreciate the support. Hey. Um, you'll be streaming tomorrow? Yeah, probably. Probably? I don't know what yet. Right now I'm sleepy boy. But uh, I have a channel and I'll probably be streaming tomorrow. Oh, do you think you're going to do a raid? Yeah, yeah, I was going to see who are the Yogs is on. Bree is on and he's playing King of the Castle. Oh, pre perfect. So go and give him a raid. Let's Can do you? that. Yeah, oh, it's already set up. Great. Amazing. Genius. Well done. Now, bam. Okay, well... Until next time, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Will this work? Maybe. Beep. Boop. <laughs>